And now, some quiet time with Chef Ramsay. In the past, I've sometimes been known to lose my temper. But this time round, things are going to be a lot different. Are you mad? I've had enough now! The competing chefs will not make idiotic mistakes. We're allowing a fried egg to screw the kitchen. And most importantly, I will not scream. Can we have the two-made courses together? I will not swear. I'm fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. And you're fucked. Oh, come on. Who am I trying to kid here? For the last two years, Chef Ramsay has put aspiring chefs through a trial by fire. Get off! This is painful! Get out! Out! And two careers were launched. Season one winner, Michael, is the executive chef of his restaurant, Tattoo, in Los Angeles. Owning this restaurant's a dream come true, and I owe it all to Hell's Kitchen. Season two winner, Heather, is leading the brigade at her restaurant, Terra Rosa, at the Red Rock Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. I never would have dreamed I'd be working in a place like this. This year, tens of thousands of aspiring chefs. Hell's Kitchen, it's time to wake up! Applied for a shot at their opportunity of a lifetime. Please pick me. Why wouldn't you want to watch me? 12 hopefuls made the final cut. I'm going to go in and kick ass. I know I know my shit. When Chef Ramsay opens those doors, it's on. But only one of them will run a multi-million dollar restaurant in the luxurious Green Valley Ranch Resort. It would change my, my whole life. OK, guys, let's go, yeah? This year, the competition That's just fucking stupid. Find me. is more intense than ever before. Melissa, I'm not an well, idiot. I'm do. a smart girl. She'll do what she can to make me look bad. Why are you pushing me? Yeah, we're going to get bitchy. Being Hitler doesn't make yourself a strong leader. <laughs> it's going to be nasty. You need to shut up and listen to me. And bloody. Right, go, go. Go. And Chef Ramsay will put them to the test. Bring it on. In ways they never imagined. Ah. Some of the chefs will have the experience of their lives. <laughs> while others will wish they'd never been born. <laughs> I just want to go home. Oh, pass it over. He makes me want to pee in my pants because he's scary. Listen to me. You shut the fuck up. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he wants his customers to eat. You wouldn't even serve it to a fucking pig. Can someone tell me what that shit is? You should be fucking embarrassed. I'm not gonna walk away. It's not acceptable. And when Chef Ramsay pushes one chef too far... You're unbelievably shit! He doesn't know when to shut his mouth. Chef Ramsay is gonna have a huge problem. The tables are turned. I'm pissed off. Chef Ramsay needs to know what's in store for him tonight. I'm scared. And someone pays the price. What are you doing? Uh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Maddie! Oh, oh my god! Maddie! Can you help? Don't die on me. Don't die on me now, please. This year's Hell's Kitchen is unlike anything you've ever seen before. Welcome to Hell. And now, the saga of Hell's Kitchen continues. I think the chef's as crazy as he sounds. Yep. Emotionally, I'm a nervous wreck. Every chef I've ever trained under has been insane. Now, Chef Ramsay brings it to another level. He's nuts. Oh, you're married? Got babies? Yes. Oh. I got two. I'm definitely here for my wife and my kids to lay a foundation for them for tomorrow. So I'm going to win. Hell's Kitchen has been completely redesigned. But this new crop of chefs arrive with the same hopes and dreams as those who have come before them. I'm from a small town, and things like this don't happen to people like us every day. If I won Hell's Kitchen, I know I would set the world on fire. And this is what I was destined to do. I'm having heart palpitations, I think. Oh, wow. Hell's Kitchen. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jean-Philippe. I'm the maitre d' here at Hell's Kitchen. Gather round. Welcome. I started in 94 working for Chef Ramsay in his first restaurant. 
was young and I wanted to see the world. We were in Dubai, it was very hard. Jean Philippe! <gasps> Cut the crap, will you, yeah? <laughs> Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Now, stop standing there staring at me. Get in that kitchen and cook me your signature dish. In just a few minutes, these chefs will present their signature dishes to Chef Ramsay. Open! And they know it's not wise to get on his bad side. Hot, very hot. Do we have any bowls over here? OK, play your dishes, yeah? 30 seconds to go. Yes, Chef. Down, hot, hot. Does anybody have white pepper? Your signature dishes tell me a lot about you. This is you on a plate. And um, whose dish is that? It's mine, chef. What is the dish? That is chorizo encrusted pink snapper. Where in the fuck's the snapper? It's underneath. That's the snapper there? Yes, sir. OK. Really seriously eat all that without burning your mouth? What a disappointment. I don't think so. I... Now you want to fucking argue. Back in line. Chef. Sure. I think he looked at me and said that I, this guy is really confident, and I think that intimidated him. What a fucking jerk. Whose is this? Mine, Chef. I'll flirt, I'll manipulate, I'll be able to get what I want out of Chef Ramsay. Can you cook? Of course I can. And what's the dish? Parmesan crusted chicken with a whole wheat spaghetti. And what's with the aperitif? The drink is a raspberry bellini. Take a drink. Okay. There we go. So, what have you done to that? The chicken's dry. Salty, salty, dry. Take your drink back, thank you. Wow. Whose is that? That's mine, Chef. Right, first name. Ra. Explain the dish, please. That's a pan-seared scallops uh -huh. with potato gnocchi. Wow. Um, I'm excited you had time to make gnocchi. I didn't have time to make it. I, it was frozen. You serve me frozen gnocchi. Could have been a mind-blowing dish, that. I like the idea. But the execution sucked. Frozen gnocchi. It was a huge no-no. Uh, it was a big mistake. I just didn't execute my own freaking signature dish well. Back in line. OK. Whose is this? Food is sex. And everybody likes sex and everybody likes food. But I want to make people feel like they just had great sex. Unfortunately, it's raw. Raw fogger. You take that. There you go. That foie gras was goddamn perfect. That is way, way, way too salty, my man. OK, I'll give him. It was a little salty. Back in line. Chef. Whose is this? Mine, Chef. Come forward, please. He makes me want to pee in my pants because he's scary. I feel like I'm just going to pass out. So just tell me what it is on the plate. I call it my contemporary cheese course. Let's start from here and work up there, shall it we? It actually goes the other way. 
it goes the other way. Yes. Oh, so I've got to start from there and work my way down there. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a big difference in terms of what I'm eating, right? Yes. There's a first for everything. OK. Woo! Different. So you're pretty new at this? Yes. Yeah. I can see that. Back in line. I think I'll forever have nightmares about Gordon Ramsay now. But, yeah, he's still kind of hot. Oh, fuck me. Whose is this dish? New chef. My name is Eddie, and I'm five foot two. Born with uh, kidneys, disease, you know, stunts your growth. How old are you? 28 years old, chef. 28? Yes, sir. How come I look wrinkled and fucked and you look so angelic? <laughs> I'm a bulldog in a chihuahua's body. What can I say? Explain me the dish. It's Parmesan crusted sea scallops with the vermouth cream sauce. It's not that I don't trust you. I just want somebody else to try this one. I understand, chef. Let's go there. We've got two scallop dishes. Who made this one? That's my chef. Come forward. And what'd you do? I did a uh, scallop terrine with prosciutto and a little bit of vanilla lemon creme. Now, do something for me right now. Taste your competition. What's your experience from that? Uh, I think it was cooked right. Scallops were cooked just right. You sure? And you can't be honest and tell me the truth on that one. I'm not very happy. That is raw. Eddie? Yes, Chef. Let's go. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's a nice dish, but the vanilla sort of ruins it for me. That's the most sensible thing I've heard all day. So you must have an amazing little palette tucked behind there. Both of you made scallops, and they are both way under par. Back in line. Yes, sir. Sure. <sighs> Not good so far. Oh, fuck me. Um, whose dish is that? Whose is this? The pressure becomes more than one contestant can bear. The pressure mounted. I just started feeling weak, like flush from my face. Come down, please. Sorry. Are you all right? Mm, yes, sir. OK, and what's the dish? It's a vanilla crepe with caramelized peaches. And why is the pancake so thick? Fuck me. There's so much alcohol in there. What did you put in there? Peach schnapps. How much did you put in there? Not a lot. Not a lot. I do feel drunk. Back in line. Ah! Oh, dear. Whose is this? My chef. Wow. People always judge me when I walk in a kitchen by my looks. As soon as I get in the kitchen and I do my thing, there's never any questioning usually after that. OK, what is it? It's pepper-crusted steak mm -hmm. and just roasted asparagus. Is this going to be the first dish that I think is somewhat I sure hope so. Uh, because right now I'm having a tough time, you know that? I know. Finally, I've tasted something delicious. Three or four things on a plate, steak cooked perfectly. I am so happy you think so. Thank God for coming this morning. Back in line. Uh, let's do two dishes both together, shall we? Oh, dear. Whose is that? Mine. I'm a short order cook. I haven't been to culinary art school, but I think I have a great chance at winning because I'm open to learning anything. What is it? Chicken fried chicken panay. Let's taste this together, shall we? First name? Tiffany. Tiffany. Talk to me truthfully. How was that? Very peppery, sir. I'm disappointed because the chicken is delicious. And yet it's spoiled by all that pepper. What a shame. What a shame. Tiffany, what is that? Seafood tostada sex, sir. Julia, let's try Tiffany's dish, shall we, yeah? How was that for you? I think it's good. Would you order that in a restaurant? I would. So would I. Mm -hmm. I think the seafood's cooked perfectly. 
Thank you, Chef. Back in line, both of you. Very few of the chefs had impressed Chef Ramsay with their dishes. Now, it's down to the final chef. Oh, fuck me. Whose is this? It's me, Chef. And where's your horse? <laughs> I left him parked outside, Chef. <laughs> I've never met an Asian cowboy. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have worn this outfit. You are one chunky monkey, aren't you? <laughs> yes, Chef. What is it? It's finger food, Chef, so... How big are your fucking fingers? I have big hands. <laughs> this is nice. Just throw all that away. <laughs> your biggest problem is you don't know when to stop. My plate was full, but heck, I would have eaten all the food on the plate. Back in line. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> to be honest with all of you, I'm very disappointed what I've just tasted. I need you to really seriously up your game. The winner of Hell's Kitchen has an opportunity of a lifetime to become the head chef of your very own restaurant. Starting with a quarter of a million dollar salary, plus a share in the profits of a multi-million dollar restaurant at the luxurious Green Valley Ranch Resort in Las Vegas. It doesn't get any better than that. That's a phenomenal prize. I mean, this is an opportunity of a lifetime, and the last thing I want to do is, you know, fuck it up. Now, the blue team will be all men, and the red team will be all women. Oh. These are my sous chefs, Marianne and Scott. Listen to them. One more thing. Hell's Kitchen opens tomorrow. Get back to the dorms. Get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow, you've got a long day ahead of you. Let's go. The teams may be competing against each other, but the men and women will be sharing this living space just upstairs from Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, come on, guys. Let's bring it in for Blue. Go, Blue. It is the most important thing for the Blue team to come together and smack the crap out of the girls. They're doomed. They're doomed. We're not going to beat them. We're going to beat the shit out of them. Women have a way to be able to work together. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Don't start the backstabbing until not after until, tonight. Not until after we eliminate the boys. We all want to win. So if we're not working together as a team, we're all screwed. I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night, guys. Let's go. I threw on my brand new jacket and uh, my shoes for cruise. Hey, let's go, let's go, guys. I ran downstairs with my team. With the first dinner service just hours away, both teams must prepare a menu of 15 items requiring over 300 ingredients. And of course, everything must meet Chef Ramsay's exacting standards. Guys, let's go, double time. I'm gonna go find some paper and we're gonna make a list. All right. I'm trying to build a team up, you know, and we're all, we're all working together. Brad takes the lead in the blue kitchen. Meanwhile, the red team won't give their short order cook the time of day. You need help doing anything. What meals are y'all working on? Nobody is talking. Who knows? I don't know. All I'm trying to do is get people to communicate with me. So I'm just going to keep talking to them until they talk to me. I mean, if somebody can tell me anything. OK, guys, I need you guys to talk to each other. Oh, Lord Jesus. While the red team leaves Julia behind, in the blue kitchen, Aaron is struggling to catch up. Shoot. Can somebody come and help me with my ice cream over here? I'm really stressed right now. I'm pretty scared of everything, actually. Is eggs in this? Yes, it's already in here. You, that's, you can't temper like that. That's not going to work. The guys pitch in to help Aaron as the women display their own version of teamwork. I'll do all the shopping. You work on the crate. Let her do the risotto and be through with it. I just took over because we needed somebody to take over. What are you doing with the risotto? Parboiling it. No, this is not how you do it. This yeah, is not how you we parboil were doing it yesterday. first. Risotto, you don't even add that much liquid to begin with. Joanna got a big old piece of attitude. I just wanted to go up and hit her. If you don't know what you're doing, just ask somebody. I'm gonna kill her. Tonight, the whole kitchen has to be in unison, and I don't know if that's gonna happen. Something is burning. Mm -hmm. Something's burning. Blue team, come over. Uh, ladies, let's go. With the first dinner service only minutes away and hungry customers lining up out front, Chef Ramsay gathers the teams for a pep talk. 
big, big, big night. How are we feeling? Good, Chef. Chef. Julia, how are you feeling? I'm feeling like there is absolutely no communication going on in this kitchen. Is that right, Tiffany? I feel like we have pretty good communication, Chef. Wow. I do agree with Julia, but I'm definitely not going to back up what she's saying. I'm going to appear to be confident, even if I know that we're not ready. With the red team in shambles, Chef Ramsay turns to the blue team for some reassurance. Aaron, how are you feeling? Sorry. <laughs> I can't believe I'm cracking, I'm cracking up right now. <laughs> Keep it together. For God's sake, man. <laughs> I'm a mess, get on. <laughs> Now you're making me feel nervous. I am not going into service with this level of incompetence. You know that. Not too good. Not too good. Stop fucking crying. Stop. Stop. Do you want to go and lie down in the dorm? No, sir. I'm fine. I'm fine, Chef. I apologize. I'm fine. You can do it. Yes, sir. Good man. Now, I want to see some strength tonight. OK. I want to see some form of bond, togetherness. Are we ready? Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go, yeah? Hey, Jean-Philippe. Oui, Chef. Open the doors to Hell's Kitchen. A table for tonight's reopening is the hottest ticket in Los Angeles. Cheers. Can I start with the scallops, please? I'll have the pea risotto. The only question now is whether this new staff can meet the world-class chef's demand for excellence. Bonnie, I need a pastry brush. Right here, babe. Clean. Thank you. Aaron? Yes, sir. You straight? Yeah, I'm OK. Chef, four covers, red kitchen. Four covers, red kitchen, good. OK, red team, you've got the first order. Congratulations. Table 41. One longestine, one spaghetti, two scallops. Entree, two turbot, two venison. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Let's go. What is this for? Risotto. God goes in last, y'all. It's going to make that shit taste better. Right, I right, teach right, these people right this shit every day. OK, right. all right, all right. The shallots I first. hear you. I hear you, Joanna. She's there, like, doing this in my face. And I'm like, uh-uh. Why are we arguing? She's, I know the recipe differently, and she's telling okay, me to change it. But why are we arguing amongst ourselves on a night like tonight? We won't be anymore, Chef. Uh, Come on, guys. Come on. We can do this. Come on. Who cooked these quail's eggs? I did. Touch that there. It's like a plastic silicon implant. Fucking bin them. Get rid of them. You guys, we can't lose it over one starter. We can do this. Is that for your eggs? Yeah, we're fine. You sure? Yeah. Yep. If you okay. could keep chopping apples, that would be awesome. Tiffany, she was like, no, 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 no. You don't cut the eggs. If there's one thing that I know I can do is cook eggs. Gonna burn them eggs again. As Tiffany tries to get the appetizer station under control in the red kitchen, the men are relying on Vinny to get them off to a good start. Vinny, are we ready with the first table? Ready, right Chef. Good, let's go, big boy. We get overcooked. Oh, dear. Vinny, your pasta is like glue. It's paste. He's standing there, and he's yelling at you, and his wrinkles is all, he, looks, he starts to look like a shark hay. Try a little bit harder. And his steam and his emotions are coming out. This is absolute rubbish. Get in the fucking bin. But then he uses a word like rubbish. Vinny, is that really funny? You got to bite your tongue and start to laugh, because use a word that I understand. Can you get a grip and just give me something? Is that possible? Yes, chef. I'm going to fucking lose my rag in a minute. Start again. With no appetizers leaving the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay looks to the red team for one good egg to accompany the scallop dish. OK, red team, longestine spaghetti scallops. How long? We have to start it over, Chef, because the eggs are fucked. Oh, my god. Come on, Tiffany. A fried egg is stopping this kitchen from cooking. Come on, ladies. I've done been over there three times trying to help with them eggs. I don't understand how I can be needed nowhere, but still nothing is getting done. So it seems to me like I would be needed somewhere. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. I think you should help cooking a quail egg, yes? Yes, Chef. Who needs help doing the eggs? Do you want me to do the eggs? I do, obviously. Yes. I need to get a grip. My hands were just like this. I couldn't concentrate. Fucking grip, Bonnie. I lost it. I broke the fucking yolks. Come on, please. I can't. I, I don't know where to go now. I've, I've had some tough nights in my life, but not over a fucking fried egg. 
one hour into the first dinner service, not a single plate of food has left either kitchen. Can you check on our appetizers? It's been an hour. Absolutely. Thank you. Things are getting ugly in the dining room. Back in the blue kitchen, Vinny is still trying to get out his first appetizer. I need some vegetable stock. There is no more. Three risotto, one spaghetti, two the scallops, yes? I just come here, you. You're putting water in the risotto. Chef, I put water in the risotto. We don't, we don't have any other stock. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, mm, stock is made of water, and vegetables are made of water. No harm, no foul. That's all we have. <laughs> it tastes like Nat's piss. <coughs> Stop it. Look at me now, OK? Get off the section. Brad, hey, get on there. Get your ass on there and stay on there. It, it, it was a relief when Chef Ramsay put me in appetizers because the app station was going down. It was going down big time. And create the seasoning, please, yes? Yes, Chef. Vinny. Yes, Chef. Wash up. With Brad on appetizers, things may be looking up for the blue team. But over in the red kitchen, teamwork continues to be a challenge. Can we not just cook the eggs quickly, Tiffany? This now's on the border of sinking the ship. Just cook your fucking ass off now and get yes, some food chef. out. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Do you want me to do those? No. I don't understand if everybody keeps burning the eggs, why, and breaking them, why okay, I can't do them. Because I'm not going I'll tell you I'm going over there. OK, I'll tell you why. Why are you pushing me? Please don't do this to me now. I'm just under too I much mean, stress. OK, I understand. Okay. I'm trying to help you. OK, thank you. She was freaking out over me making eggs. And she couldn't see it like I was trying to help her. Can you see what I'm faced with? Why are you crying? What's the matter? I just want to help. You want to help? Julia, come here. All I want is some food. I That's understand I that. And all I'm trying to do is help you get food. Okay. They act like I don't like I can't do nothing, and they're not getting nothing produced. When Julia came up and said, you know, started bawling and saying, oh, they won't let me fry an egg, it's like, don't pull out the whole team because you want your two minutes in the spotlight. What is going on? I am trying to help her with her eggs, okay. but she don't want to let me take okay, her, let me just tell you something. There's more yes. arguing going on yes. than there is cooking. You're coming off the section. OK. Melissa, get on the appetizers. You cook the fucking quail egg, and can we just work as a little bit of a team? Yes. 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 Right yes. now, put it to bed and fucking concentrate. Yes, Chef. Yes, yes, sir. While the red team tries to pull itself together, the blue team has served 29 of 50 appetizers and seems to be hitting its stride. Brad, nice the risotto. Yes, Chef. This is so good. Vinny! Yes, Chef. Happy? I'm doing my best, Chef. Vinny's just peaked in life. Chef. Fucking dishwasher. Aaron! Is the chicken ready now? Yes, sir. Let's go. It's hot, sir. Oh, hallelujah. What? Huh? What's he done to that? Aaron, why is it all black on the bottom? What is all that? I guess that's the maple syrup, sir. Another one, please, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah? feeling pretty dang useless, pretty puny today. Haven't been able to do anything right yet. I have to redo the chicken. It's going to be another two minutes. Sir. Yes, sir. Would you mind just wiping the snot off your fucking face before we serve chicken and snot? Yes, sir. The blue kitchen has had a setback. But in the red kitchen, with Julia successfully cooking eggs. OK, so we have a scallop, a pasta. And Melissa taking charge. You do the egg. 17 appetizers have gone out. It's actually really delicious. Melissa may be pushing the appetizers out. This one's perfect. But she's also pushing everyone's buttons. I'm telling you, it's we over have got to get this shit. We have got to get this shit. It doesn't play. matter. It's yeah. over. Yeah. He's going to throw it back at you. If you're not going to listen to the person in charge, when the chef puts them in charge, what's the point? Melissa, I have been cooking the same shit for the last She's eight the only courses. one that's produced a good item, Melissa. Dude, she's telling me my shit is overcooked, and I, it's the only spaghetti that's done. Melissa screwed up my spaghetti. I'm good at what I'm doing, or at least I'm doing a good enough job so that Chef Ramsay isn't throwing shit back in our fucking faces. You want to do it? How many of us? No, I don't want to do it now. Ladies, ladies, can we stop arguing, yeah? 
While it's total chaos in the red kitchen, in the blue kitchen, the retirement home chef seems to be feeling all of his 48 years. Oh, fuck. I'd like to see Aaron get better. Oh, fuck. Get better at cooking. I'm kind of busy right now. I'll be back in five, gentlemen. He just gave up. I would never walk off the line short of being punched in the face. Finish your night. You've gone white. Chef, I don't want to quick as me. I don't want to quick as uh, anybody. Hey. I don't want to quick as the guys that are going to try Breathe. so hard. I don't want to be striking hey, hey. Relax. Yeah. relax. Relax, relax, relax. With Aaron taking early retirement from the meat station, Josh jumps in and tries to save the day. Two minutes. Eddie, are you OK for two minutes on that? Yes. Let's Good. do it. Let's do it. Two okay. minutes, guys. Come on, guys. No bickering. Let's do it. Two Push minutes. It. I was born for this. Come on, guys. Unfortunately, I myself walked into the deepest pile of the shit. Josh, the chef. how many portions of chicken are overcooked? One, two, three, four, and that's all the chicken that we have, chef. So we've got no chicken We have no chicken, anywhere. chef. Oh, God. Right behind oh, us. God. Oh, shit. Is one of those plates spaghetti? We're going to be making more spaghetti, guys. Let me please let me do this because that shit was fucked up because I'm sitting up here letting you do this shit. We don't have any fucking chicken. We don't have any more Wellingtons. We don't have any fucking lettuce. We haven't served any food. How could we be out of anything? Your tables are now getting up, pissed off, and leaving. Nothing's getting done. Throw those out. They're going to taste like fucking lighter food. People fucking me up right now. Marianne, are they arguing again? Yes, Chef, they are. Stop! Come here. Shut it down. Forget it. Service. We're shutting it down. The kitchen is closed. We're just pathetic. I honestly don't think any of us deserve the prize at this point. <laughs> After a disappointing performance from both kitchens, Chef Ramsay faces a difficult decision, choosing a winning team. You've got every right to look down, because that was embarrassing. Ladies, I've never seen girls bitch so much. All right, I hear you. I hear you, okay. Joanna. It was just evil and twisted. Hell's bitches. Vinny, 60 minutes without any appetizers. <laughs> it tastes like Nat's piss. <coughs> what have you got to say? I didn't know what you wanted. You didn't want to show me. So what did you want me to do? You two-faced, lazy little fucker. Lazy? All I could think to myself was, please shut up. Who are you talking to? Are you serious? I just couldn't, I couldn't believe it. What did you want me to do? Wipe your ass. Aaron, how you feeling? Feeling a lot better, thank you, chef. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. There was definitely no winners in Hell's Kitchen tonight. But tonight, the losing team is. is the red team. Melissa. Yes, Chef. Things started to happen when you got on the appetizers. You are the best of the worst. Tonight, I want you to nominate two of your team for elimination. Now get back to the dorms. Somebody is losing the opportunity of a lifetime, and I'm putting them up on that butcher block. You know, that sucks. So what do you think? I think that everybody knows that I've never worked in a kitchen like mm -hmm. this before. Right. What kind of kitchen do you work in where you have no communication? Mm -hmm. I really feel like everybody went in that kitchen out for themselves. Well, that's how I feel about the whole situation. Thank you. Thank you. With Julia, I really think she was a team player. But going from the Waffle House to a Gordon Ramsay restaurant is a big jump. So what do you think about tonight? Talk to me. On my behalf, I think only maybe two or three of my dishes were sent back. We just got to second guess our weaker people. Like, for instance, with Julia. I know Julia had been working a fine dining mm -hmm. situation mm -hmm. before. Julia shouldn't be here because she was just kind of clueless. So it's time for her to go. What'd you think about service? What'd you, you know? It fucking I mean, sucked. I know it sucks. I mean, Give me a little more here, you know? 
I mean, I don't want to go home. You're not going home. No. No way. If I was you, I would nominate Julia tonight. Definitely. It has to be Julie. She works at the fucking Waffle House. I mean, come on. Tonight, the men rest easy, knowing that they're safe. Now, the women are about to learn which two of them will be nominated by Melissa for elimination. Melissa, have you made your decision? Yes, Chef. Who's your first nominee and why? My first nominee is Joanna because the way we work together, the way she went about communicating with me. Thank you, Melissa. Second nominee and why? My second nominee is Tiffany. I don't want to go home. You're not going home. No. No, no way. Because of how long the appetizers took to get out. Thank you, Melissa. Tiffany, Joanna, step forward, please. Tiffany, is that the best you can do? No, we don't. I mean, I think I'm capable of more than what was produced tonight. If I could have performed better, of course, but I mean, I respect your decision. Joanna. Yeah, sure. Why should you stay in House Kitchen? I did excellent teamwork. I basically helped my team as much as possible. And originally, when Tiffany was on the starter station, nothing was coming out. This is not an easy decision. I teach these people right this shit every day. OK, right all right, all right. I first. hear you. Who cooked these quail's eggs? I did, Chuck. Just out there. It's like a plastic silicon implant. Fucking bin them. Get rid of them. The person leaving Hale's Kitchen tonight is Tiffany. You've got to go. Take your jacket off. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. I had no idea it was going to be this intense. I don't want to go home. Nobody wants to go home. But if he was choosing people on heart, he absolutely made the right decision tonight. Let me just give you a quick message. One of you is going to run a restaurant. And yet you're all wimping around. And if no one's prepared to work your ass off for it, then you're not going to get it. I'm here to win this competition. It doesn't matter who I've got a fucking bitch over to make me look better. I dodged a bullet tonight. If I have a positive attitude and my body holds up, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for the best. I think I'm lucky to be here right now, to be honest. I, I really hope that I can show Chef Ramsay that I'm not an idiot. And you think you, tonight, have had your butts kicked. You've seen nothing yet. Get some sleep. You're going to need it. Good night. To become a great chef, you need great attention to detail, passion, and a great work ethic. Tiffany worked hard, but that was it. Nothing else. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. After a disastrous first dinner service, the red team is in disarray. I don't like attitude in the kitchen. I didn't have a good time as soon as abrasive personalities showed themselves. There was really no need for the argument that were going on. Chef Ramsay said something to us like that we were evil and twisted. Evil and twisted. I mean, that's harsh. It's just, it's an unpleasant working environment for me. Tomorrow, dude, we just got to get in there and push that shit out. I'm not getting on that chopping block again. Almost being eliminated tells me, Melissa wants you gone because you're the best. I'm not about to hear no shit from Chef Ramsay tomorrow. While the women remain divided, the men are united in their concern for Aaron. 
Yeah. Are you all right, though? Yeah, Are you sure fine. you're all right? Don't worry about me. You've only eaten an apple all day? I'm not hungry, though. You know what you should do? Doesn't matter. I want to be light, and I, I want to be running for you guys. I don't want to be fucking fat and slow. I might be the weakest link in our team. I'm the oldest, and uh, I feel myself getting tired. I don't want to let my team down, and I, I don't want to let myself down either, so I'm going to suck it up. After an exhausting first dinner service, everyone is looking forward to a good night's sleep. But in Hell's Kitchen, you don't always get what you want. Fantastic, really. I loved it. Good morning. Good morning, Chef. Good to see you so bright and breezy. Last night was embarrassing. I've never seen so much fish in the bin, scallops in the bin, Wellingtons forgot about. That was thousands of dollars of product last night. You seriously got to understand where food comes from, you know that? Right now, you're all going to catch your own fish. Follow me. Let's go, all of you. Awesome. We are going to be catching fish. I've always wanted to do that. You guys ready to catch some fish? Yes, yes chef. Yes. yes. Are we go. Catch. Let's go, Joanna. Let's go. Pass us some blood. Catch the fish. Oh, Fill up your buckets. Oh, my God. Time to smell like fish. Organize yourself. Eddie, same size as you. Let's go. Good catch. It seems like in the world today that people look at little guys like they can't get stuff done. And that's partially why I'm here. You know, show them what I got. Now, take the buckets through to your respective storerooms. Let's go. Go on, Eddie. That tuna was bigger than any. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Just a second, I'm cramping. Oh, Aaron is not feeling well. I'll put him on my shoulders and carry him if I had to. I'm a little guy, but, uh, you know, I'll do what I can. Now that the chefs have caught the fish, it's time to clean them. OK, this is your challenge. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I said a no. curse word. <laughs> okay, listen. Hey, 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 come on. Not, not keep, that. It's, keep it together. It's not that. I'm just okay. really confused right now because I'm a little dizzy. Do me a favor. Take time out for 10, 15 minutes, OK? OK. Off you go. Aaron's very emotional. He's cracking, and he's cracking hard. Well, at least the teams are even, aren't they? Right. This is a Dover soul. One of the most expensive fish in the sea today. Yes, beautiful. No problem. I love working with fish. We're going to prepare it very carefully. Peel the skin. Take the row out. And there we have one prepared Dover sole. The team that cleans and prepares the most Dover sole, up to my standards, will win the challenge. Are you ready? Yes, yes sir. 30 minutes. Let's go. Each team has 30 minutes to properly prepare as many Dover sole as they can. Let's go. The skin must be removed without damaging the fish. Come on, Eddie. Then they must remove the roe or fish eggs. Manipulate it. The team to prep the most fish wins. Come on, guys. How we doing? How we doing? Working on row. Good. Go on, though. Right. One man down. Three down. Good. And I heard the guys calling one down, two down, three down, and I knew that if we didn't have the quantity of the fish, there was no possible way that we could win. Remember, quality, not quantity. Last two minutes. Two minutes to go, yes? Two come minutes, on. Chef. Guys, we can each get two more done. Check to make sure all your rows out. Real up. Come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Put it in, put it in, put it in. Let's go. This is where it counts. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three. Two, one, stop! OK. Tough challenge. Yes, Chef. Eddie. Yes, Chef. Two. In half an hour. Let's hope they're perfect. What happened there? Did you pull the skin off with your teeth? We can't serve that. Beautifully skinned there. 
One nil. Brad. Yeah. Look at that. There's half the fish missing in there. Only two of Brad's fish were acceptable to Chef Ramsay. Now it's Vinny's turn. Skin left on the head. Oh, don't give me shit. I didn't stick the skin on the head. Out. Zero, Vinny. Rock. Rock doesn't do much better with only one. One good one. The blue team has only managed to prepare four fish up to Chef Ramsay's standards. Now it all comes down to Josh. Show off. Vinny. Skinned perfectly. One in. In. Good. The perfect one. In. Wow. Josh, you're doing very well. Thank you, Chef. Good. Very good. Four. Eight to the guys. Josh has single-handedly doubled his team's score. Now it's up to the women. Right, Melissa. Row out. Beautiful. In. Row out. In. His skinning is immaculate. In. This is the best skinning so far. With Melissa's four perfect fish, the men are starting to sweat. Now the pressure is on Julia to keep it up. But Dover Soul isn't on the menu at the Waffle House. I think that people underestimated me because I am a short order cook. I mean, I might not be fine dining, but I belong here. The row's out. Yeah. It's in. I thought that was row. It's skin. It's in. We got this. Three more. With three women remaining, the red team only needs two more fish to tie up the score. Bonnie, semi-butchered, out. That one is lined with row, out, out, out. Zero, Bonnie. Sorry, guys. It's OK. It's all right. It's, it's all still right. It's still 8-6. Men in the lead. Jen, come back to me with something, please. Half the skin left on the fish, out. Row, everywhere. What a shame. Out, out, out. Zero, Jen. With the red team's chance for victory slipping away, Joanna is their only hope. How many have you done, Joanna? Three, Chef. Three. Holy smoke. Bring them down. I felt like I let my team down. We need all three of Joanna's fish to prevail. Eight, six. Three on the table. Beautifully skinned. In. Yeah! Row. Out. In. Yeah! Eight, eight. I cannot believe we're standing in this situation. We want fish to go. That dark line, is that row in there? I wanted to win this challenge more than anything because I was on the chopping block last night. Gordon told me, you got to get in there and do it. When you do well, you get a phenomenal reward. I'm going to take you out on the Pacific for a fantastic fishing excursion and lunch. <laughs> pissed about losing. Guys should be out there fishing. I mean, this was set up for us to win. For the losers, as part of your punishment, you'll be prepping every Dover soul inside this restaurant. The next dinner service. Ladies, get dressed. The boat is waiting. Move. I've got a bite. 
He's the same size as Eddie. <laughs> One, two, Eddie. Four hours into the guy's punishment, Aaron has finally decided to join his team. I'm numb, I'm cloudy, my head's not together. Um, I'm aching because of the cramps. Oof. Yeah, I'm going to call it quits. You mean quits as in tonight or quits as in? No, quits, this is it. As in for good? Yeah. I don't think I can continue. Well, you're going to come in here and just give up because you got yelled at a bunch of times? I think that's bullshit. You, you're leaving us high and dry is what you're doing, Eric. No, no, yes, no, yes, you are. Are you you're leaving us high and dry? I'm not, not leaving you high and dry. Exactly. He's staying. There. I like that. I like no, that. You no, stay. No, Mission number one has to be pulling together as a team. We have to support him and uh, get through next dinner service. Let's go get him, baby. Come on. Put it in. Put it in. Come on. This, this hug is really making me uncomfortable now. Cheers. Well done. Sadly, I was the only one who caught the fish. <laughs> you're a team now. And the only way you're going to win is by that team performing. You're all capable of doing it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. We got Chef Ramsay to ourselves for a good couple of hours. That's priceless. Cheers. Thank you. After a long day on the boat, the women slip into something a little more comfortable. Ooh, I've never seen this. What's up, booty shorts? Out comes Little Miss Bonnie, wearing Little Miss Nothing. I'm like, what? Uh? Interesting. Bonnie, you see, you see potatoes anywhere? She goes, oh yeah, you know, I saw them somewhere. Did someone like put it under one of these guys? What? Are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie, can you do me a favor? Oh, yeah. Can you reach those cookies on the top? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> kind of intimidated by all the young guys, just that they know everything. You know what, Aaron? I wouldn't think that, because a lot of people just act like they know everything. They're smarter than me. They know all of French terminology and, uh, I know how to cook, you know, Chinese food, so. It's not easy to find rest up there because that's so intense. It is. I know Aaron wasn't feeling well, but there is no time to feel sorry for yourself in Hell's Kitchen. It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen, and tonight's dinner service will bring one person a step closer to the ultimate prize, head chef at the Green Valley Ranch Resort. Blue team, please, let's go. Ladies, let's go. Blue team, let's go. Right let's go. Let's go. Let's go. OK. We're going to do a special tonight. We're going to do the most amazing pan-fried Dover salt. Blue tea. Yes, yes chef. chef. As the second part of your punishment for losing the challenge, I need one of you to serve table-side those Dover soles. Aaron. Yes, sir. Your table-side. Don't look so unhappy about it. I'm not unhappy, sir. Dizzy? No, sir. Would you like a tissue? No, sir. Right. Are we ready? Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Thank you. Let's go. Go, boys. Make sure they're really tight. Do you understand what I'm saying? No matter who I work with, I'm always without good quality. If Melissa wants to be in control, then that's fine. I'll let her do that. Chef Ramsey already told us, no more hell's bitches. Teamwork, girls. Rock, what you want next, buddy? A lot. Josh is trying to be so much more than he really is, as opposed to leading by example. He leads by, you know, this. Come on, guys. We got to get this going. This is an easy job for you tonight, OK? I want to get you out of the heat and raise your confidence. You will not be disappointed in me. You'll be fine, yeah? Good man. Hey, let's go, big boy. Hey. He's, he's next. What's the matter? What's the matter? Are you all right? Yeah, I've just passed out for a while. Sorry. 
You're not play acting with me, are you? No, chef. No, because I see a man in there that's willing to do well. Yes, chef. But you're scared of showing it. So come out yourself. I'm still kind of cloudy, and uh, I don't want to let my team down. I'm extremely nervous tonight. Thank yeah. you, chef. Good, Good man. chef. Good man. Thank you. Good man. Jean-Philippe, open Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen is open for the second time, and the red team is looking for their first dinner service victory. Love you. Love you. We are going to take the boys to school. Pleasure. Right, line up, concentrate. On order, four covers, table 11. One Caesar salad, one scallop, two spaghetti. Entree, one sole, two chicken, one Wellington. Yes, yes chef! Thank you. Now we're sounding like a brigade. My name's Aaron, and I'm a chef. I'm one of your chefs tonight. And welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What in the fuck is Aaron doing in the dining room? My name's Aaron, and I'm a chef in Hell's Kitchen. And welcome to Hell's Kitchen. He's talking to customers. He's talking to customers. My name's Aaron. Oh, you already know my name because it's on my shirt. Get that fucking donkey out of there. While Aaron learns his place, Eddie tries to get the blue kitchen off to a good start. I need two spaghetti urgently, OK? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. How did I put it in? Y'all, get out of my way. I you get off the heat. You're going to burn before you get all your stuff in the pan. Y'all, back off, please. What is going on with the spaghetti? What's all that ramped in there? Pass me that over there. Pass it over there. Pass me over. Pass it over. Hello. What, what is all this in here? I wasn't going to give what it to you, chef. What the fuck is going on here? Sorry, chef. How much fucking spaghetti is in there? Sorry, chef. What happened? Too many people came around again, and there is more confusion, chef. You two, behind, can you leave him? Yes, chef. Huh? He's getting confused. This guy can't cook two fucking spaghetti. He shouldn't be in here. I'm actually ashamed of myself because when I told him to back off, but I didn't put no, like, mm for my voice, I really need to step up my game. You control your section. Yes, sir. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Good. It's 45 minutes into dinner service, and Eddie's spaghetti has brought the blue kitchen to a standstill. So Chef Ramsay turns to the women for a little hope. Spaghetti scallops, how long? Three minutes, chef. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm doing three scallops, chef. See? I've called one spaghetti, one scallops, and she's doing three scallops. I thought I heard, I'm sorry. OK, one no. scallop. Are you a dumb blonde? I feel like I'm the one that everyone sees as the idiot in the group, so I'm always trying to prove everybody wrong. Fucking Barbie. No, right, it's OK, it's OK. I'm OK. I'm OK. I am OK. I'm OK. I'm OK. While Bonnie convinces herself that she's OK, Vinny is attempting to prepare the Dover Soul special. Is that burnt, Vinny? I can see it from here. It looks fucking dark. Is that burnt, yes or no? No, chef. It's got a real good old brown on it. Get it on the hot plate. Vinny! Yes, chef. I thought by this stage you'd tell me the truth. I'm telling you, one nicely cooked there, yeah, and one that is cooked to fuck. Yes, Chef. I am in Chef Ramsay's crosshairs. If the blue team loses tonight, I definitely think Ramsay wants to uh, send me back to New Jersey. I've never seen such illiterate fucking cooking in all my life. While Vinny's burnt fish is holding up the men, the red kitchen is pushing out appetizers, thanks to Jen's leadership. Come on, guys, come on. Jen. Yes, Chef. Very nice, that spaghetti. Thank you, Chef. There we go. Let's go. I can't believe we're on our third table appetizers. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Seven minutes to window, yes? Yes, Chef. Good job, girls. Good job. Good job. Wow. Welcome. Despite Vinny's trouble on the fish station, Dover Soul is finally leaving the blue kitchen. And it's up to Aaron to serve at tableside. Good evening. How are you tonight? My name's Aaron. I have the honor of deboning your fish for you tonight. <laughs> Better you than me. Very good. Quick, 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 quick. quick. This is a bony fish. <laughs> it's very flaky, very delicate, per cooked to perfection for you. <laughs> it's almost ready. <laughs> Aaron finally got the Dover filleted. 
You're Dover Soul now. Thank you. Enjoy. Unfortunately, it took 15 minutes and the fish. Could be a little hotter. Brand was good. Could be a lot hotter. Eddie! Oh no. Oh no. Oh. All of you, taste it! It's way too peppery, and you wouldn't even serve it to a fucking pig. Get off the section. Yes, chef. Get off. Yes, chef. It's embarrassing. I'm actually ashamed of myself. I just had a shitty day. I can't believe it. On there, two risotto. Back to your station. Yes, chef. While Brad tries to take control of the appetizers in the blue kitchen, Joanna realizes she's forgotten to cook the lettuce for the next order. He's gonna fucking kill me, dude. I forgot to put the fucking lettuce on. Lettuce, please. Come on, guys. Oh, no, look, she's not even talking to me now. You're not even... Yes, chef. Hey, what are you doing with that? Have you forgotten the lettuce? Yes, chef. Joanna, why can't I be told that someone's fucking forgot the lettuce? What have you been doing for the last hour? Chef, I got to get control of my shit, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to walk away. I'm not going to go back to the room. You know, even if I do break down or anything, I'm still going to keep going. You OK? Girl, I got to get my shit together. I cannot be out here like this You're tomorrow. Okay. You're OK. Despite Joanna's problems on the garnish station, the Red Kitchen has managed to serve entrees to 23 of their 50 patrons. She's really good. While the blue team has only served nine patrons. Well, I'm just waiting for our um, Wellington. Yeah. How long for the Wellington? Look out. Look out. Coming in. It's overcooked. Come here, you. Oh, no. Look, just touch it then. Oh, come on, Josh. Have you got another one there? Yes, Chef. Waiting on you. Waiting uh, on me? Give me a count. Give, give, no me, problem. give me a count. Three minutes. Ah! Three minutes. Yes, Chef. It was an atomic bomb. And it was my fault, because I was in charge of meat. Kind of hurts. Coming right now, Chef. Is it cooked? Yes, Chef. I hope there's not raw pastry underneath there. You know that. Is it raw? Yes, Chef. Oh. Hey, hello. I can see it from here. We're sinking like a Titanic. Right now, nothing is happening. While Josh tries again to get Wellingtons out to the diners, Aaron has left his customers with a little something to remember him by. You're a fresh Dover soul. Thank you. Enjoy your dinner tonight, folks. Thanks. They're all complaining about the bones and the soul. They're complaining about the bones? Oh, come on. How many complaints have you had? All the things. Get him over here. Chef wants to see. Chef, chef, chef wants to see. Chef, you wanted to see me? Yeah. Customers are complaining about bones in the soul. What's going on, Aaron? It's dark out there, and I'm trying to rush myself, I guess. It's dark? The fucking bone's intact. You separate the fillets and you pick up the whole bone. Yes, Concentrate. Chef. Yes, Chef, I apologize. I think I made some critical mistakes. This is a top class place, and maybe I'm not top class. Stand by, two soul are coming. Hello, hey, big boy. Hello, no fucking bones. No bones, Chef. With the blue team in trouble, Chef Ramsay turns to the red team for a little hope. Who's doing the pasta? I am Chef. Why are you doing the garnish? I thought I would make it a little bit easier for Joanna because I didn't have a problem doing it. When somebody needs help, I will carry them. So I figured Joanna looked like she was in the weeds, so why not? That's how I work. And Melissa? Yes, Chef. Will you let her do the garnish? Yes, Chef. Melissa was trying to show that she could do everything. I can make the garnishes, I can make the fish, I'm this, I'm that. She tried to take it on by herself. You've got three tables left. And the atmosphere in this kitchen stinks. Can we just stick together for these next three tables to get these fucking main courses out? Yes, yes chef. chef. Come on, guys. We can do this. Beautiful. Whoa. Woo! How's everybody feeling? Good? Feeling good. Feeling good. Good. Now we're sounding like a team. 
three hours into dinner service, the women have rallied and served nearly all of their entrees. Meanwhile, the men are still struggling. Taste that. It's overcooked and peppery, Brad. Fucking wake up, will you please, yes? That's the second one by two different cooks. One fucking risotto. As quick as possible, please. Chef. Josh, what are you doing there? What are you doing there with that chicken there? Is that dry? No, Chef. It looks dry from here. Just touch that. That's the skin, my man. Yeah, look, yes, look, chef. Look. Yes, chef. Did that honestly just happen? What just happened? That's it. Fuck okay. it. That's dry. Yes, chef. You, 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 you. Hey, you, you, come here. You, come here. Hey, you, fucking come here, you. Where's that fucking cowboy? Aaron! Now you've got dry chicken, you fucking donkey. You can't even do a fucking risotto. You know that. You can't even fillet a fucking fish. You, 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 you. Fuck off out of there. Get out. Get out! The fucking girls will finish the meal service. Get out! The girls took over dinner service. I mean, it's embarrassing. You know, how do they beat us? And it, and it happened, and it, and it sucks. You guys, you know what? We're all chefs. They're not even cooks. <laughs> that was your last main course. Right now, we're serving the blue. They've gone. Yes, chef. Wakey, wakey. Oh, Lord Jesus. Uh, Three brulee, one brownie. OK, I'm going to start doing the ice cream. Is that cool? We had to pick up what the boys left off, and it got us back together as a team. We kicked ass. One scallop, one risotto. Melissa. Yes, chef. That's beautifully cooked, that monkfish. Thank you, chef. Last order. Yes, chef. Well done for getting the guys' main courses out there. It's been a good night. I didn't go in there with one doubt in my mind that we weren't going to complete the dinner service. Cut the bullshit, shall we? It's pretty obvious who was the worst team this evening. Gentlemen, Aaron, you're in the dining room like the president of the United States of America, shaking hands with people. My name's Aaron. Oh, you already know my name because it's on my shirt. What the fuck was all that about? I apologize, Chef. Obviously, I didn't do that great of a job. Vinny. Yes, Chef. From a chef's point of view, I feel unsafe with you behind me. Because when we are making mistakes, you cover it up. Eddie. Yes, Chef. You were terrible. Chef, I got confused when my team came around. That's what hurt me. Two spaghetti right here. That's one spaghetti that follows. Three all day. Y'all, get out of my way. Gentlemen, the least bad of the bunch. Rock. Yes, Chef. Go back to the door and think of two of your team for elimination. Yes, sir. And fuck off, will you? Things are getting really hot here in Hell's Kitchen. I definitely want to make a smart decision, an objective decision. All right, I want to say two things. Please. First of all, myself, Aaron, and Vinny, I think the only choice is tonight to go up there. Now, on the second part, I'm a strong prep person. I could get a lot of prep done, and I could get it done fast. I feel you on, on, on everything you're saying. I want to fight tooth and nail, because I want to be here. I actually think Aaron should go, because I don't think this is good for his health. It's been a pleasure working with you, and you're a great guy. That's all I can say. Thank you. If I could stay here longer, I'd like to. But I understand, too. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, bro. I honestly think that it should be me, and um, probably me. Um, I'm just talking to everybody. Straight up. I don't want to fucking go home. I know you don't want to go home. I don't think I deserve to go home. And like I said before, I mean, I don't want to go home. Appreciate it, Josh. All right. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. After a very difficult evening, the women have secured their first dinner service victory. For the men, it's time to deal with their defeat. Gentlemen, every one of you deserve to be up here. You know that. Rock. Yes, sir. Have you made your decision? Yes, sir, I have. First nominee and why? 
My first nominee is... Eddie. Why have you nominated Eddie? I feel that Eddie is a small guy, and I'm not sure when he can come out of that shell and be an asset to our team. Second nominee, and why? My second nominee is Josh. Josh? To me, Josh is all over the place. Eddie and Josh, step forward, please. Eddie. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay? Well, Chef, I learned a very important lesson today. And what was that? That I really need to speak up and stand up for myself. I have a lot of passion. I have a lot of creativity. I could go very far in this, and I hope I get the chance to show you. Josh. Yes, Chef. I think you're one big fake full of piss and wind. No, Chef, I'm not a fake at all. Not one of your main courses went out. Why should you stay here? Tonight was the most embarrassing moment in my professional life. I have never been thrown out of the kitchen before. I feel horrible and embarrassed, and I can't wait to come back and rally, and I hope I'm given the opportunity to come back. This is not an easy decision. Just touch that. Huh? No. Yes, Chef. No, no. Yes, Chef. It's inedible! You wouldn't even serve it to a fucking pig! My decision is... Josh. I'm giving you another chance. Eddie, take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. Now fuck off. Yes, sir. My biggest regret in Hell's Kitchen is just not being loud. I should have just went in full blast and just tore the place apart. Getting kicked off sucks, you know? But, you know, I did it to myself. Get out of it. I was incredibly surprised that I wasn't nominated. I was kind of in shock. Good night. Good night, Chef. Good night, Chef. Good night. Good night, ladies. I think we have the boys in a good position right now because they screwed up tonight and they looked like idiots. We proved to them tonight that we're a force to be reckoned with. Right now, I've got to be like constantly looking behind me and over my shoulder because obviously there's some people out to get me. Eddie's got a big heart. Sadly, he couldn't even hold his own section. He made far too many simple mistakes and he didn't merit running his own restaurant. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. With Rock's strategic nomination of Josh, it's very clear that the game is on. When Rock nominated me, man, I could not believe it. I mean, I felt safe going in there. Aaron, he hasn't been feeling well. He's tired. He keeps saying, send me home. Again, maybe my logic's different. I should have said something to you a few days ago. I know you're trying to be a leader, but we're both cooks right now. We're not the leader of the team. That's your opinion, and you sometimes you see things one way, and other people see it another, and that's, and that's fine. It really pisses me off because he wants to be the leader, but don't do what you can't do because you make yourself look like an idiot. Whatever. You know what? It's over. It's happened. It's done. Coming out fighting tomorrow. It's on. Well, congratulations, ladies. We won. I just hope that the women continue to win because I'm not ready to go home. I'm going to bed. I'm, I'm going to study. I did come in as the underdog, you know, the little short order cook. But I do want to win. And I know I still have a lot to learn. After an exhausting day, the aspiring chefs settle in for a little sleep. and a little sleep is all they get. Reveille, the reveille, all hands heat up and try some. Get your uniforms on and get downstairs. Get your uniforms on and get downstairs. Get up, get your uniforms on, get downstairs. 
Get downstairs. Get your uniforms on. Get downstairs. Get up. Get your uniforms on. Get downstairs. Get your uniforms on. Get downstairs. I'm in the shower with conditioner in my hair. So I run through the house half naked. Get downstairs. And I look like a drowned rat, and I'm not happy. In band camp, they let me play the bugle. Reveille, reveille! Wipe that smile off your face! Get your uniforms on! Get downstairs! You need help with something? No, it's okay. It is an essential part of being a team to never leave anyone behind. Put your feet straight out. Be careful, I'm jerk. Uh, this is the first time I've ever been dressed by two, <laughs> two guys. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah, okay, we're just walking button up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Chef. I hope you're just as disappointed as I am on the back of last night's service. I was expecting so much more, you know that. Nothing was consistent. None of you were together. And that confirmed to me you're clearly not ready for dinner service, you know that. And that's why for the first time ever in Hell's Kitchen, we are going to open for breakfast. This is the challenge. This morning, you're going to be cooking the most amazing, consistent breakfast from start to finish. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Here are your customers. America's finest. just touched me so much. It like kind of made tears come down out of my eyes. I was really honored to be able to cook for the Army and the Navy. I have a lot of respect for them and for what they do. I love men in uniform. They're so sexy. <laughs> Go, Guys, are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Don't keep them waiting. Move. The red team will cook for the Army. The blue team, the Navy. With 50 soldiers and 50 sailors all hungry and waiting to be fed, the teams must work with military precision to get their food out. The first team to complete their breakfast service wins the challenge. I'm looking at you to be the leader today, right? Speed. I do like being a leader um, in general, not just this morning. Julia, what are station set up? One on eggs, we have one on hash brown. Okay. That's what I do. Five days a week, I run a breakfast kitchen. All right, ladies, we got this one in the bag. With the women organized and ready for battle, it's time for the men to show what they're made of. I'll do omelets. I'll do omelets. You're good to do omelets. You could get six, seven at a time. No problem? No problem at all. Okay. I have confidence. I mean, give me a chance to cook. Please come with egg one omelet, yes? How long? Two minutes, chef. Two minutes, thank you. Let's go. While the women are ready to send out their first orders, the guys are still in basic training. Two scrambled oh eggs, three omelet, Hash two pancake, two one sauce. scrambled egg. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Let's go. Hash browns, please, right now. What Hash is Aaron browns. doing? You're on fire, Aaron. Shit. Oh, boy. That's two in the garbage. There right, ladies, we go. We've got about one minute on these omelets. Up at the pass, guys. Up, up at the pass, up at the pass. I'm listening, Melissa. I really feel like we finally bonded. We were communicating with each other. The women who have been at each other's throats. You no, want to do it? To How many of us are I don't want ladies, to do it. Ladies, ladies, can we stop arguing? Seem to be working well together. Four omelets, away. Yes, chef. 17 minutes into breakfast service, the red team has already sent 20 plates of food out to the army. Over in the blue dining room, the Navy has received nothing. If I would have known I was going to get my food quicker, I would have joined the army. <laughs> Why are we throwing omelets away? I burned them, sir. You burned an omelet? Yes, sir. Unbelievable. Give me an omelet. You do not want to lose this challenge. No, sir. You burned an omelet? Yes, sir. I got to switch with somebody over here. What's that? I got to switch. Where are you at? I don't think Aaron's our weakest link. Um, I know he's our weakest link. The faster you give me a scrambled egg and two pancakes, the faster we can serve those other two omelets without having to redo them. Let's go. Come on. 
Move, this is move. it, this is it, go. That's it. We got play set up. With Josh and Brad taking over for Aaron, the blue team is now playing catch up. Away four pancakes, two omelets. Meanwhile, the women continue to get their food out fast. Two minutes on four hash browns, right, Joanna? Okay. Maybe a little too fast. These hash browns are, are not cooked. And Chef Ramsay has a few words for Joanna! Yes, yeah, Chef. Raw potato, madam. Yeah, this is the complaint. This has come back from there, yeah? I want one fucking on, scrambled ladies. egg, one omelet again. Come on, ladies. Joanna, get another pan going. Get another pan going after yeah. that, yes? Don't run out of hash brown. Yes, yeah, Chef. Give it to her. Leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there! Go, go, go. Joanna! Go, go. Joanna is having problems. Leave it there! OK. And everything just went haywire. Three straight. Holy crap. One These plates are way so too hot. Oh, not again. Hey, guys, cold hash brown. Come here. Ladies, come here. Come here. Just stop. I mean, fucking stop. Touch that. Touch it. Hello. Come on, you. Fucking touch it. Don't be so fucking rude. Sorry, it's chef. It's stone cold. Yes, yeah. chef. Chef. Shut up. Shut up. I'm gonna, hey, look at me. Look, at, hey, look at me. I'm going to tell you to shut it now. Okay. And Missy, hello? Salty, raw. I'm at it with you. Leave me alone, OK? Yes, chef. Let's go. Julia. Yes, chef. Take control. Come on. Let's rock yes, it out, ladies. Yeah. Joanna, you got hash browns ready to go? It'll be ready in one minute. All right. While Julia, the Waffle House chef, is in her element and igniting the women's team, it looks like the men's brief hot streak may be cooling off. Oi, come here, Brad. Come yes, here. Chef. It's cold. Not even fucking hot. It's cold. Cold, cold, cold. You're having a laugh, aren't Gentlemen, you? Gentlemen, make those hash browns hot. Let's go. Hey, gentlemen, today is about consistency. Brad. The chef. Are you consistently shit? No, chef. You're about to sink the Navy, you dickhead. Look at the state of them. Aaron, what are you doing, buddy? I'm not doing anything. Bacon, Aaron, please. Sausages, please, Aaron. No answer. Oh. Unable to work as a unit, the blue team is going down fast. Meanwhile, over in the red kitchen... Come on, ladies, your last order. Step up, guys. Yes, huh? yes, chef. I mean, really step up. Come on. Come on, ladies, we're almost there. Plating the meat, guys. Where's the omelette? Where's right the omelette? Go, please. Thank you. Ladies, yes, chef. come here. You've just completed your side. Well done. Thank you. Yes, Thank you, well chef. done. Julia, you were exceptional. Don't clear down. Get in there and help them finish, yes? Well done. I saw a red shirt coming in to help, so I'm like, it's over. Julia, tell them what to do. We just need bacon, sausage, hash browns. These can go. What's next, Julia? I only need one minute on this omelet, so we can go ahead and set the plates up, and by the time it, we do, it'll be ready. Music to my ears. Finally a leader. I think that people underestimated me coming into the competition, but I think today that um, I've most definitely proven that I do know my way around the kitchen and that I belong here. Excuse me, Josh. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah, Julia. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome, Chef. Breakfast, we should have been able to nail this one. And we got killed. We got murdered. Troops. Did you enjoy breakfast? Yes, sir! Thank you so much for coming. On your feet! This bitch! It was very disheartening not to be able to serve the people who serve us. Ladies, well done. Thank you, Thank you Chef. Organized, on the ball, fast, teamwork. Julia, outstanding. Thank you, Chef. Guys. Disappointing, no leadership qualities, complete chaotic mess. No one still emerging as a leader. Who is the leader? Your punishment will be KP duty. All of you will be prepping, peeling potatoes and peeling onions to serve a whole military base. That's over. A thousand pounds worth of produce. Ladies. Yes, the military have arranged a very special, unique day for you all. Please go and get ready because the helicopter's waiting. Off you go. Yes, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
We're so excited. We won again. <gasps> I'm so excited. Losing team. The chef. Get feeling. Hey, yeah. gentlemen. I'm going on a helicopter. <laughs> Where's my lip gloss? Chef Ramsey's definitely a guy worth getting dressed up for. Next punishment is courtesy of the US military, fellas. My first reaction was, where's the hand truck? <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Pick it up and get moving. Now I'm feeling like dog crap. That little nugget that you find on the bottom of your shoe, well, that's kind of like what I feel like. Throw them over your shoulder like a bunch of men. Don't act like a bunch of girls. Hey, guys, have fun cleaning those onions. I hope your eyes don't hurt too much. Shut the fuck up. I'm looking forward to the day that uh, we're walking past them. With over a ton of potatoes and onions to be peeled, the blue team is counting on every man to get the job done. <laughs> Strenuous punishment have taken their toll on Aaron. Aaron! Oh, shit. He's a the medic. Right behind. He's no, medic. Guys, give him room. Aaron just kind of fainted. Aaron just took a freaking header. Guys, give him room. Give him room. I, I gotta tell you, it scared the crap out of me. Let's get him on here now. Go, go. While Aaron is rushed away to the hospital, the women are whisked away in a helicopter. It was truly one of those things that I never thought in a million years I would ever do in my lifetime. It was amazing. The destination for today's reward is the USS Midway, the longest serving aircraft carrier in the Navy's history. Today was one of the best rewards that I think we've had. Good to see you. Thank you. Welcome aboard. These are some amazing working conditions here. It looks, looks like Josh. Funny. Yes. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to take onions, we're going to take the ends off, tap them, put them here. Who's taking the ends off? We both are. We both are. Josh is saying, I want to be the leader, but he doesn't have the fucking know-how. Maybe it'd even be smarter if we all peel potatoes, I don't know. You okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. We, I mean, we... Sometimes I just want to be like, Josh, do me a favor, shut the fuck up. When you cook, spoil the fucking stew, right? Yeah. Mm. What up to you, ladies? And well done. Cheers, ladies. Well done. Yes? I think the reward is, of course, the helicopter, the boat. But I mean, the main reward is being able to spend time with Chef Ramsay. The secret behind any restaurant. I'm not trying to be flash. I'm not trying to show off consistency each and every day. Uh, we got to talk to Chef Ramsay, pick his brain a little bit. I had so much fun. <laughs> We're gonna get in the hot tub. Back at home base, the women continue their celebration. I'm getting a bottle, a few glasses of wine. After an exhausting day of KP duty, the men return to the dorm on a mission. We have not come to an agreement on who the leader is going to be. I'll go first. I, I would like to be a team leader. I would love to be a team leader. I would like to be a team leader. <laughs> then I'm gonna say me. You know what? I'm gonna change my vote. This could end up pinning us against one another. But, you know, that's the game. I'm going with Brad on this one. Everybody decided that uh, I'm the team leader. And it's discussion, right? When I changed my vote, it was absolutely strategic. When Brock nominated me, man, I didn't deserve it. Josh, he doesn't like me because I put him on the chopping block. Josh and Brad had a little allegiance going. That further takes me out of the two-man circle. It doesn't matter. I'll just have to uh, outthink them, that's all. It's morning at Hell's Kitchen. And the blue team is starting the day with confidence, determination, and a new leader. I feel confident about tonight. I feel like tonight's the night, boys. I'm sick of losing, and I, I think I can make us win. 
The three front uh, Wellingtons. Make sure you use those first. Yes, Chef. Brad spoke up and said he was going to lead the team. We'll see how he does. Meanwhile, the women are feeling the pressure to continue their winning streak. You guys are supremely focused, right? That's right, yeah. Chef. You ever do a creme brulee, Julia? No, ma'am. You know what that is, right? Oh, no. I'm worried that Julia may fall short. She doesn't know the product. She never knows what anything is. There is no room for error. We have to win. In just moments, the doors to Hell's Kitchen will open. The men prepare for dinner service a man down. And Chef Ramsay must deliver the bad news that Aaron won't be returning to Hell's Kitchen. Hello, this is Aaron. Aaron, it's Gordon, how are you? Hey, Chef Ramsay, how are you? I'm very, very well indeed, but listen, more importantly, how are you? I'm honored that you're calling me, I can't believe it. Don't be silly, listen, I am so, so sorry that you're not feeling better. Chef Ramsay, I've, I've worked all this time to come to this point to work for you. I really appreciate you trying damn hard to get back here. But the bad news is you have a serious illness at the doctor's orders. You cannot come back into this kitchen. Alrighty then. Best wishes. Get yourself better. Bye bye, Anne. Bye bye. Bye. <sighs> I feel disappointed. I mean, I've worked almost 40 years in a kitchen to. For what? I guess I'm coming home. Bit of bad news, yes. Unfortunately, having just spoken to Aaron, he's sick, but he will not be returning to Hell's Kitchen. Do you think you could do without him, blue team? Yes, yes, chef. yes chef. Anyone there going to take control? Yes, Chef. Who is it? Brad, Chef. Brad's taking control of the blue team. Yes, Chef. Thank God for that. Blue team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One slight problem in the dining room this evening. We're low on water. You lost the challenge. So when that delivery arrives, move your backside and get that water. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Move, yeah? Let's go, yes? yes OK, Jeffy. Open Hell's Kitchen, let's go. On order, listen up. Six covers, table 20. Two risotto, two scallops, one spaghetti, one mullet. Yes, chef. Yes. Come on, Rock, please. I can't actually be working now. I guess we're stuck in there. It's not an omelet. It's no, no, no. You don't toss a fucking risotto. He was on me early. He was in my face, and I just kept on cooking. Now you're acting like a big fucking donkey. Tell me one thing. Hey, open your eye. Hello. I can't open my... Yes. You can't open your eye. I'm eye. ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. You know, I sweat a lot, and it gets in my eyes. If I don't have time to wipe it, I just close it like this. Yeah, another wimp. Uh, no, no, I got an arrow. No yeah. wimpy, I'm good. Hey, I'm good. You're feeling dizzy? No, I'm good. Uh, no. Medic, medic. I'm all right. Don't stay with hey, that, medic. Get Rock some tissues, please, yeah? He's got ointment in his eye. No tissue. I'm good, chef. Fuck me. On order, three covers, table 41. One risotto, one scallop, one spaghetti of crab. Yes, yes chef. chef. Thank you. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I finally get my time to shine. Because appetizers is my chance to lead. Risotto. Up now. Joanna. Yes, Chef. Taste it. Quickly. OK. Come on, taste it. Let's go. It's soft, it's salty. Yes, and it's just, it's crap. Yes, Chef. Yeah. Risotto, scallop, spaghetti, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Start again. Yes, Chef. While the red team suffers a setback with Joanna's risotto, the blue team has a chance to impress Chef Ramsay with their first appetizers. Rock, where's the risotto? On the line, Chef. I want to taste it. Rock. Yes, Chef. Very nice, that risotto. Thank you. Rock knows he's the leader. The problem is that Chef Ramsay doesn't know Rock is the real leader, and uh, this will be a great time for me to prove it to him. Let's go. Yes, JP. I'm running out of water. Running out of water. Fucking hell. Right, Josh. Yes, Chef. Let's go. Water, quickly, let's go. Water, yes, Chef. Go see JP. Move. Chef Philippe. Yes. Water delivery, please. It's the white truck, which is just in front of us. Thank you. It's not even that the case of water is that heavy, but after the 2,400 pounds of potatoes and onions. Uh, fuck you. 45 minutes into dinner service, Josh is returning with the water delivery. 
Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, Bonnie and Joanna are trying once again to get out their first appetizers. Who's cooking? Who? I did the scallop, Chef. What's wrong? What's wrong? Are they raw? Oh, come on. Fucking hell. You just asked me, are they raw? Why didn't you tell me what the fuck they are? They're raw, Chef. Fuck off. Guys, I'm back. Four minutes, we ready. One scallop, one mullet, two langoustine. We ready? Four minutes. Four minutes, I'm with you, Rock. No problem. Good, good. Yeah, Fuck me. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, this is the first time I've heard you. Yes, chef. I've never seen you move so fast. Let's go. Service. I don't know what you guys have done or whatever, but you're standing like a team. You're cooking like a team. We sent two orders. Don't start wetting your pants. While things are looking up for the blue team, the red team is making its third attempt at their first appetizers. Risotto, scallops, spaghetti. Are we there? Yes, chef. To the window. Is your spaghetti ready? Yes. Plating it up right now. Hey, Missy, is that crab high to you? Anyone else smell that? Where's the crab? Oh, Marianne, smell that. Hey, you, don't you fucking dare. Come here, you. Hello. Yes. Oh, God. Can you not smell that? The crab is off. It's fucking rancid. How can you do that? I didn't smell the crap, chef. I can't believe Joanna had been using it. I mean, it just made you sit up and go, whoa. We sent one out already. No, chef, we Thank haven't. God for that. You'll kill someone. Hey, get off. Get off. Julia, yes, take chef. over. Yes, chef. Shall I recommend something else? Holy fuck, recommend. Yeah, recommend a new restaurant. One hour into dinner service, not a single plate of food has left the red kitchen, and the customers are starting to get restless. No whim? The appetizers are coming in all or no? While on the other side of the room, over half of the blue diners are enjoying their appetizers. Mm. Oh, you definitely got to try this somewhere. Scallops, risotto, spaghetti. Yes, chef. Where's the other portion of scallops? Right here, chef. Come in. Ten seconds. Come on, come on, Vin. Come on, Vin. They already eat. Where's the other scallop? Right here in my hand. Hey, hello. Come here, donkeys. Here we go. We started. Come here. What is that? It's right. What is that? What, what is that? What is that? Fuck off, will you? Fuck off. OK? He slammed that shit right in Vinny's chest and Vinny tensed up and he was about to buck and all I could think was oh my god do not lose your head fuck off hey why'd you let it go when you know it's not fucking ready I screwed up again chef uh, hey hey look at me now you've now just confirmed in my mind you're not trustworthy so fuck you it's tough to bite your tongue I just figured take it it's the only way to win you'll be all right start the fucking table again while customers in the blue dining room continue to wait for entrees. Where's our food at? Customers in the red dining room are finally receiving their appetizers. It was an hour and a half reserved. It tastes good. Thanks to Julia and Jen. Julia, what you got in here is enough for two orders, OK? OK. I'm going to toss this other one. Away next. Scarlet risotto spaghetti, yes? Ladies, spaghetti. Oh, you need more spaghetti, Julia? No, oh, I fucking just let me just fucking get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. We had an order for spaghetti, and I threw out what we had. When I decided to retrieve the spaghetti from the top of the garbage and washed it, 212 kills the bacteria, and then I decided to serve it. Where'd you get it from? The garbage on the top. No, 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 no. No way. Who in the world picks food out of the trash? You can't just do anything in the heat of the moment. How long, Julia? Six minutes, chef. Oh, dear. Julia's quality control kept garbage from being served. And Jen should consider herself lucky Chef Ramsay didn't witness her mistake. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen, the pressure is on Josh and Brad to get out some entrees. Let's do two weddings in one turbo. Let's go. Josh, you hear that? I'm going at two Wellingtons. Can you, I need you guys to go. That's not a problem. How long on the Wellington? I can go right now. No, I can't. You can't? I need to pull this out then. Hey, Josh! Yes, Chef. You fucking little bastard. Hey, are you just trying to sabotage them? No way, so Chef. So make you look good? No way, Chef. Who's the first person you'd be telling? I should talk to him, Chef. I should talk to me, Station. That was my fault, Chef. No sabotage. I wasn't trying to sabotage you. Are you 
crazy? You deserve a kick in the nuts. Yes, chef. Hey, start the fucking table again. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Two hours into dinner service, the red team has finally served all their appetizers. Away next. One vegetable plate, one Wellington. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. But can we get some main courses out? Yes, yes chef. chef. Jen, how long in the Wellington? Let me check. Give me five minutes, OK? Come on, guys. Don't lose it now. In the blue kitchen, the men are still working on their first entrees. Two Wellington, two squab, one Wellington, requested rare. Yes, sure. Let's go. Let's go. So two Wellington, one is rare. Three yep. up. Brad, two minutes. Yes, no, go in two minutes and 45 seconds. Hold on, hold on. There's someone being dishonest. Lift the bottom of the Wellington over. Oh, come on. You give me them, anemic bits of shit, I'll fucking throw them up your ass sideways. Where's your fucking brain? I just cannot believe this. Can we have the two main causes together? Shit! Oh. Brad has burned his Wellingtons and brought the blue kitchen to a standstill. Now, Chef Ramsay is counting on the red team to get entrees out to their hungry diners. They're all fucking done. They're all done. Well, they're all sitting here. What am I going to do? Apps got so far behind. By the time we got to entrees, all my Wellingtons were overcooked. It was terrible. Where's the Wellington? How long? My Wellingtons are going to be overdone. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, come on. I'm not waiting another minute for my main course. 17 on order, and you've got three to send. We're 14 short. You, you don't want to stay a bit longer? No. Chef. They're all walking out, table 11, 12, 14. From both sides, Chef. Stop. Come here. Hey, hello, Chef. Sabotage. Your tables are now getting up and leaving. Fuck off, will you? Fuck off. Get out. Get out. After another frustrating dinner service, Chef Ramsay must once again choose a losing team. I'm shattered. I'm exhausted, physically, mentally exhausted. Guys, you have not completed a service yet. Brad. Yes, Chef. That's you at your best, is it, as a leader? You give me them, anemic bits of shit, I'll fucking throw them up your ass sideways. Absolutely not, Chef. Rock, best night so far. Four minutes, we rally. One scallop, one mullet, two langoustine. This is the first time I've heard you. Yes, Chef. I've never seen you move so fast. Do not stop. Ladies, 95% of your customers weren't served an entree. Joanna, give me something back rather than just some little pissy madam that doesn't give a shit. Smell that, ain't hey, you, don't you fucking hair. Come here, you. Hello. Oh, God. Hey, come here. Bonnie, that's the last time I'm ever going to trust you. I did the scallop, Chef. What's wrong? What's wrong? Are they raw? They're oh. raw. Now I'm going to check if you can cook a fucking piece of fish properly. Let's be honest. There's definitely no winners in Hell's Kitchen tonight. But tonight, the losing team is. is the red team. All of you made embarrassing mistakes. Have an amazing little team meeting amongst yourselves and decide which two of you are going to be nominated for elimination. Piss off. Fucking hell, I can still smell that crab. Salute. Salute. I can't reach. Well, play us now, boys. <laughs> I give you my honest answer. Like, I honestly think, and I don't know what y'all thinking in y'all minds, but it would be between me and Jen. Honestly. I think Joanna knew that she was going to be nominated. Obviously, when Chef Ramsay throws you off your station, it's pretty bad. Obviously, Joanna, it was, it was a shit day. But, you know, I'd have to go with you. Jen, but one thing that threw me for a loop was the spaghetti issue with the trash. What happened? I trashed spaghetti. I oh, put okay. it right on the top, and I took a little bit off the top, washed it, 
and put it back in the water. But you know what? Other people have made mistakes as well. Certain things are just fucking unacceptable. Absolutely, and I agree. I think when you throw a piece of food in the trash and you pick that shit out the trash and try to serve it to a customer, my fucking dog wouldn't see that shit. Julia, my biggest concern with you is for prep and things like that. You don't know as much as the few of us who have worked with the fine dining stuff. You don't know the product. Like, how are you going to know, like, all the herbs, all the meat? It okay. took me 10 years to learn all these I things. Understand. I don't think Julie is capable of winning this whole thing. She didn't know today what a creme brulee was. Like, if I gave you a Michelin star restaurant a month from now, what would you purchase? Melissa said that she just don't think that I'm capable of running my own restaurant. That is so far from the truth. Well, that bitch could run a motherfucking Michelin star restaurant. We have to come together as a team and decide on two people. So who do you recommend, me and Julia? So it'll be me and her. All right. Joanna. Yes, yeah, Chef. Has your team made their decision? Yes, yeah, Chef. Who are the team's two nominees? The first nominee, Chef, is myself. And who's the other nominee? They nominated Julia. I'm the next nominee, Chef. So we've got three nominees. I asked you for two. Why Julia? Jen, Bonnie, and Melissa came to a decision solely based upon her current knowledge of the ingredients and the running of a fine dining restaurant. Now, Jen has thrown herself on the sword. Yes, Chef. Why have you nominated yourself? During service tonight, Chef, we had a lot of pasta left over, and I threw it in the garbage. Julia said, we have another pasta order. So I quick ran, grabbed it, washed it, threw it in the pot of boiling water, 212, killed the bacteria. Three of you step forward. Julia, aren't you out your league? Are you? No, I don't believe that I'm out of my league. And I think that it will really shock everybody to see who comes out on top. I don't think that it's for any reason that I'm here. I agree. Julia, back in line. Jen, why should you stay? I love my job and taking charge of situations. You're taking pasta out of the bin as well. Joanna. Yes, Chef. Yeah, why should you stay? I know that my performance was weak this evening, but I also feel like I would never give you trash. So you'd never make the critical mistake that Jen made by taking pasta out of the bin and trying to serve it? No, sir. But you would cook spaghetti with the most disgusting crab. Right now, maybe both of you should go. The crab is rancid! You'll kill someone! Where'd you get it from? Garbage on the top. Oh, no, no, no. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is Joanna. Take your jacket off and leave Hell's Kitchen. Getting kicked out of Hell's Kitchen is not going to stop me at all. I think by me coming here, it made me a lot stronger. I'm ready to strive to be a better person and achieve my ultimate goal of having my own restaurant. Unbelievable. I hope everybody listens and learns from what's going on tonight. It's not that difficult. 
I made a bad decision, you know? But I have to move on. I have to get over it. It happened, and I have to make the best of it. I really have drive, and the more time I have, the more dangerous I'm going to be. Get out of here. And you, Missy, stay away from bins. I hope we can pull this back together. If we can't, we're done. I mean, they're just going to pick us off one by one. We didn't lose tonight, and that feels great. We're four strong, and we're going to keep this rocking, and those girls are not going to win again for a long time. Not only did Joanna serve rancid crab that could have seriously made a customer ill, she completely gave up, screwed her team, and if you can't handle one individual section, you've got no chance of running a business. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Our morale was down because we just lost a player. We performed horribly. I mean, inexcusably bad. I feel bad that I made a crappy decision. There's no crying in the kitchen. Jen took food out of the trash can. Where'd you get it from? Garbage on the top. Oh, no, no, no. Awful, awful decision. I would have thrown you out of my kitchen for doing that. I lost my sense of judgment being in this competition because it is so heated, because we are under pressure. Like, how do you explain that, though, Vinny, without it being looking stupid? When you sat down, I just got looked at it like, there's the, that's the girl who pulled something out of the garbage. Vinny. What? Hey, look, maybe I am sounding like a dick, but you did it. I'm going to do whatever it takes to stay in Hell's Kitchen. I'm sure that they're all Sorry. angry. Um, there's no harm in, you know, sp speaking up. And um, I'm going to speak my mind. You totally did the wrong thing by pulling something out of the garbage. You wouldn't do that? No, you're absolutely right. I wouldn't. People have no idea what we're going through in here. We're running on no sleep. It's like 3 in the morning, people. We're in hell. 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 It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen, but Chef Ramsay still has some questions about last night's dinner service. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning chef. chef. Jen, will you stay away from bins tonight? I understand that, Chef. Yep. Yeah. Vinny. Any nightmares? I, I dreamt of you all night, Chef. Me, you, and a box of quail legs. What is that? Fuck off, will you, yeah? Fuck off! We've got a hell of a lot to learn, you know that? The secret behind a good chef is taste. None of you are pushing your palates to the extreme. That's exactly what we're going to do next. The challenge is a test of your palates. Do you understand? Yes, yes Chef. chef. Julia and Brad, both of you up first. Let's go. In Chef Ramsay's taste test, each aspiring chef must attempt to identify three different foods. The team with the most correct answers will win the challenge. Ready? Brad, you sack of shit. <laughs> okay. American cheese. Tastes like American cheese. Well done. One nil. God, he's fucking ugly. <laughs> what is that? I believe it's cheese, sir. Cheddar, to be exact. Wrong. American cheese. It was hard, because you're nervous, and you add a blindfold and loud music. It, it throws you off so bad, you don't even know. Fried chicken. What is that? I believe it's fried chicken. What is that? I knew what that was immediately. You know, I'm not unfamiliar with chicken. Tastes like a fried chicken breast. Plain boiled carrots. Plain boiled carrots. Come on. What is that? Hello? Um, papaya. <laughs> Fucking carrot, you donut. What was that? A radish, chef. Uh, oh, dear. Rad. You've just been beaten by a Waffle House chef. Take the trays with you, please. 
The score is women two and men one, as Melissa and Rock step up to the plate. Ladies, two to one, yes? Can you hear under all that hair? I can hear you when you oh. lift up the thing, chef. <laughs> Egg yolk. What is that? Hard boiled egg yolk, Chef. You, yes! Got a boy. What is that? It's so familiar. I know it's probably the simplest thing in the freaking world. Hey, I want an answer. Potato. Oh. Hard boiled egg yolk. Neck and neck. Boiled potatoes. Both easily identify the potato. Potato. Boiled potato, chef. But neither can recognize venison. Either chicken or turkey, chef. Steak. Dear, oh dear. And the score remains three to three. Next up, Josh the sous chef versus Bonnie the nanny. OK. Wait, I can hear you. Christ almighty. <laughs> <laughs> right, can you hear me now? What? She can hear me. OK, you. Bonnie, can you hear me now? Nice piece of lobster. I would say langoustine, chef. Uh, close, but wrong. What was that? Scallop, chef. Oh, oh God almighty. OK, 3-3. Three, three. A slice of bak choy. Ever since I was little, I sample weird things just out of curiosity. I love to put things in my mouth. It tastes like the end of the bok choy, chef. Oh. The stem end. Come on. What was that? Radish, chef. Oh, God. This fascinates me. One professional chef with a glittering resume and one fucking nanny. 4-3 to the ladies. A slice of pear. As soon as Chef Ramsay put the piece of food in my mouth, I just rolled it around in my tongue and I squished it. It's a pear, Chef. Thank you. Well done. What is that? Mango, Chef. Uh, oh, he fucks up pear. I know Josh had a pear before. Zero out of three. Bonnie, well done. Let my team down, let myself down. No excuses. No excuses. With Josh striking out, the women are leading five to three. The men have yet to win a challenge, and now their fate rests squarely on Vinny's palate. Vinny. Yes, chef. Pressure's on, big boy. <sighs> Two to tie and three to win. Jen, Vinny, step forward. Let's go. Five, three. Thank you, Scott. This is critical. Men get this wrong. Finished. A piece of seared tuna. Up. Up. What was that? <sighs> Come on. Fucking hell. What was that? Pancetta. Pancetta. Yes! Take them off. Blindfolds off. The blue team lost uh, yet another challenge. God damn it. Gentlemen, clearly no serious palette, no clear identification. Someone needs some work on their taste. This is our third straight win. We cannot be beaten. Ladies, well done. We're going to share the most amazing dining experience together, something you've never, ever done, any of you. Gentlemen, bad news. On the back of losing the very important taste challenge, you're going to spend all day now prepping for both kitchens, because tonight we're open for service. Not only do we lose, we have to prep not just our kitchen, two kitchens. That's ridiculous. That's a, that's a ridiculous task. Not only are you prepping for both kitchens, you'll be educating your palates as we go along. Marianne, 
As part of the blue team's punishment, Chef Ramsay is dishing up something special for their lunch. Oh, God. Beef liver, tongue, pig's feet, tripe, kidneys. Oh, fucking hell. Your palates are shit, so taste everything on this platter. The food that they were given to uh, as their punishment, it's pretty bad. I mean, I, tongue and liver and kidneys, they just make, I, I, oh. Gentlemen, bon appetit. Ladies, go and get dressed. So the girls won, and I thought that we were going to knock this out of the park, and it sucks. She could hear her. She Five said days. she could hear her. She's like, I can hear her. He's like, you can hear her? She's like, yes. Well, I can hear me now. What? She can hear him. It's ridiculous. There's way too many conspiracy theories in this kitchen right now. Oh, man. Bonnie, do you realize what, that you kept saying, I can't, I can hear you, I can hear you, I can hear you, and then you answered the question exactly the way he fucking said it? What, pear? No, bok choy stem. I didn't you know cheat. I can't believe the guys think I cheated. The guys are totally making excuses. They weren't concentrating. I ain't calling you a cheater. I, I like you, Bonnie. Wow. So where are we going? Do you have any idea? I don't know. <laughs> I cannot believe that they would have the audacity to accuse me of cheating. No, that's crazy. That's just like, I mean, I could not believe it. All of my sympathy for them, it just went out the window. Come on. Jealousy makes you nasty. It's like, they're, they're like bitter, you know? It's like, she cheated, she heard. We're lucky, hell's bitches. <laughs> now, Chef Ramsay wants to continue to educate your palate. You have some pickled palm leaf. You have grass jelly, creamed herring, pickled herring, calf's liver, trotters, pig's tongue, and cow's tongue. Here's your barf bags in case your stomach can't handle it. Ladies, old lamb and ready to go, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. First of all, well done. Congratulations. Um, I promise you, this will be a unique dining experience. Welcome to Ope. Chef Ramsay leads the women into unfamiliar territory, dining in the dark. Wow. Oh, my God. It was so dark in there. I mean, you couldn't see your hand in front of your face, literally. I'm sorry Ladies, if I'm keep hanging up, on. Please. I just don't know what to go fast. Well, I can tell <laughs> I just never thought about people wanting to eat in the dark. But I guess when you really get into fine dining, it's all about the taste of the food. Oh, I feel the table. <laughs> <laughs> Who threw a roll at me? <laughs> Who threw a roll at me? While the women are enjoying a unique dining experience, the men are treating their palates to some rather unusual delicacies. Make this a meal. What is this? That's pig's tongue. That's definitely tongue. I'm not gonna sit there and bullshit. It was fucking nasty. It was disgusting. I'm pissed. I'm angry. <clears throat> you want me to get you some hot sauce? I'm good. Want some more water, Chef? Cheers. Well done. Oh, they're reaching. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Chef, do you have the nicest voice in the dark? You really do. It's quite. Ah. Bonnie. Bonnie. Behave yourself. <laughs> It was way easier to talk to Chef Ramsay while we were in the dark. I can't get fresh with you, Chef. I can't even find you. <laughs> I thought I'd be complaining I didn't get pickled herring. Look, I will, I will swap stomach lining for cow's liver and a little bit of this jelly. What the fuck is this? That's stomach lining. It's good for stomach you. Stomach lining of, uh, what did he say, cow? Rock, I think you should let it go if you got to let it go. I'm not, I don't have to throw up. You need this? The domino effect of puking crossed my mind. I was afraid, though, that if, if Rock puked, then Vinny was going to puke. Then Vinny's going to puke, then Josh is going to puke. If one throws up, everyone's going to go down. <coughs> <coughs> you want know Rock? Be the man and throw it up. I'll yep. hold back. <laughs> it was the most disgusting experience I've had in my life. I need to use the restroom. Excuse me. After a rewarding day with Chef Ramsay, the women return to the dorms for a little R&R. Ha, 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 ha.
Oh. I'm relieved that the boys have to prep for us tonight because I'm exhausted. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some sleep and get my game back. The men complete their punishment of prepping both kitchens for tonight's dinner service. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna start prepping. Hustle today, too, fellas. I don't want to see any goofing off. I am sore. We've been going nonstop for a long time on no sleep. And pushing, pushing, pushing all day. Prepping for two kitchens. Before the doors of Hell's Kitchen can open, Chef Ramsay has an important announcement. You've all got a one in eight chance of winning a phenomenal prize. Head chef at the Green Valley Ranch Resort in Vegas. And tonight, whether you like it or not, your fate lies in the hands of the customers. Their comment cards, yeah, on everything they eat will determine which team wins. Move your ass. Yes, 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 Jean Philippe, open house kitchen, let's go. The pea risotto with Parmesan shavings and toasted almonds. Yeah, nice atmosphere in there tonight, yeah? Keep it up, yes? Yeah, anyone waiting, complaining, waiting, I want to know straight away, yeah? As Chef Ramsay has often said, getting appetizers out quickly is the key to a successful dinner service. In the blue kitchen, Josh is now ready to deliver his first appetizer to Chef Ramsay. Soto! Yes, Chef. What's he done now? What's that? Huh? It just doesn't taste cooked now. It's still a little crunchy. Risotto back on! It's not cooked properly, the risotto. Sorry, Chef. It's not cooked properly, the risotto. Oh, fuck me. Fucking hell. Risotto's not cooked properly, yes? Put it right here. Dress the scallops. Dress the scallops. Yes, sir. He just sits there and fucking dreams. Come on, work the risotto. It's not cooked properly, yes, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, we were having problems. But when it comes down to it, holy shit, get it right. Gentlemen, yeah. the customers decide your fate tonight. Yes, sir. Get a grip, yes? yes? yes You're not passing me shit, you. Hey. Get a grip, yes? Yes, Chef. While Josh struggles with the risotto, the women are ready to impress Chef Ramsay with their appetizers. Two minutes. Two minutes. Those are overcooked, babe. Huh? Those are overcooked. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Julia's scallops are overcooked, you guys. One minute to the window. Julia needs two minutes. I need two minutes. I got to put my risotto up. You ready? Did you hear me? I need two minutes. Ready, Julia? I told you I need two minutes. But that was one minute ago. One minute. Something's happened, but no one's told me. Um, I overcooked the scallops. Thank you. Melissa, you're running the appetizers, yes? yes? You're running ahead, and no one's with you. Yes, Chef. You're not a team player. Right now, I need some team fucking spirit. Yes, yes Chef. I'll kick you out, and I'll do the fucking section myself. Yes, Chef. I know what your game is, yeah? You just want to get all your little appetizers out. No, no, no Chef. Good, yeah? I know oh, I was... Oh, fuck me. No, oh, fuck I me. swear to God, fuck that's off. not true. Piss off. Not true. Fucking bimbo. I definitely think Chef Ramsay puts more pressure on the more experienced, but you know what? He should. You're at Hell's Kitchen. Julia, every time you're slow, I'm getting yelled at. Thank you, Melissa. While Melissa is doing everything she can to hold things together in the red kitchen, over in the blue kitchen, Josh isn't doing anything at all. That's it. Hello. You got nothing on. You've got nothing fucking on. Brock, he's on the appetizers. Yes, yeah? Chef. He's got nothing on this table. Yes, he sir. should be cooking the scallops for you. Yes. But he won't suggest that. Josh. But you've got to tell him Josh. to do it. Yes, sir. Come over here, please, please. Rock, you got it? No problem. Thank you, Rock. Get over there. It's 45 minutes into dinner service, and thanks to Rock's efforts, customers in the blue dining room are now enjoying appetizers. Wow, it looks gorgeous. Yeah. It's really good, though. Tasty. Meanwhile, the men have moved on to entrees, and Vinny is ready to impress Chef Ramsay with his meat. Two seconds, first main course, yeah? Three Wellington. Vinny! Can we go with the three Wellington? Chef, I need more time on the Wellington. Oh, fucking hell. I overcooked them. I need 15, 15 minutes. 15 minutes? What? What? Vinny, come on, what are you on about 15 minutes? Oh, get out. Come on, guys, come on. Fuck off. Vinny. Everything moving fucking perfectly normal, and then you want 15 more minutes because you fucked. How many did you fuck? I, I fucked uh, four of them, chef. As Vinny struggles with his meat in the blue kitchen, Bonnie tries to master her meat in the red kitchen. It's so raw. It's thinner. 
No, it's still raw. Hey, let's go. We're waiting on you, Bonnie. Yes, chef. Is that just sliced in half, then? Put back in the pan? Yes, chef. Oh, no, Bonnie. Yes, not chef. that. You're fucking here, you stupid cat. Do you know what? Every time I ask you a sensible question, you give me a dumb blonde answer. Sorry, chef. Right, let's go back to the beginning, shall we? Yes, chef. Have you just sliced the chicken in half and stuck it back in the oven? Yes, chef. Is it dry? It doesn't feel dry, Jeff, but I'll start over. It's fucking lost its texture. Right chef. now, you're all screwing your fucking selves. Hey, is the chicken in for the longest thing? Yes, yes, yes right, right here. Right here. Right Fuck here. Me. Hey, that's the main course one. It's right oh, here, that... chef. Listen, hey, listen, it's not in. It's not in, but I'm putting it in right now. Right, so. Here we go again. When are you going to fucking shut up? I've had enough now! Stop lying to me! You're saying yes all the fucking time, yet nothing's done! Work together! Yes, 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 Chef! OK, ladies, as long as we don't get anything coming back, we'll be fine. Y'all hear me? Let's not everybody try to be chiefs. Let's go. Despite many setbacks, two hours into dinner service, the Red Kitchen has managed to serve 14 entrees while the blue kitchen has only served six. I just came to tell you that there will be a slight delay on the main courses. And we haven't even had an appetizer. We can't eat any more bread. We can't eat red wine. You go talk to the chef or I'm going to choose from Service, please. Service, please. Yes, Two seconds, please, madam. Service, please. Yes, We've been waiting for a long time. Well, Jean-Philippe. What table is the lady from, please, so we can find out where her food is, please? 23, Chef. 23. Blue, yes? Yes, Chef. Take the draft back to the table, please. Service, please. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, he's being rude to me. Will you, yeah? Move your fucking ass, will you, yeah? No way. Well, it's right. one rare, one medium, one normal, yes? What's yeah. going, Vinny? Hello? Any update on the Wellingtons, or have I got to yeah. fucking read your mind? Monkfish, uh, two monkfish, one chicken, one Wellington medium. Is that medium there? Just flashing them in the oven after they're cooked. OK, guys, uh, stop, 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 stop! Blue donkeys, come here! Touch that, touch that. It's rare! You, look at me. You don't care anymore, you know that. Chef Ramsay was on me tonight. He's Hawkeye. You know, he, he sees, he's, he's Oz, he sees everything. Let's go, I got a medium right here. One Wellington. Go, right there. Vinny! Yes, Chef. Vinny, come on, chef. Look, raw pastry, trim off the bottom. That's the shit you don't send to the customers. It's still left on. Tell him to trim them, will you, please? Trim the trim real quick. Chef Vinny. Yes, chef. Look at me. Can you trim it properly? Yes, chef. Yeah, and bring it to the hot plate and cut the pastry with a serrated knife. Donkey. Is it every other one with you is right, or is it one in three is right? No, chef. This one's perfect. This one's perfect. What have you ever cooked? How much have you been? I fucked a lot up, but I, I'm, I'm on it now. Oh, no. I kept my own private garbage bin on my station, and uh, I had six Wellington orders and one chicken in my bin. Hey, a restaurant wouldn't even open with that. You, you'd close it before you got anywhere. It was a mistake. It's an expensive mistake. Oh, fuck me, senseless. While Vinny is hopeless on the meat station, Bonnie is hoping her Wellingtons will finally impress Chef Ramsay. Has the Wellington rested? No, Chef. How long for that? Three more minutes. Oh, my God. I have no idea what's going on. We have, I'm going to help Bonnie do the two Wellingtons. Are you sure those are going to be medium well? They're medium. I don't even know what the temperatures are anymore. I'm so confused. What's going on, Bonnie? What's going on? Still not it's medium. so rare. Mm, fuck. It's not ready. One's raw, one's medium. Damn it. How about this one? Melissa, if you want to help me, ask me what you can do. If not, fuck off. Oh, why preview on the Wellington? The medium rare is in the oven. Which temperature was oh, it? Oh, look at them. Fuck me. Look at them. Who's timing them? Too many cooks have fucked the Wellingtons. I start to get rattled when I don't have an answer for Chef Ramsay. And I had to turn to Melissa, who then turned and looked at me, and we're staring at each other, and neither of us know what to say because neither of us knew what the other person did. I have to start over, Chef. Uh... With the red kitchen stalled at 28 entrees, the blue team is starting to catch up. Having now served 21 entrees, things are looking up for the men. Are you enjoying your main course? The fish was salty. Go on. She, she found it salty on the other point. Salty. 
Table 22 found a fish salty. The blue team is hoping that the salty fish will be their last setback of the evening. But that's not the case. They're not cooked enough. Well, let me do something about it. Sure, thank you, man. Thank you. Table 20 spaghetti and a cooked chef. Blue, yes? We chef. Where's fucking pretty boy sushi, man? Where is he? Right here, chef. Complain. Raw spaghetti. No, don't. Fuck it. <laughs> what the fuck is all that? What do you think you are? WWF wrestling. Dick. Taste it. One crab spaghetti that came back. The customer said that the pasta was undercooked, which was horseshit. Hey, gentlemen, just come here two seconds. Uh, ladies, ladies, yeah, just come here two seconds, yes? Let me just tell you something. The customers are deciding which team is winning this evening. Your fate is in their hands, yet you still send crap. One more dish back, and I'm going to fucking shut it down. Now get a grip. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. I mean, the venison is extremely dry. I mean. Two weddings, one turbo, and one fish, one chicken, yes? Yes, chef. Yeah, how long? 11 minutes. 11 minutes? Yes, chef. Why so long? Because the chicken's still cooking. And the chicken takes half as long as the Wellington? The Wellington's ready. The Wellingtons take twice as long as the chicken, yes. yet the Wellingtons are cooked, but the chicken's not. Yes, chef. I have to really slow it down with you and put it in sort of nannified words, yes, yeah, so you fucking understand. I don't think Chef Ramsay likes me. I just feel like I came into this competition as an idiot, and I'm going to leave as an idiot, because no one takes me seriously. I'm the nanny with a good palate, and that's it, I guess. I don't know. Potatoes, please. Where's the chicken? Chicken, chef. Fuck. You got no better chicken than that. You got any more chicken? Yes, than that? I do, chef. Oh, fuck. Any better chicken than that? Is that cooked? Yes, chef. Look, it's ripped to fuck. It's dry. Oh god, fucking hell. I'm just getting so fucking wound up. It's not going anywhere. We're not getting anything out. Everyone's fucking sunk. Clearly given up, and it's fucking no, chef. embarrassing. No, chef. chef. Oh fuck off. Oh fuck off. Oh, what do they say? Uh, chick chicken being cold, chef. Huh? Chicken being cold. Right, hey, gentlemen. Hey, uh, ladies, yeah, all look good. Run over. Hey, hey, Barbie, do your hair before you come over. Stone cold chicken, fucking salty fucking garnish, yeah? And fucking, there you go, chef, there you go. Fucking clear down. Chef was furious. He dropped the plate. He said, fuck off, shut down and we were so goddamn close again. Damn it. The customers are filling out their comment cards, but Bonnie is in no mood for constructive criticism. Are you okay? I'm just not cut out to be here. I'm not. I can't go with it. Don't start singing at Bonnie. That's the only way that we can learn. Okay. I've never worked at a restaurant like this. I cook for four people, and if I don't have something ready, it's okay, because they know me, it's not a big problem. I'm just tired and I just don't think I can keep up anymore. I wanna go home. We panicked, when we knew we were about to be done, we panicked, we had seven Wellington, we had everything ready, we panicked. Same way we put out the first check, we gotta put out the last check. I was able to channel my anger and not take it out on my team. They should perform better and I think that I should perform better. I've been through the comment cards, yes? The good news is, the customers enjoyed the majority of your food. The bad news is, over 65% of your customers won't come back because your food took too long to get to the table. What the fuck is all that about? Your restaurant would fail with those numbers. That's why... There's no such thing as a winning team tonight. Forget it. Rock. Yes, Chef. You were solid. I felt presence. Thank you, sir. Thank God for that. Nominate one from your team. Yes, sir. Cut the crap and get straight to the fucking heart of the problem. Yeah. Melissa. Yes, Chef. You will not be nominating anyone. 
Because you were bad. I yes, mean, chef. You were just... Horrible chef. You were pathetic. Yes, chef. Bonnie. Yes, chef. Is that chicken overcooked there? What chicken? You know, I don't even get a straight answer. Jen. Yes, chef. You'll nominate one from your team to leave. Because you weren't brilliant, but you weren't bad. Yes, chef. Now fuck off back to the dorm. Un-fucking real. Do you know what you're gonna do? Yeah. I knew what I was gonna do before service if I had the opportunity. To be honest with you. But I'm not sure what you guys have on your team, so your, your decision might be a little more difficult than mine. My decision is not difficult at all. Chef said to me specifically, stop messing around. You know what's wrong with your team. Make the decision and get on with it. Ah, uh, it was good working with you guys, though. We don't know anything. We don't know anything. We don't know anything. I'm going home. I can only assume that he's going to nominate me, since my station was the worst. And, uh, you know, it looks like I'll be going home, packing my bags. Wow. Well, it's been fun. I feel so bad for Jen. You know, she's, like, such, like, a kind person. I know. You know what I mean? That. I'm pretty sure she's going to nominate me, and I'm fine with it. I adore Jen, and I'm fine with her choosing me. We have a wonderful relationship, but if this is a game, someone has to go home, so it may be me. You got a big decision to make, huh? Yeah. You know what you do? You got to be smart. You got to nominate your toughest competitor. Do you, though? I'm, no, you know. I am looking at it based on tonight's performance, because that's how everyone else looks at it, right? Yeah, well, yeah. I love Bonnie. No nominator. It was between her and Melissa who did bad. They're both strong. God, I gotta go. I can't think of I don't, I don't like this. You know, I guess I'm too nice, you know? Yeah, you gotta remember what you want, though. Did you come out here to fucking be the nice girl? Did no, you come out here? No, Vinny, I didn't come out here to be the nice girl. I can't sit here and worry about it. I have to be strong. People hate me because of my decision making. I'm sorry. I try. I have a good heart, but what are you gonna do? Rock. Yes, sir. Have you made your mind up? Yes. Who's your nominee and why? My nominee is... Josh. Josh? I think he's maxed out of his potential as far as what the team needs. I don't think he is an asset at this moment. Jen, nominee and why? Melissa? Melissa. Based on tonight's performance, I just didn't feel her leadership qualities were there. That's it? Yes, Chef. I'm disappointed. With both of you. You clearly didn't nominate the worst performer. You've both been overruled. Bonnie. Vinny. Step forward. Vinny, why didn't Rock nominate you? Chef, I had my head so far up my ass during service, I don't know if Joshua did good or bad during service. Good answer. Bonnie, why didn't Jen nominate you? To be honest, I was surprised. I'm not oblivious to my performance tonight. I know no. I screwed up big time. Vinny. Yes, Chef. Give me one good reason why I should continue tolerating you. Well, Chef, when you decide to put your name behind somebody's name for this hotel in Las Vegas, uh, I'm the most qualified chef here. How about a little bit of humility right now to keep your ass in Hell's Kitchen? When will you ever accept that you fucked up? When will you ever accept that you are totally oblivious to cooking at Wellington? I thought that, you know, I thought I had the, the scheme down. I thought I figured out, you know, how to do it. Didn't work out that way. Bonnie, you were bad. I was bad, Chef. You screwed it big time. Yes, I did, Chef. What have you got left? 
I've always been able to, to guide my team when I've been doing prep. I need help on service, I'm not gonna lie. You need help on service? I, I was crap, I was crap. I'm sure when you started out, you made a lot of mistakes too. I'm learning from my mistakes. This is not an easy decision. Stop lying to me! You're saying yes all the fucking time, yet nothing's done! Vinny, is it every other one with you? I fucked a lot up, but I, I'm, I'm on it now. Oh, fuck me, senseless. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight is Vinny. I can't go any further with you. Thanks, chef. You've peaked. Take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. I can't do what he does. He's got years of experience on me. He knows what oysters and caviar taste like from Japan. And he knows what spices from India are like, and I don't know that. There's a lot of things that I like to do over, but the reality is that, you know, there is isn't. There is no second chances in Hell's Kitchen. A lot of the weak links have gone. I swear to God, I'll go crazy if I get fed any more excuses. I still want to be a chef, but maybe I'm not right as a chef like this. You can't cry in a kitchen. Maybe I'm just too sensitive to be here. I don't know. Rock wants me off. I mean, apparently he does. He's put me up twice. But you know what? You're not my chef. You're not the one that matters here. Chef Ramsey is. Good night. Good night, Good night chef. chef. None of them are threat to rock. Only threat to rock is rock. Vinny talks the talk. He doesn't walk the walk. The bottom line with Vinny is, he's a crap cook. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. I was off by nominating you? Yes, 100%. 100%. Yeah. I did not deserve to be put up tonight. Rock wants me off. He's put me up twice, and you know what? That's fine. If Chef Ramsey didn't see anything in me, I'd be gone. I think that you try to go so fast sometimes, you trip yourself up. Maybe I see it differently. Josh is the worst of us. He doesn't have a chance unless I fall flat on my face, Brad falls flat on his face. I think he's maxed out. We haven't won anything. We started out with six. We're in half. Now that the blue team has dwindled down to three people, we lost the excess weight, and now we're ready to run. We're a team, dude. We're a team. We're a team. For, for right now, we are. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. I just wish you guys would have, like, patted me on the back or something. You guys have just been ignoring me. Like, I feel like I'm the elephant in the room. I'm, I'm here, and everyone sees me, but they're just not acknowledging me, so I may as well have gone home. We had a long walk back up here, and you guys didn't say one thing to me. It's just a really shit feeling. I, I needed some team support. So. It's a fucking competition. I think Bonnie is kind of uh, a failure ready to happen. Maybe I just don't have what it takes to be here. It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen, and another chance for the exhausted chefs to prove themselves. Hello. Get your asses in the SUV. Right now. Thanks, thanks. In the SUVs, outside. OK. My first thought is sweet. We're actually getting out of the kitchen. It's finally saw the sun for the first time in a long time. I haven't won a goddamn thing yet. Good morning. Good morning, Chad. New day, new challenge. For the very first time in Hell's Kitchen, we are catering for a very unique, special event. We are cooking for a wedding reception. Well, wedding's a once-in-a-lifetime event. We want to make it special, so the pressure's on now. The bride and groom will be married, and they'll be celebrating at Hell's Kitchen. Each team will need to create one appetizer, one fish entree, one meat entree. Each team has a budget of $100. Yes, chef. You've got 30 minutes. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Off you go. With only 30 minutes, okay, go, go, go. it's crucial that the chefs work together beef. to create a great tasting menu that will be appropriate for an entire wedding party. What do you guys think of duck? 
Yeah. Yeah. That's time to cook it. I think we should go for lamb. I like lamb. I think we should go with the duck. Is that going to be feasible for all those people for the wedding reception? I did take the lead because over the past few days, I feel like the team has put me in that position. It's $2.99 a pound. You can't get cheaper okay, than that. Oh, grab it. With only $100 to spend on all three dishes, way too much. the teams must keep a close eye on their budgets. How much is this? These yellow peppers are way expensive. I know how to shop, you know, I grew up in the ghetto, so you don't just go in there and grab, you know, the thing that looks good or has the best label. Save that money. We only got $30 left. Good call, Good deal. Right? Good deal. Just one, just one. We got the brie, now we need brown sugar. We can do some asparagus. Let's do something simple like that, boo. Yep. But then we, we need to move uh, while we're talking. We're gonna... going for two minutes. We have two, two minutes, minutes, gentlemen. To the right, to the right. To the right, to the right. Let's go. Don't kill anybody. Right, right. Go, go. Okay, guys, you got one minute left. Oh. Stay together, stay together. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. Bring it in. Ten seconds. Right here, right here, right here. One second, time. Both teams make it to the checkout in time. Yeah, perfect. Okay. All right, I think we did good. Oh, thank you. The red team comes in below the $100 limit, while the blue team... Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. 37.28 has to come off. This is only 650. Let's take exactly. this back. Let's keep the stone crap. Tough decision, fellas. Tough decision. We had to put back a lot of the stuff that we wanted. We got to take it all somehow. We can't take it all off them. Which uh, really hurt us, because we had to put some items back that we needed, which is not good. We um, have to. We have no. Listen, okay, we can't go with take a bass for the fish. Go with $37. And then for the on, and for the on $37. Figure it out. You know what, guys? We're going to have to get rid of the wine. Let's get rid of the wine. That's the biggest chunk that we can afford to take off. OK. All right, well, we're creating flavor is what we're doing. We spent $99.59. We're in. We're in. Half of this voids. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Well, Appreciate it. All right. Okay, let's go, everybody. With the shopping completed for the wedding reception tasting, both teams have just one hour to prepare their dishes. Cutting boards. I got cutting boards. Cutting boards, boiling water, stock on. If anybody has a question, let's just ask me, since that's what the chef's been doing. Oh, yeah. That's been helping us. Look, that's all we got, so we need to use every bit of that. Use all of this. Don't throw any of this away. Bonnie, really. I'm going to sear it till it gets really, really crispy. No, you have to do it very slowly. It's not a sear. What's the problem? Ask me, Julie, if you have any questions. All right. What's the problem? What is your problem, Melissa? You're supposed to listen to me, not Bonnie. Excuse me? Is everybody good? Yes? Yes, Melissa. While Melissa dictates things in the red kitchen, the blue team takes a more democratic approach. All right, gentlemen, we got to work together, communicate. Simple, simple, but just very flavorful. Checking on your duck there, uh, Julia. You took it out of the oven? Yeah, so it won't burn. I think you should just put this in so just for a little bit. Hand. Guys, all the food has to be hot, OK? And I'm assuming that you Don't have assume. a little bit of knowledge of how to cook. Otherwise, you shouldn't be here. I thought that you knew how to cook, too. I am above all this. Argue, argue. Hell's bitches, hell's bitches, yeah. If you have any questions, ask. Don't just assume and do it. While Melissa continues her dictatorship in the red kitchen, in the blue kitchen, the men are quickly using up their limited resources. Those lunches are overcooked. Is that all? Make it into a puree. Yep, make it into a puree. Um, we had a lot of waste, which is not a good thing at all. I don't have much to work with. I wouldn't be wasting anything. OK, gentlemen, two minutes to go, yes? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. The duck is overdone. I know, you made it overdone. I didn't make it overdone. Your job, your station. You suck yes. it back in the oven. Don't try it. I took it out on time. Exactly. One minute to go, yes? yes One chef. minute. Chef. Don't try to throw your blame on me. You take it. Ladies, plates on here, yes? Plate them up, yes? 15 seconds to go, gentlemen. Three plates on here, yes? Yes, chef. chef. 15 seconds to go. Guys, we need to start plating. Plate up right now. Time. Present your food. It's now time for the wedding dishes to be judged. This menu is a crucial, critical menu. Did you use the time wisely? No, no chef. chef. What? No. Too many people were arguing on our team, chef. Oh, come on, ladies. Why are we arguing, Julia, on such an important occasion? Because there was one person that wanted to run around and do every single thing. Who's in charge? I'm in charge, but unfortunately, I can't do everything at once. I so, need so, help. So I didn't put you in charge, madam. You're standing there acting like some jumped-up little cave woman. Today's challenge, quite frankly, was a team effort. Let's hope what you've produced in the last hour is delicious. I've got some good news for you. I'm not going to be judging those dishes today. I've got the bride and groom. 
they will be choosing which dishes they want for their reception. Carlotta and Cyrus. Welcome. Yes. Please, take a seat. Thank you. Oh, dear. What's the matter? Chef, I don't think that we should serve them our food. Uh, Melissa, this is barely 24 hours before their big day. Right now, little lady, you are not going to spoil it. Bring the appetizers forward and do as you're told. The team with the most dishes chosen by the wedding couple will win this challenge. What we have here is a crab with thyme and grapefruit aioli. Thank you. Thank you. What we have here is puff pastry. It's got a melted brie cheese in the middle with fresh strawberry on top. Thank you. Carlotta, maybe start with the crab. And Cyrus, why don't you start with the strawberries? I think the flavor is fantastic. I think everyone would love this, actually. Cyrus, what do you think of that? Strawberry. I think this is very good, but it is very dessert-like. Would you be happy to have the crab as your first dish? I think yeah. that would be great. Mm -hmm. Good. One nil to the blue team. The bride and groom have chosen the men's crab appetizer, giving the blue team a one-dish lead. Next up is the fish entree. This is um, sea bass with collard greens cured in bacon. Josh, please. Right over here, we have a fresh herb crusted Corvina sea bass with a vegetable broth butter foam sauce. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice. You ladies first. There we are. This is just a little bit strange. Uh -huh. The foam. Cyrus? Excellent. So, what is your decision? But definitely the collard greens with the bacon. I think that's great. Yeah. In the Battle of the Sea Bass, the women's dish is preferred over the men's. Fish entree to the ladies. 1-1. One, one. Now, it all comes down to the meat entree. Tied 1-1, one one, all the pressure, riding on me. Third and final dish. Please present the meat entrees. We shouldn't sign it. Please present the meat entrees together. It's just the duck. You ready, Jen? Jen, don't sign it. Melissa, I don't know what you're trying to do, whether you're trying to upset our guests, but right now, I'm starting to get pissed. Now, will you send your food? Let's go. Right. Dome's off. Uh, right. OK. Um... There are no words to say how humiliating it was serving a piece of shit duck to a husband and wife to be. I really wanted to disintegrate. Oh, dear. Jen. Yes, Chef. Describe the dish. That's a duck breast. Um. First of all, I'm deeply embarrassed. I am as well. I was so embarrassed, you know? They probably think I cooked it. I had nothing to do with that. Rock, please explain. We have a dry-aged ribeye that's been pan-seared and served with a wild mushroom cream sauce. Thank you. Thank you a lot. There we are, my knife. Excuse me. Oh, wow, this is really tough. I'm so sorry. Nobody's going to eat that. No. That's great. Definitely. Rock's ribeye easily beats the women's lame duck, and the men win their first challenge in Hell's Kitchen. Two things are happening right now. Number one, we finally got a win, and we feel great about it. Number two, it's open hunting season on chicks, and we're about to start picking them off one by one. Uh, my uh, apologies, and we'll do all we can to make sure it's a very special day. Thank you. Thank you for Thank joining you. us at Tasting. Thank you. Thank you. You four hell's bitches, I am embarrassed. I don't think I've ever, ever been so embarrassed inside this restaurant in my entire life. That was a joke. You should be ashamed. All four of you, I'm going to work your asses off. Get out my sight.
That was well done. Bloody well done. You won hands down. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. OK, for the reward, yes? You're going to have a really nice, relaxing, chilled-out, pampered day, yes? At the XL Spa. All three of you are going to be treated like princes. After all the rewards that the girls won, I'm so glad that we won this one. We getting pampered. I love it. What the fuck happened? Melissa gets spazzed out when she's in the kitchen. Is it the power struggle? And she was the one that made the duck overcook. She was going to... She over... She threw it back in there. I know. We are going to have a mutiny, and we are going to rise up, and we are going to take her down. Melissa threw the duck breast back in the fucking oven. It was perfect, and that's why it got overcooked. She was going to cook it for... Ooh. Brad. Yes, chef. When was the last time you had a nice massage? I've never had a massage, chef. Wow. Make sure you keep your pants on. Yes, chef. Scott, here we are. Nice, big, thick, luxurious robes. Get them on, yes, and get ready for your spa. Congratulations, you deserve it. I really mean that. Now fuck off. <laughs> oh, do I need this? Oh. Whew, holy crap. Ooh, I'm feeling good right now. I'm not even gonna lie. We weren't the better of the worst. We won and we beat them bad. This is a double positive. It was a win for us. We feel great. They're coming apart. So what do you think happened today? I don't know. What do you think happened? I think that you were um, doing a whole lot of talking and not enough cooking. Who put you in charge? OK, good. Do you agree or I'm, I'm not ready to talk yet. Well, you can't just take the reins like that and start bossing people around. You couldn't take control? You, you took control, been... Melissa, and you basically told me to shut the fuck up. You said, don't ask Bonnie questions, ask me. Oh, right, right, right. You made me feel like an asshole, so I just stopped talking. We had to get something done. But nothing got done, though. Yeah, because everybody forgot how to cook tonight. That's not true. There was a lot of disrespect going on. When anybody treats me with disrespect, I'm not going to stand for it. I'm going to tell you this. I think we need to respect each other uh -huh. and the tones of our voices. You know what you need to do next time, I think? What? I think next time you need to grow a set of balls. I'm like this close to strangling her right now. You know what? If one of you think you could do a better job, go. Who? Oh, yeah. Having won their first challenge ever, the men leave for their reward, a day at a luxury spa. Oh, my god. This is exactly what I did. And while a masseuse works on releasing the men's knots, the women will be decorating the restaurant for the couple tying the knot. I would like to introduce you, Francisco, who's the wedding planner. I see we have our work to do. We're going to deck the halls with chiffons and florals. We're going to cloak the chairs with white, white, white fabric and bows. You'd think there were angels in the room. Super. There is so much more. Champagne flutes, flower petals, bubble bottle blowers, roses, beautiful pink ribbons, a garden of gorgeousness. Are you ready to make magic happen? Yes. Yeah, ready to make magic happen. OK, follow me. <laughs> OK. This is going to look just like Cinderella's wedding. A wedding takes a while to set up for. We'll be we decorating until the wee hours in the morning, probably. Thank you very much, girls. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. Guys, listen, let's come up with a plan if we want to finish this. As long as we work in, though. Well, so keep, keep doing the thing. OK, yeah. OK, so what you're going to do is hold this. Julie, do you need help over there? Do you want me to help you with that? Oh, no, I'm OK, thank you. Did Bonnie show you <laughs> what you needed? Are y'all OK? Are y'all OK? Can I help you? Do you need me to do anything? Are y'all OK? I don't understand why we can't just work. Will it be faster if I help you with that? Oh, my god. I don't even understand why she keeps talking. Julie, do you want me to show you how to do those? I think I figured it out. Jen, how are you? I'm fabulous. You'll feel pressure, then it will pass. I've never had acupuncture. And initially, I was like, ah. You sleep well? <laughs> I didn't feel like I was asleep. I felt like I was going in and out. I'm going to go down like this. You just relax, OK? She was, you know, lifting me and twisting me and all this stuff. And you know, I kind of felt weird at first. You got to work on that relax thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not used to relaxing. <laughs> but as soon as I let myself go, I was in total bliss. 
Oh, that's nice. Hey, Rock, you get used to this wedding thing, huh? I can. How about you, Rock? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you want to do all the same, like five pink, four yellow. Are you serious? Four. Yes, I'm serious. I'm as serious as a heart attack. I'm not doing it. If nobody else is going to correct the problem and it's going to make us fail at our task, then I'm going to take charge and try and correct it. I'm trying to make you guys help me a tiny bit. Why I'll is it about helping you <laughs> for well, some reason? I'm trying to get everything done quicker. I'll I don't do want to listen to you anymore, Melissa. We're going to be here all night decorating, and she's not going to stop talking, and I may have to strangle her with some chiffon. What is, what's happened to you? As the women struggle to get along, the men bond over their rewarding day. I think we do a toast to the next dinner service and us three pull together and beat their ass. Kick their asses. Let's see those hell's bitches go down. <laughs> Hold that down and we'll fit. Oh, man. And they're going to get so pissed, they're going to go each other's throats. Yeah, salute to that. I'm trying to come up with a plan. If you would like to help me come up with a plan, that would be great. I'm uh, talking and not working. That's what I was talking I understand about. Let's that. Work. Let's get but it done. I think it would be quicker that way. Who cares? Just put the mints in the mesh. My God. What vessel in my forehead is going to burst? You're starting to sound like Chef. It's a new day, and for the first time ever, Hell's Kitchen is hosting a wedding reception. Now just remember, you got to be able to share your recipes with the girls next door. And as a result of the tasting challenge, the menu will include dishes from both teams. Guys, how are you doing your potato thing? Because they have to be the same. How long you bake it for and on what uh, temperature? Um, probably 350. Probably, or you are. Rock could be trying to tell me to do it the wrong way. But it has to chill first, then we have to bake it. No, you chill after the baking. Get it in the oven now. Go. Melissa kept asking about these potatoes. She's overcomplicating, telling me what to do, and I don't see how that makes any sense. She's tripping over potatoes and carrots. I'm gonna hurt you today, you know that? Because I'm too smart and I'm giving you a hard time. If Melissa was on my team, a very dark side of me would come out. Don't ask me no more questions. While Rock and Melissa may never get married, <laughs> the bride and groom are about to exchange their vows. Dear family and friends, we are gathered together here in the presence of God and one another. Only an hour away from opening, Chef Ramsay checks in on the kitchen to make sure everything is running smoothly. What the fuck? Come here, Rock. Hey, madam. Yes, Chef. Yeah, come on. Chef. What is that? I have no idea. Mine doesn't look like that. Bring me yours. This bitch is killing me. We're potentially ruining their fucking most important day of their life. Hey, 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 oh, come on. Speak. I want an answer. Chef, today is when I did them. I know they're black. I did it exactly the way Rock told me to do it. That bitch is crazy. I showed her exactly how to make this simple as dumb as dish. Then she was going to blame it on me. And he kept switching recipes. Okay, stop there, stop there, right. Would you eat that? No. So if I hadn't spotted them, what were you going to do? Serve them? No, Chef. You've left them out of the water. That's why they've gone oxidized. But look at them! Oh, my god. Start again. They're getting fucking married. I can't stop the church. You may kiss the bride. I pronounce that they are husband and wife. The wedding couple are on their way. And the red team is also on their way to disaster. See those potatoes, where are we now then with them? Oh, they're black as well. I did them all the same way. I took them out of the Listen, room. listen, look at me. Will you stop panicking and just listen? If you just shut the fuck up for 30 seconds, you might learn something. Yes, chef. Welcome, welcome. Please feel free to sign. They're all black. Yes, chef. They've all oxidized. Yes, chef. I and mean, it's fucking gonna poison somebody. Yes, chef. Now stop being a stubborn little bitch and fucking move your ass. Yes, Chef. And now, they're out of time. Ladies and gentlemen, Hell's Kitchen is proud to announce Mr. and Mrs. Cavari. <laughs> Melissa, have that little applaud, yeah? A little bit of respect, Melissa.
We have seriously, seriously got to go. Jen, come here. We've got a problem with the potatoes. Yes, you want chef. down. I want them to step it up again. Okay. You can move faster than that, can't yes, you? See, so you're walking around like this. Melissa, fuck the potatoes up. At this point, I have to put her in her place. I'm sick of being upset. I'm sick of being yelled at. I need to stand on my own two feet at this point. So speed up. OK, all right. It's just minutes before the first orders of the night will be taken, and the Red Kitchen must remake all of their potatoes from scratch. Blue team, if you won the challenge, you're cooking for the bride and groom, OK? Yes, chef. chef. It's your day today, so I'm going to start with your order. I will take the Dungeness crab salad. I'll try the uh, pea risotto. Bride and groom first, yes? Yes, yes chef. On order, the most important table of the night, yes? Bride and groom, one crab salad, one risotto. Yes, chef. chef. How long? Yes, chef. How long? 90 seconds, chef. To the 90 window. seconds. Yes, chef. I can't serve anyone else before the bride and groom. They should be first. Yes, chef. Let's go. Six covers, table 31, yes? One risotto, three scallops, two crab salad. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go, yes? Yes, chef. Scott, check that risotto, please, yeah? Yes, chef, absolutely. That risotto's not ready. Oh, come on. Fuck me. Yo, hold up. This isn't ready. This isn't ready. Pull it back. Pull it back. Brad, can you get on there and help him, yeah? Yes, Brad, chef. yeah, because he's too fucking slow. I was like, oh my gosh, we better hurry up. People are hungry. The first ticket's still waiting. We have to make this go out right, or it's going to kill us. With Josh keeping the bride and groom waiting for their appetizers, he's not only holding up the blue kitchen, but the red kitchen as well. What's going on? I'm taking the scallops up right now. Bonnie, I cannot serve this table until the bride and groom have been served. We got our food out before the blue team, and I was so pissed off with them, because we have a lot of things that we could be doing, but we have to wait. Brad, yes, sure. I put two of you on the appetizers, and you're cooking fucking me. Yes, Stop sure. it. Now, get on the appetizers and do as you're fucking told. Yes, chef. Because at this rate, nothing's going to come out. You got it, chef. Hey, chef. I want the fucking risotto for the bride and groom. Service, Scott, please. Service, please. 30 minutes into the wedding reception, and Carlotta and Cyrus have finally received their appetizers. Absolutely have to try that. Wow. You still look fabulous, by the way, huh? You should be covering GQ, you. Front cover, Captain Dick. Chef wants to put me on the cover of GQ. It's all good. What I'm waiting for is Chef to put me in charge of Green Valley Ranch. Let's go. In the red kitchen, the women appear to have put their differences aside and are getting out their appetizers. Let's go. Service, please. Pick up and complete table 50, please, yes? Yeah. Let's go. Julie, you've tasted more in the last five minutes than you have all week. Well, I just want to make sure it's Good. Right. I'm happy with it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's it. I'm happy with it. Let's go. That was a huge compliment coming from Chef Ramsey. But I'm starting to figure out, you know, that working in a fine dining kitchen is more about, you know, throwing things in there and just constantly tasting and tasting. JP, the parents of the bride have not been fed yet. Are they a higher priority table or how? No, you tell, you tell Gordon. You tell Gordon. You tell him you're, you're the wedding planner. Who, oh, Gordon? Yeah, feel free. I, I don't need a wedding planner during my service. Don't really want to be told by anybody what to do. Uh, Gordon. Service, please. Can you get out of the fucking way? I'm trying to serve food. Can you I'm get out of the way? Stand out of the fucking way! OK, I think that went well. Unbelievable. Oh, come on, girls, please, go. Fucking hell, go. So you had a chat with the chef? I did. So he's going to speed it up? He said he was going to. Yeah. For the first time in Hell's Kitchen. Service, please. All of the appetizers have gone out within the first hour. Good. Well done, guys. Stay on top of it, yes? Yes, chef. chef. You waiting on me? I'm not waiting anywhere. I'm going up as a team. How's that for an answer? I'm very proud of my team. Make me want to just hug somebody. Fellas, we're rolling now. Keep going. Push, push. The challenge of a wedding reception is that all dishes of each course must go out at once. Chef Ramsay is using tonight's service as a test of the aspiring chef's timing. So first main course is four ribeye, two chicken. Yes, yes, chef. Yes, chef. One and a half minute, OK? Yeah, all right? I think we can do it I in gotta one go. minute. We got to go. Sorry, guys. Give me three minutes to test the braise. Melissa, come on. You're putting us behind. Four ribeye, two chicken. How long? Four minutes. Four minutes? Yes, chef. I want the lettuce to be done. Fucking A. I can go. What? I thought you said four minutes. Guys, what? you still need four minutes. I can go earlier. We're waiting for you. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. What is she doing? Just come here. Can you stop pissing around? Stand up straight. What is your game here today? What is your fucking game? Something's happened to you. You've just switched off completely. You're turning into a right little bitch. No, chef. Wake up. Yes, chef. Fucking pathetic. 
I'm definitely upset, but you know, I'm not the type of girl that's gonna cry. Because when I go down, the team goes down. Can you go on one minute? Less than one minute, can you do it? Jen, it's not about you listening to them bullying you. You drive it. Yes, Chef, one and a half minutes. I think Chef Ramsey's looking at me to take a leadership role. Four ribeyes, I'm going. Meet, meet me up there. Here you are, four ribeye. These plates are very hot, OK? OK, well done, yes. Jen, hey, really well done, yes? Yes, Chef. While Jen has emerged as the leader in the red kitchen, over in the blue kitchen, where is the sauce for the sea bass? For you, chef. Josh is moving fast to get entrees to the pass. Hey, you, Dick, yes, come chef. here. Maybe a little too fast. Heat the sauce up. It's stone cold. Yeah, here, Look here. at him running around with a pan. Oh, my. Get it on the stove. The chef. Oh, for fuck's sake. Entrees are at a near standstill in both kitchens. But for the moment, diners have their minds on something else. My sister not only mastered the languages that she studied, but she also mastered some of their men. <laughs> what? If only things were so easy in the red kitchen. Garnish, please, by ribeye. Come on. Where's the sabillon? Oh, fuck. The sabillon fell. The Zabignon sauce was in a water bath, and after I took the spoon out of it, it must have turned over, and the water got in the Zabignon. I have to get more Zabignon. What? I have to get more Zabignon. Can I borrow some of your Zabignon, please? You need some of it? I need all that, honey. I need all that. Can I please just have... Just, just have enough for the order. Oh, what are you doing? Get out of here, you! Get out! What are you Zabignon doing? What are you, what are you doing? I was going to go get some Zabignon. Get one on! So you take theirs, and then, then they run out. I'll piss off, will you, you little sabotage? Get some eggs on! Why am I going to sabotage the team so I could hear him? I don't want him screaming in my ear. I want him being happy. Sauce, please. Sauce is coming up to the window. Service, please. Despite the Sabian crisis. Go, please. Come on, please. Go. The red kitchen recovers. Let's go. Let's push this out, baby. Right. Let's go, Blue. Come on, ladies. Last table, how long? Three and a half minutes, Chef. We're almost there, fellas. Finish strong. And for the first time, well done. Hell's Kitchen has fed all those who have gathered here today. Good. And Chef Ramsay has a special surprise for the newlyweds. All right, ladies, come over, please. Stand here, please. The bride and groom are here. Let's go. Just clear it away. Gentlemen, let's go. Carlotta and Cyrus, oh, you look absolutely fabulous. Thank yes, you. stunning. We wish you all the very best. Um, before Thank you go, you. we have a gift, and it's a wonderful honeymoon gift at the Green Valley Ranch Resort oh in Las Vegas. God. Wow! Wow! For you both. Thank oh, you. Thank oh you. My Please God. enjoy. Not at all. Not at all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Not at all. Thank you. The bride and groom are whisked away to a luxury suite at the Green Valley Ranch Resort. But back in Hell's Kitchen, it's anything but a honeymoon. Ooh la la. We got a slow start there. Then all of a sudden, we found our second wind, and it was ooh, propelling. Tonight, the losing team is. Ladies. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. You are the losing team. Men, you finished three minutes in front. Well done, guys. Thank, Thank you, you chef. chef. The best cook in the ladies' team this evening was Jen. The workload was phenomenal. Thank you, Chef. Go back to the dorms. Think hard, really hard, about two individuals you want to nominate for elimination. Off you go. <laughs> this is a very difficult decision. I don't know. I don't... I honestly don't know how to base this. <sighs> so tell me what you think, you know? Yeah. Just... Like, I don't feel like I'm getting back what I give to everybody, and I don't think that's fair. I, I know. It's, it's no, how you talk, how you talk to people. And I agree. I agree, I but agree. But that's neither here nor there. Like, and I you just to. need to calm down, Melissa. I'm not ready to go home. Not at all. All those girls would have never gotten through those first three services without me. They wouldn't have. So what do you want to talk about? You know, I just want you to tell me what you think, you know? 
I'm a strong presence in the kitchen, and I think that it will hurt our team if I go up. I'm hoping what happens tonight is that I don't go home because I'm not ready to go home. Bye, um, Melissa. I'll bye. I'm pretty sure she's going to go home. But nobody knows that. I know definitely I'm going to nominate Melissa. But as far as Julia and Bonnie, I, I don't know. The thing is, is that you and Julia are the same. I think the only thing that separates me from her is that I know more. Mm -hmm. But I don't have any reasons to put you up there. I have a special place in my heart for Bonnie just because she's professional and we both are honest with each other. I feel like there's a better chance of me going home than if you put Julia up there. I don't know if he's going to send Melissa home. I just don't know. For the first time in weeks, the men are safe. No such luck for the women, who must now face Chef Ramsay. Jen, have you made your decisions? Yes, Chef. First nominee and why, please? My first nominee is Melissa, Chef. I feel it's important to recognize your mistakes instead of trying to blame everyone else for them. Second nominee and why, please? My second nominee is Bonnie. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. I know that Bonnie did an impeccable service today, but in past services, she wasn't on point. And Melissa and Bonnie, step forward, please. Melissa, tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I've been doing this for 10 years. I know a lot of things that maybe some girls on our team weren't sure of. I kind of felt like I had to, I guess, carry everybody. I do not intend to be a dictator. That's not my objective. Hey, Bonnie. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I feel like I've just started to skim the surface on my potential. I know I have a lot to learn, but I'm not ready to go home. The chef inside me is just starting to emerge. My decision is... Melissa, give me your jacket. Oh, thank God. You, madam, are going in the men's team. Take your jacket off. This is yours. Thank you, Chef. Now, listen carefully. Perhaps with a change of environment... Yes, Chef. ...really start shining. Yes, Chef. Over with the men. Your new team. Chair right there. Bonnie, back in line. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I love you, Bonnie. Melissa, this is your very last chance. Yes, Chef. I think now being on the boys' team, it's kind of like starting fresh. I don't have to help or carry anybody, and I'm totally ready to kick the Red Team's ass now. I don't know what's going to help me cope with Melissa. She's going to lose. She might beat out Josh. She ain't beating out me. I'll tell you that for sure. She ain't that good. Now fuck off out of there. I put you up there because I knew you missed a her. Well, I think it'll be better that Melissa's on the boys team without her nagging us all the time and bullying us. It's our time to shine. I've never seen anyone go from being a strong chef to being such a terrible chef so quickly. And that's why tonight I'm giving Melissa one more chance. Her only hope now is that she fits in better with the boys than she did with the girls. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. I put you up there because I knew you were <laughs> We have to start kicking butt. After you. Chef Ramsay did us an excellent favor by taking Melissa off the red team and putting her on the blue. Hey, we got a new teammate. My chemistry on the red team was horrendous. I don't see why I would have any problems with the boys. I mean, I hope we can all work together as a team. Let me tell you something now that I'm on your team. I will never sabotage any of you. But well, we run our kitchen a little different. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Tonight is all about everybody still here. Melissa's still going down, without a doubt. She's going to lose. It's just he gave her another day. Melissa's a blue. 
The sex barrier has been broken. Those kids is getting interested. Meeting in, in your room. Let's go. Not you, bitch. <laughs> Melissa's a pipsqueak. She can't bully us anymore. I think now that the bully is gone, this is our time to shine. It really so is. Step up, all right? I know we're going to be tested, and I know it's going to be hard, but I think the girls can pull through. Hug it out, my girls. You guys, I love you. As a new day dawns, the aspiring chefs are discovering that in Hell's Kitchen, people are not always as they seem. So many restaurants in New York. I mean, so many. You ever heard of Black Finn? In Philly. Yeah. Philly. In Philly. George Perrier. Yeah, he works with my, my, one of my good buddies. I worked there. Did you? Did you? Not at George Perrier, but I worked in Philadelphia. Since you never cooked in all of this jazz, and I've never done this, and I'm a pastry yeah. chef. <laughs> I'm not going to go and announce myself, because then everybody's expectations are set really high. I'd rather be like, OK, yeah, I do pastry. I live in this small town. and. And then people see my skills, and I'm like, wow, this girl's got game. You little liar. No! I'm all the bulk of my experience, the past five years, I worked in pastry. I worked at the Ritz. I worked at Morimoto. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't tell people about myself. Of course, when you're in a competition, why would you? Jen wasn't lying. She just held back. And I like it. I appreciate it, because that's gamesmanship, and we, this is a competition. You know Wolfgang Puck? Uh-huh. Vamanos, chop, chop. line up in front of Chef Ramsay, there's always nerves, because you never know what's going to happen. He was standing next to something that looked like a piano that was covered up, and I was going, what's going on? Are we going to have to sing about food? Good morning. Good morning, morning chef. chef. Melissa. Yes, Chef. How are you bonding with your new team? Good, Chef. Good. Today's challenge is about creativity. To succeed as a chef, you've really got to succeed with your ingredients. Today, you're working with lobster. Live, beautiful, stunning lobsters. Oh my god. I don't even know if I've ever eaten lobster before. As soon as you said lobster, the first word that popped in my head was awesome. Bonnie. Hey, chef. You look distraught. What's the matter? <laughs> Chef, I hate killing lobsters. I cry every time. So do the lobsters. <laughs> the quicker you put the knife through the head, the better. Everyone laughed at me. I hate lobster. I hate working with it. I mean, I love to eat it. I think it tastes great. But I just hate being responsible for killing something. Josh. Yes, Chef. Unfortunately, you can't identify the difference between lobster and scallop. What was that? Scallop, Chef. Oh, God <laughs> almighty. <laughs> You're sitting out of the challenge. You can advise your team, but under no circumstances do you touch the lobsters. Three against three. The winning team will be part of something incredibly glamorous. And the losers, well, you do not want to lose this challenge, I can assure you. Now, you will have to get your lobsters from the tank. They do pinch and they do hurt. Yeah, be careful. I just don't like touching them. They're just weird little things. They are delicious. This, the whole thing freaked me out. Are you ready? Yes, yes. chef. Let's go. Let's go. For this challenge, the teams have one hour to prepare three lobster dishes that are creative and delicious enough to impress Chef Ramsay. Come on, guys, get those lobsters out. Picking the lobsters out was pretty cool. You know, they didn't have any rubber bands on their claws, so I was a little wary about that. Hey, I, this guy fucking pinched me. Shit, he's big. We were geared up for this challenge. We love the pressure. I love the pressure. I feel I perform best under pressure. Come on. I told Jen and Julia to get the lobsters, and I would go get the pan. What are you going to get, baby? Pan. I thought I would get out of this one. Aww. Just do it. I suck. I hate lobsters. I knew we only had an hour. I didn't want to let my girls down. No, 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 no. Yeah. OK. Good job, Bonnie. Good job. Right over here. Right I got over a here. big fucker. 
Yeah, I did. In there, Bonnie. Hi, guys. I'm sorry. I know you're sad, Bonnie, but we just got to do it. <laughs> you happy now? I was proud of her. She overcame her fear. Rock, what do you, what do you feel? I'm doing a fried lobster tip. Rock knows what he's doing. You can make a biscuit in seconds. Brad knows what he's doing. Now I'm working primarily with Melissa on this one. You want to do a nice, chilled, cold lobster? OK. I think going over to the blue team is great, and they're confident, and they have great ideas. We're going to do like a lobster resort. I was worried about Julia. She's not as knowledgeable. We're going to really focus on coaching her. So I would say add like some wine and some stock to it. I'm going to put the brains in here, OK? OK. So we can get it more flavorful. It's halfway through the challenge, and both teams are starting to feel the pressure. If I keep burning, it's freaking butter. Get your ass in there. Get in there. Try it. It's a little raw. Josh couldn't touch anything in the kitchen, but he coached the hell out of Melissa. 15 minutes to go. In, in, right there. Good. Don't want to overcook it. Jim, what kind of wine? White wine. All right, guys, just over five minutes to go. Start plating up. Start, Start plating, plating up. One, two, three, two. Go. Find your plating? Yeah, John, I'm plating. Plate, plate, plate. Last minute. Three, two, one, stop. Time has expired, and the team whose dishes are most appetizing and creative will be the winner. We have to win this one. We got to get some momentum. We got to build on it. We have to win. First up, both with salads, it's Bonnie versus Melissa. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. What have you made? I made a grilled lobster salad with baked apples. Uh, very ambitious. Grilling lobster. This is the first time in a while that I've shown him what I can make. I was so nervous. Mmm. That's nice. Grilling the lobster is dangerous, but it works. Thank you. Melissa. Yes, Chef. What have you done? It's a... Uh citrus herb salad with poached lobster. I like the freshness um, of the citrus fruit with the lobster salad. And then there's a slight disappointment with the lobster, because it's not really cooked properly. But the edge goes to Bonnie. Julia, what have you made? I made a lobster risotto. Well, I just went with the um, regular recipe for risotto and then added lobster. That's something that we know that I know how to make. Lobster, very tender. It's nice. I've never had quite such an intriguing, spicy lobster like that. That was a huge compliment coming from Chef Ramsay. And I just kind of guessed, really, on how long I should cook it. I mean, I really did just guess. Risotto, boring. Expected a little bit more excitement. Yes, sir. Rock. Yes, sir. Blow me away. What is it? Buttermilk fried lobster tail. Ambitious. Yeah, lobster tempura. It was different. It was creative. Trying to win some cool points. Mm, cooked perfectly. Very, very good. Rock. Yes, sir. You've got the edge on that one. So it's a tie. Jen. Yes, Chef. What have you made? I made a lobster and crab bisque. I used some saffron, some thyme. I never made a bisque before, but I knew about different flavors, and I had an idea. Simple, classic. Nice. Lobster's not too chewy. Yeah, nice and soft. Nice. Right, blue team. Brad. Yes, Chef. What is it, please? It's a lobster bisque with uh, De Serrano Chantilly. Classical is good, but I just I like to go modern. Everybody's seen classical, so I like to kind of like put a twist on things. Lobsters cook nicely. Thank you, Chef. That's nice. It's tough. It's very, very tough. I'm so sorry. There has to be a loser. The winners are the red team. Well done. Yeah! Chef Ramsay doesn't like foofy food. The red team was more simplistic. The proof was in the flavor. Don't be disappointed, because that was the hardest decision so far. Red team, the prize. 
is extraordinary. All three of you are going to have an exclusive photo shoot and interview with In Touch magazine. Oh, my God! Where you're going to be dressed, makeup, hair, because you're ready to get your photos taken, <laughs> yes? And I'm with you now. I am so excited right now. I had to be in a magazine with Chef Ramsay. We get to pose with him, and people are going to make me look pretty. I'm so excited. Ladies, the uh, champagne's on ice inside the limo. Go and get changed, because we're leaving, yes? Hurry up. Let's go. <laughs> Losers. Unfortunately, the punishment is at the other end of the spectrum. It's incredibly unglamorous. I can't think of any worse place to be. Today, I'm looking for everything that's possible to be recycled from every garbage bin inside this restaurant. I've never seen anything inside of a garbage can that should be taken out. I might find it's a little difficult. I can guarantee within one hour, you'll find something. Chef Ramsay tells us that, you know, they get to go to In Touch magazine, and we have to dig through some fucking trash. I grew up in the ghetto, in the hood, and I ain't never been in no trash. Let's take our punishment like, uh... Come on, like Brad, Let's do this. Chef. Thank you for being a man. Thank you, Chef. I guess I'm not a man. I'm pissed off. That was the dumbest fucking decision I've seen. That was bullshit. Rock, he was pissed. Pissed to the point where I, I thought he was going to flip out. What kind of shit is that? Oh, well, I'm sorry, thought he flipped out. Lobster bisque. Get that shit at motherfucking corner bakery. You can go everywhere and get a fucking lobster soup. A grilled bullshit style with some fucking apple. Originality. Be creative. And they get the fucking win. We're not creative over there, and we lose. What the fuck is original about a crab and lobster bisque? Nothing. Does Rock always get that mad? I've never seen Rock that mad. Never. Everybody downstairs, come out front. I guess we gotta dig through some trash, and it's gonna fucking suck. Not my idea of a you know fun day, but I know it's gonna stink. I know it's gonna be dirty, and uh, I know it's not gonna be fun. Doesn't look pretty, does it? You're gonna separate all the recyclables, you're gonna rinse them out, you're gonna put them in their perspective bins, everything clean. Does everybody understand? You yes, shift. Okay. With the blue team buried in trash, the red team meets Chef Ramsay to begin their day of glamour. Made it. Chef! Hi, Let's chef. Go, guys. Hi, chef! Huh? Here we go. Bye. 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 You're such a diva now. Look at you, hey, your first photo hey, shoot. Hey, hey. It's always nice to get out of Hell's Kitchen for a little while. You know, relaxing, getting to chill in the limo. So it was real nice. Cheers, guys. Well done. Hey. Hey. Ladies, hello. Hello, hello. Hi. We walked in and were greeted by the hair and makeup people. We met the In Touch guys. Yeah, yeah. We had food and champagne waiting for us. What'd you suggest first? Makeup? Makeup. Yeah. Let's get started. Absolutely. Let's okay, get pretty. Guys, I'm so excited. We sit down. They start doing our hair, primping us. Makeup. I don't even know how to put blush on right. And they just made me look so beautiful. Jeff, are you going to go into makeup? <laughs> No, chefs don't wear makeup. Are they going to do something with your hair? You look like you got stuck in a wind tunnel or something. A wind tunnel. Thank you for that, Jen. <laughs> Where is wardrobe? This way. The hair and makeup people made us look beautiful, and then we got beautiful dresses to wear. All three of us had these really beautiful dresses. Wow. Bloody hell. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Move cool. to the hotties of Hell's Kitchen. No Cheers. longer Hell's Bitches. Yeah. Yes, ladies. Oh, this is fun. Isn't this fun? Real fun. Doc, you're actually needed at the photo shoot right now. Photo shoot? Yep. You're on your way. Get over there, man. Get going. Have fun, Rob. Right, how do you feel? I feel Great. beautiful. Oh, this is so fabulous. Uh oh, Ooh, hello. How are you? Hey. You guys look great. Thank you very much. Thank you. In walks Rock. 
And we're like, what the heck are you doing here? I'd rather be complete from start to finish. <laughs> Would you mind taking out that no uh, garbage tin that be so? He was so mad. I felt really bad. I just kind of did the, that. <laughs> oh, shit, what's that smell? <laughs> it's me. Is it? <laughs> Jeez. That's what I came for? Yeah. You sure we like a sandwich for the journey? I'm great. I'm full of shit already. Wow. No. Bye. Take care, Rob. I don't want the people huh? to see it as well. Hey, guys. So we're ready for your in-touch photo shoot. Yes. Come on over right. here. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So you're right in the center, and all the girls are around you. Yes. He's Charlie. When we did, like, Charlie's Angels, and, um, you know, Chef's kind of in the middle, like Charlie. And... OK, this is so perfect. The best part of the in-touch photo shoot was just feeling like a rock star. You know, you go in there, and you just feel like you're someone important. You're someone special. Everyone just felt, felt like a model. It was really fun. So eyes are at me. Let me see. It just... I've never done a photo shoot before. Kind of gave me a day of knowing what it would be like if I were a model, you know? Everybody's happy now. You're laughing. Things are good. I felt gorgeous. I felt like like a million bucks. It was just such an amazing experience. Jen, just watch where you're rolling that pizza cutter. Okay. <laughs> we're almost done. I love your attitude. Rock came back and he was even more upset. Did you eat? It was like rubbing salt in the wood. That was bullshit. You gotta go through trash? Go through no motherfucking trash? What do I look like? I don't ask my cooks to go through no damn trash. If you don't like when I'm putting in trash, fire me then. After a long day, there's no rest for the weary as both teams must now prepare for tonight's dinner service. Rock was so mad. He went from loud and angry to uh, quiet. Uh, you know, let's let him be. Maybe some people need their space. Some people don't want anybody to talk to him. I was really angry earlier when we lost. But um, right now, I'm going to go back to being a leader and make sure my team is on point. I'm ready to cook, go back to my sanctuary, and do what I do best. As the aspiring chefs begin prep for dinner service, the blue team gets its first taste of working with Melissa. Those potatoes, I know they're not ready, but if you just get some cream and butter on. OK, I'll get it. This is our first time prepping with Melissa. We're working as a team. We're getting things down. We're getting things together. And if we stay on the same page, we should win this one. So I'm going to just tighten up starter, and then we'll take a look at that station together. OK, so you want me to start, the, start more rice for you? I want to put everything out perfect and quickly. This is our night, fellas. It's our night. Nice and controlled. While the blue team is feeling confident being one woman up, the red team is feeling confident being one woman down. Peas, bok choy, shiitake mushrooms, all done. The red team is doing just fine without Melissa. Everything is moving along, but the real test will come, you know, once we get to service. Julia, baby, here are your quail eggs. I know, I got it. I'm going to do them. Oh, I know. No, I got them right here. They're freaking me out because I, we have so much more work to do now, and there's only three of us. I'm a little nervous, got a lot to do. <laughs> like a lot. Okay, uh, blue team, two seconds, please. Let's go. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Let's go. Tonight's menu. A special main course on tonight. Bonnie, that's your dish. The grilled lobster salad is going on as a main course. A grilled lobster salad with baked apples. Mm, that's nice. I don't think the blue team's too happy with me right now. Everyone on the team was kind of looking at me. Maybe I do have a little bit of a skill that I'm, I'm honing. It's definitely a, a huge honor for me. Blue team, you lost the challenge. As the order comes on, it's your job to run to the tank and get the lobsters. Or both kitchens. I got it, Chef. Melissa, this is your last chance. Don't clam up. We got it, Chef. Let's go, guys, huh? OK, Jean-Philippe, open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. With the dining room filling with customers and a new lobster dish on the menu, the chefs anxiously await their first orders. Can I have the uh, spaghetti and lobster, please? We also have an excellent lobster salad. And then I am going to try the lobster salad. Yeah. <laughs> 
Red Kitchen, good. On order, let's go. Four covers table, 41. Two scallop, one spaghetti, one sea bass. Entree, two wellington, one monkfish, one lobster salad. Yes, sure. Let's go. Seven minutes to the window, OK, guys? Seven minutes, thank you. You're three cooks in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, We've got four. That means all of us have to work quicker. Yes, sir. Yes, Julia, sir. don't stop looking for it. I won't. But as you look, keep your ears open. Yes, sir. I need a lobster, guys. Quickly. Lobster. Thank you. Hear what she said? Got it. Yes, Move. sir. Tonight in Hell's Kitchen, I was the lobster bitch. It sucked. Beautiful. While the red team forges ahead without Melissa, Rock wants to make sure she is ready for her first dinner service with the blue team. Melissa, well, just lean on the team. If you need something, don't be afraid to ask it. I wasn't really concerned with Melissa and saving her and, and redeeming her. You know, I was just concerned with bouncing back and winning. OK, quiet, please. On order, two covers, table 10, one spaghetti, one sea bass, entree, one monkfish, one wellington. Yes, chef. Yes, yes, chef. Let's go. Seven minutes to the window, yes? Yes, chef. Why is that water not boiling there? Uh, we put fresh water in it about five minutes ago and... Oh, oh. fuck. OK, so there's, there's spaghetti in there and the water's not boiling. It should be coming up any second. Thank you, Rock. Fuck you now. With the blue kitchen already off to a slow start, Josh answers another call for lobster. Come on, Josh. Coming down. Yep. Julia. Thank you, darling. That was a pretty big help that somebody could run and get the lobster for me. But, I mean, me, myself, I would have preferred just I already had had it dead. How long, please? Five seconds to the window, Good. chef. Five seconds. I'm plating right now. Let's go. I'll meet you up there, OK? OK. All right. Plating up the sea bass. Come on up. Service, please. Let's go. Julia, that's a lovely color on the scallops. Thank you, chef. With the red team getting good marks from Chef Ramsay, Brad is anxious to get his appetizers to the pass. Well, spaghetti wants sea bass. What's he doing, this one, with a risotto? Brad? Yes, chef? Two appetizers. You serve me three. It's not a good start, guys. Water not boiling properly for the fucking pasta. I call away a spaghetti and a fucking sea bass. I get a risotto as a little gift I don't even fucking need. Stop panicking. Seven minutes to the window. Scallops, risotto, spaghetti, sea bass. Yes, sir. Let's go. Unbelievable. Four minutes. Four minutes. I'm, count I'm counting down, baby. I'm counting down. All right. Jen is great when she's on appetizers. Jen really knows how to count down and get the food to the pass in a timely fashion. Three minutes, guys, three minutes. Chef, next Wellington is out. That is normal. That's communication. Chef, Wellington resting. Wellington resting, Chef. There you go. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Service, please. While the red team's appetizers are leaving their customers hungry for more, the, so the blue kitchen's customers are just hungry. I wonder where we're getting um, I appreciate your patience. Melissa. Yes, chef. It's like paper scallops. I'll get new ones, chef. Go. Oh, look. Some of the scallops she did, I mean, they were like slices of paper. It, there's like nothing there. Pass it back to chef Melissa, the fucking gremlin. Everything she touches, she screws. There you go. Sorry, guys. Hey, and madam, this is not our first night. Yes, chef, no chef. Yes, chef, no chef. Fucking gremlin. It's just over an hour into dinner service, and while Melissa stumbles on the scallops, the Red Kitchen has pushed out 28 of 50 appetizers. So, away, sea bass risotto, spaghetti, scallops. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Double check what you're doing, because right now you're on a roll. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Many of you screw it now, you've only got yourself to blame, and one of you's going home. But you've had a phenomenal start, and it's the best start we've had in this fucking restaurant so far. Yes, yes chef. chef. Six minutes to the window. Yes, chef. Chef Ramsay was complimenting us. You don't get that often. So when it comes, you take it. With the red team blazing along, it looks like nothing can stop them. Oh, funny. Oh! We got a fire over there. Take it off the heat. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh. Funny. Put the pan down. Oh, boy. Oh, no. You know when your pan catches on fire like that, it's like, what the hell do I do now? I was just like, do I drop it and like run? Or like, I, I had no idea. Out the way, out the way. Never walk around with a pan. On fire, you stand back. Yes, That's the chef. first thing. You stand back. Yes, no chef. water, no stock, nothing. Yes, yeah? chef. What are you trying to do? Evacuate the place. No, chef. That'll be a first. Setting fire to the fucking restaurant. Hello. Now she's burning the place down. After cooling things off in the red kitchen, Chef Ramsay is desperate for something, anything good, to come out of the blue kitchen. Is the mashed potatoes ready yet? Yes, chef. 
Hey, uh, Scott, that looks gloopy and runny. He's like he's pouring it into the fucking bowl. Hey, hey, come here. Did we put yeah. salt in the potatoes? Uh, no, no, chef. Josh is all over the place. He's scattered. You gotta focus your shit in the right direction, and he's not doing it. Get some potatoes on you. Yes, chef. Fuck off. Fuck off. It's like a bunch of fucking babies here. While Josh's potatoes bring the blue kitchen to a standstill, there's no stopping the red kitchen. Jen. Yes, potatoes, perfect. Thank you. Nicely cooked the Wellingtons, crispy pastry, yes? Thank you, chef. Go, please. I swear, if anyone screws this now, you've only got yourself to blame. Oh, my God, that is so good. Fantastic, guys. Come on, let's go. Let's keep it up. With the Red Kitchen turning out excellent entrees, it's Brad's turn once again to show Chef Ramsay what he can do. Scarlet's risotto. Come on, Brad. Oh, la, 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 la. That looks so overcooked. It's fucking unbelievable. The whole fucking lot's going to be done again. Hey, yeah. I word in your ear. It's been your worst service. Your chef, it has. I got screwed by Melissa. She brought the risotto tonight, and um, I couldn't serve it. It's mushy. Unbelievable. The oh, la, 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 la. An hour and a half into service, another setback in the blue kitchen gives the red team a chance to get even further ahead. Where's the sea bass? I don't have it. Oh, yeah, I do. I'm tripping. I'm sorry. Now, yeah, don't be sorry. Just wake up, Julia. Yes, yeah. That's all. It's coach to know there. I don't have it. I'm not that much of an idiot. Stop. Stop. What are you doing? One scholar. Yes. We're waiting on a monkfish, a Wellington and a chicken. Okay. Hey, are you? I'm listening, chef. I mean, he was going off on me, which I know he's only doing that for my own good, you know, but that just don't make my situation any better. Do you want to go? No, wanna I'm go listening, home? chef. I can listen and talk. You're not listening to me. Sorry. It's not even going to fucking Julia. Thank and you, And you chef. still won't listen. While Julia struggles on the fish station, Chef Ramsay is praying that the blue kitchen can deliver a proper monkfish. Let's go to monkfish, please. Monkfish? Yeah, right. Uh, fish king, come here, you. There's the monkfish. Overcooked? That's overcooked. Oh, God almighty. You don't know that's overcooked? Sorry, Chef. Hey, Brad. She doesn't know that's overcooked. Rock. She doesn't know that's too the fucking overcooked. God, she doesn't know that's overcooked. Oh, my God, completely. Melissa was nervous. I could see it in her eyes, and uh, she fell apart. The monkfish was overdone. Pressure bust pipes, baby. It looks like regurgitated dog shit. Where's the other monkfish gone? I have one left, yes, chef. Oh, no. So the six we got on order are all fucked? Yes. No, no, no. Right, Rock, listen to me. No choice now. Stop the veg, get on the fish. Yes, sir. You, oi, oh, get on the garnish. Get the fuck off of there. Get off! Honestly, I got this far, and I'm not just gonna sit there and be like, forget it, I don't wanna do it because Chef Ramsay's yelling at me. Yes, we're in this shit. No, we never give up. Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. As Rock takes over Melissa's station in the blue kitchen, the red kitchen is working on their last two tickets. Bonnie. It's done. Julia, it's not done. It's done. Listen. Julia, it's my station. Put it back in. No. Please right. don't talk to me. Either. Julia, Please, no. then listen, OK? I think things are getting rough for Julia. It's hard for her to keep up with this because her experience is limited. Julia, what's wrong? Nothing. Are you mad at me? I don't know. I'm not used to, like, messing up so bad. I just got, like, really overwhelmed. I'm trying to use my head too much. Chef Ramsay is starting to run out of patience with the red team, while the blue team is running out of something else. We only have this much potato. We don't have any more potato? Please don't tell me we run out of mashed potatoes. Uh, uh do we, does anybody know where any more potatoes are? No, I don't no. know. Oh, uh, fuck me. The, the lobster does taste. Let's 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 bring everything back then. What's the matter? Uh, lobster chewy chef and the, the beef overdone. Oh no! The whole fucking six top returned. Hello, look at me. Thanks for having cooked monkfish. Thanks for shafting me on the mashed potatoes, and thanks for being a twat on the appetizers. It's just so sad. Shut it down. Clear down. What about Lovely. dessert? When it's closed, it's closed. Fuck that. Nah. 
After a lopsided dinner service, Chef Ramsay has an easy decision. Blue team, let's put you out of your misery. You lost. You're a crap. Sous chef, right? The chef. Executive chef. Sous chef. Line chef. You got beaten by a nanny, a short order cook, and a pastry chef. Josh, you're the only one out of every cook left inside this competition that hasn't had a good service. Brad. Yes, chef. Tonight was your worst service. That was the worst service I've ever had, ever, chef. Rock, why is, why is all this taking place? You put a lot of pressure on us. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Some people can't handle pressure well. All four of you come up with two individuals who you want to nominate for elimination. Now fuck off out of here. Does anybody want to, to volunteer? That's what I say. Does anybody what do you mean, volunteer for what? I think I did fucking shitty. I don't want to go. I want to be here. I want to learn. I want to win. But I'm not going to, you know, hide behind something and not go up there. It's my first night on the blue team, and tonight was my worst performance. So obviously, I'm going to be nominated. I mean, let's decide first. You want to go on the night, or do you want to go on overall? I don't. Let's decide. I mean, we're a team. Let's decide this. I think we should vote on overall performance. What we're trying to decide right now is if we should base it on tonight's performance, which would be Melissa and I go, or we should base it on overall performance, which would be Melissa and Josh. No, I'm not trying to put you on the job block, but I think it's an overall, and everybody has a shitty night. And tonight was my night, and I don't think I deserve to be booted because of one shitty night. I mean, I'm going up either way, so I guess overall. If we decide overall. to go for overall, I'm up there. You think overall? OK, I think overall. Even um, overall, uh, come on. I mean, I, I have not had a bad service. And you know, they haven't been great, but I have not had a bad service. But that's my piece. Chef Ramsay gave me one more shot, and Chef Ramsay gave Melissa one more shot. And if the two of us go up there, he's going to have a hell of a decision, and it could really go either way. Blue team. Yes, chef. yes, chef. Have you made your decision? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Was it difficult? Yes, chef. Cut the crap, will you, yeah? <laughs> Melissa. Yes, chef. Step forward. <laughs> Take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. You, madam, have had more chances than anybody. Good night. I was the worst person in the blue kitchen tonight. I'm upset that I had to leave. I didn't want to leave. I think Chef Ramsay sent me home tonight because he expected me to perform, and he said he'd give me one chance, and I didn't. I wasn't shocked the way he booted Melissa out. It was obvious. Essentially, I don't feel bad for anyone, because for me to win, I'm going to have to see everybody walk out the door. Blue team. Yes, Chef. I'm not done yet. Brad and Josh, step forward. Josh. Yes, Chef. You've done sweet fuck all since you've been in Hell's Kitchen. Why should you stay? Chef, I've improved every service I've been in. Got a lot more to show you, and I do not want to give up, and I will keep fighting, Chef. Brad. Yes, Chef. Tonight, you were shit. Yes, Chef. In fact, you were worse than shit. It's correct, Chef. You complimented shit. Yes, Chef. You were that bad. Why should you stay here? I've never been that embarrassed to put out food like, like I was putting out and just go down that bad on a station. It was totally humiliating. I feel like I'm here to win this, and I feel like I'm good. And I feel like Cut if I get bullshit, it... will you? Endless excuses. Pathetic cooking and a complete letdown. Is the mashed potatoes ready yet? Yes, chef. That looks gloopy and runny. He's like he's pouring it into the fucking bowl. I call away a spaghetti and a fucking sea bass. I get a risotto as a little gift I don't even fucking need. Stop panicking. 
my decision is. Both of you, get back in line. I'm giving you another chance. Thank you, Chef. Now, three girls, three guys. Get a grip. I deserve to be here. You know, I'm good enough to be here. You know, I'm strong enough to be here. And it's game face, 100% of the way. If, I, if I'm as good as I say I am, I need to win. You know, action speaks louder than words. Tonight, I didn't do that at all. Now fuck off out of there. And here I am, the little Waffle House cook. I'm still here. You know, I would be lying if I said that it wasn't hard, because it is hard, you know? But uh, I don't plan on giving up. It's now three on three. I think our team is up for the challenge. The girls seem to just work better than the guys. Red team just needs to keep working their little asses off. That was really difficult today, because Brad and Josh were absolutely horrible. With Melissa, she's very assertive, and she sounds like a leader. But unfortunately, she doesn't cook like a leader. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Unbelievable. I can't believe that. That happened so fast. Melissa was gone. It was like when you watch a movie and like some main character that you're not expecting to die, like dies within the first five minutes. And you're just like, what? With the teams again divided into men and women, the battle of the sexes is heating up. Melissa, she just crumbled. I think if we were three and she was still over there, it would have been better. I don't feel bad for Melissa. Rock is one person closer to the prize. Yo, it's three on three. It's, it's game time, that's it. This is like beyond game time. They act so cocky. And then we like go in there. And I just the, feel so good about that. We're the underdogs though, you know? It gives me hope knowing that I'm going up against two sous chefs and one executive chef and I'm kind of kicking their ass. I can't lose. Good morning. Good morning, morning chef. chef. Look around. There's only six of you left, and it's pretty obvious that the battle of the sexes is going to continue. I need all of you to take it to the next level. This morning's challenge is a completely different challenge. We're going to be working with leftovers. This is a test that I give every chef that steps in my kitchen, turning leftovers into something stunning. Each team will prepare three dishes, one appetizer and two entrees from a tray of leftover ingredients. You've all got 30 minutes to do that. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. For today's challenge, Chef Ramsay has given the teams identical trays of leftovers, which include white wine, spaghetti, vegetable stock, beef, and chicken. Chicken stock, we have lobster heads, we can make a nice lobster stock, what the fuck are those? Each team has just 30 minutes to decide how to best utilize the leftovers to prepare one appetizer and two entrees. I'll take and, chicken. Okay, you need to get that ASAP. You want to take the, the beef or the fish? I'll do the, uh, I'll do the fish. First thing I thought was sauce with that fish, sauce with the pot, boom, boom. I just started putting ingredients together. Anybody want to use cross-utilized product? Do like a surf and turf? Yeah, we need to do that. The blue team is off and running, but the red team is stalled at the gate. Why don't we make like a, a lobster stock, like a, a stew? Let's do meat and potatoes. OK, but we How do we do, do meat and potatoes? What if we did pepper crusted, like seared beef on a, mm. on a bed of, no? Bonnie was like, you know, we can do this or we can do that, you know, and I was trying to think of stuff. It was hard. We got to think of something to do. Um, Use your time wisely, ladies, yes? Um, God, this is hard. Time's going to run out, boys. We got to think about that. Yep. You do not have much time. We got to think of something with those eggs. Ter let's do a tarragon and East Bernays. Tarragon and East Bernays. I don't have We're time for the Bernays. We're getting down on time. Let's get everything in the pans. As the men begin cooking their food, the women have yet to decide on a single dish. Oh, oh, we need your steak and eggs. Let's do that. Oh, all right. Here you go, baby. Ladies, move, yes? Where's the steak? Where's the steak? Josh, I've never seen you move so fast. Everybody start plating up right now. Yep. It's going to be a challenge to get the most flavor out of the little that we have. But at the same time, I'm incredibly confident that we're going to take this one and kick those girls' asses. Josh, run with that plate right I'm now. In. 
rock. Five, four, four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, come round. At this point in the competition, Chef Ramsay is looking for chefs who stand out with their resourcefulness and creativity. Right, let's go. First up with appetizers, it's Bonnie versus Brad. Brad. Hey, Chef. Let's go. What is it? Curry bass with uh, crustacean tomato pasta. When Brad took his dome off, I was just like, you know, like, oh my god. I just wanted to take my little dish and just kind of slither away. Um, a lot of work has gone into that dish. You yes, chef. Funny. Is it a rustic tomato, uh, rustic chicken stew, chef? Mm-hmm. Mm, it's nice. It's quite fresh. Um, rustic, you're right. Yeah, very good. It's hard to identify which one was the winner, because they're both good. That one is the draw. 1-1. One, one. Thank you, chef. After the first round, the score is one-to-one. One. I didn't think mine was going to be a draw, <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. Um, I definitely thought that my uh, my dish was uh, superior. Jen and Josh. I did a classic take on um, steak and eggs for breakfast. It's like it's off Julia's menu. From you, I expect a little bit more, to be honest. Yes, Chef. Half an hour to make that. And the steak and eggs was Bonnie's idea. <gasps> we need your steak and eggs. Let's do that. Oh, all right. Good. Should have said something that I wanted to do something else. OK, Josh, blow me away. Yes, Chef. What is it? We have the chicken leg and some pea tendril and stuff the inside of the chicken with it. Just taste that sauce. Oof. Yeah, highly acidic. You're a professional chef. I just, I, I expect more from you. The chicken is not cooked all the way through. The sauce is disgusting, yeah? And it's just crap. I'm disappointed in both of you. Zero for both of you, back in line. With no points awarded for this round, the score remains tied at one each. Now, it all comes down to the Waffle House cook versus the executive chef. Rock, please. Yes, what is it? Surf and turf with a, a petite uh, ribeye uh, and the Pan-seared bass. It's delicious. Thank you. You've done it with finesse. Thank you. Julia, let's go. I don't really see anything that could go wrong with my dish. What is that? It's deep-fried um, sea bass. So, fish and chips? Fish and chips. Especially just for me, or would you put that on the menu? I would put that on the menu. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's nice, but it's fish and chips. And we're my nanny. OK, congratulations. Men, you've won. Thank you, sir. Men, well done. Thank you, yeah. sir. Thank you. We won. We put the girls away, so I'm happy. That's why I can't stop smiling. Ladies, that was dull. Your punishment is going to be just that, dull, tedious, boring. You're going to give this place a really good spring clean. And this morning is delivery day. So uh, once you finish with the cleaning, you're going to have to unload all those deliveries. Is that clear? Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. Guys, all three of you have got a very, very rare opportunity. I've been in your face for the last couple of weeks. Just stop. Stop. Get it on the stove. Can we have the two main courses together? Today, it's payback time. That's right, your first opportunity to get back at me. Our hope is figurative because, you know, I could knock his ass out. Go and get changed and meet me outside. Ladies, get cleaning. I have no idea what the guys are doing right now, but I can tell you anything is better than this. Hey, right. I told you your dream would come true today, yes? Yes, sir. Uh, this is payback time, yes? 
We're going paintballing. <laughs> <laughs> you three guys against me. And you can shoot the hell out of me. All right. Any employee would love to have a chance to shoot their boss. I'm not talking about real shooting here. But if I get you guys, yeah? Yeah. You're out. OK. Three against one. All right. All right. Let's do this. Thank you. Maybe I've found something that Josh is good at. <laughs> <laughs> While the guys gear up. Practice up. Check it out. Oh. Check it out. Be baby. <laughs> and get in some target practice. The red team starts unloading deliveries. They must make sure that the orders are correct. Bonnie, you check it off. I'll carry Crab, what do you have in there? Big snapper. Do we get turbot? Crab. Crab. Turbot. Nice. Fresh. OK. You already checked these off? Yeah. Thanks. Where's the rest of the fish? What? Oh, Bonnie. Instead of receiving the whole fish with fillets, the red team has received a box of turbo skeletons, only good for making stock. You didn't check it. Oh, fuck. Julia and Jen have to do the Bonnie. I hate feeling like I'm the dumbass. Bonnie, stop the drama. It's not the end of the world. Yes, it is. Bonnie. You guys didn't do it. It's me. The turbot has his fillets are gone. Where'd the fillets go? They're not in there. They took the fillets out and they gave us the skeletons. Did you guys even check the order at all? Let me see the order sheet. We'll go through every single thing and see how many things you guys fucked up. While Marianne hunts down the red team's mistakes, the blue team hunts down Chef Ramsay. Hope I get at least one shot on him. If I get one shot, I'm good. I am pumped. Oh, I'm so excited to get some payback. The rules of this game are hit Chef Ramsay. OK, guys, wakey, wakey. You bastard! Go. He's in there. Right behind you, Brett. Let's get him! Uh, now. Chef Ramsey is a quick guy. Oh, my god, he's just running around. The guy's a little bit of a sniper. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm out. Let me run underneath the knee. You guys have been cooking snapper for how long now? This is skin. snapper come with the skin on or off? On. It's what else now? We checked in the order and it was all wrong. It was just horrible and we should have checked it better. What does that say? What kind of butter do we I'm use? Salsa, chef. Oh! It's a close call for rock. Ah, got me! I'm out! And now he's the sole survivor. Josh, where'd it come from? Have we got him yet? Uh oh. I'm out. I'm out. Woo! You're done. <laughs> You're fast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You got me. You got me, though. How can you do this? I'm going hit you like this. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind that this is one of the best rewards. Yo, yeah. good job, Josh. I get to shoot the chef today. Come on, how many people get a chance to do that? Oh, I knew that was going to be them. Timing is perfect. Hey, hey, grab some of these boxes. When we pulled up, man, it was great to see Hell's Bitches, uh, you know, lifting some boxes. Uh, Jens, don't you think it would be nice to give the girls a little hand? It would be. <laughs> um, fortunately, I would like to help. I, I had a, a severe back pain. I have the same problem, Jean-Philippe, and I empathize with you, so y I'm yeah? going to take it upstairs. It's disgusting. I can't believe the boys didn't help you out. I can. It just sucks. I feel like an old man. It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen. Come on, gentlemen. And the aspiring chefs are eager to start preparing for tonight's dinner service. Good morning. But Chef Ramsay has a surprise. OK, big day today. Tonight's service is the most serious service so far in Hell's Kitchen. Both teams are coming up with their own menu. You will create three appetizers, three entrees, and three desserts. And tonight, the guests will order from those menus. I want to see creativity, excitement. I want to see you work as a team. 
Now get back to your dorms. Let's go. Each team has just one hour to create their own original menu consisting of three appetizers, three entrees, and three desserts. Yo, boys, this is it. Woo! Let's start right, okay, what are your ideas for apps? I think like an ahi tuna. What is ahi tuna? I'm worried about Julia because overall she's a Waffle House person. I mean, you need to be fine dining, you know? Three pan seared scallops with a horseradish spetzel. I'm just putting it out there, it's a winner. Brad was taking control. He was talking a lot. I'll say that, he was talking a lot. We could go old school rustic like a Tuscan bean soup. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't think it sounds that good. Those guys are kind of on a basic level. I thought if I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna showcase my talent. I'm not gonna just sit there and lay back and do easy things. What about if we do a macaroni and cheese? It's real fancy. We could do a little cassoulet. We call it a cassoulet, though. Not a cassoulet. As opposed to calling it this big word, call it macaroni and cheese and have it be something more elegant. It's macaroni and cheese. We call it a cassoulet, though. I want to do the New York strip steak and maybe like some cabbage. I'm just, I'll be honest, I'm not sold with the steak, man. I think putting steak on the menu is a cop out. We do have rabbit. We could do rabbit. Do we know how to cook that though? Here. Don't look at me like that. Do you think, do you think that's gonna be classy though? I'm getting pissed off, you know? Our name's going out on this menu and it better be damn good. Time may be up on designing the menus, but not everyone is satisfied with the outcome. Why are you shaking your head? Because I can. Oh, John, don't turn into a bitch now, please. Come on. Don't call me a bitch. Don't act like one. The red team must put their differences aside, at least for the moment, while Chef Ramsay approves the menus. Uh, Julia, out of all nine dishes, um, which would you say was your influence? I would say none of them were my influence. I mean, I really yeah. wanted to do, yeah, steak yeah. and shrimp. So you want to change that and put a steak and shrimp on there? Do it. OK. OK. That's something that I order when I go out to eat, so I think that it will be a big seller. OK, Josh, take me through the entrees, please. OK, we have um, pan-seared turbo. Uh, we're going to make a uh, wild mushroom uh, consomme. Um, sounds ambitious. Big test, this one. Yes. Yeah, are you sure you? You can pull this off? Yes, Chef, I believe we can. Yeah. OK, thank you. I think there's a very good chance the customer's going to order off our menu. All the flavors are going to come together, and it's going to work well. With the menus finalized. Sense of urgency, boys. Both teams begin prepping their dishes for dinner service. With so little time, it's crucial they work together. OK, I don't think this bacon's going to stay together. What should I do? Anyone have a good idea? Anyone going to answer me? No one's talking to me anymore. You guys, you guys realize this is still a team effort right now. Chef, yeah. it's fine. All right. If I make a friend, that's great. And if not, that's fine, too. Like, I am just here to compete. I feel like Jen and I have developed a friendship. Maybe she's not the nice person I thought she was. I can't, I can't work with her like this. OK, Jean-Philippe, open house kitchen. Let's go. Tonight in Hell's Kitchen, each customer will get to choose from either the red or blue menu. The red team's menu will feature classic dishes, New York strip steak from Julia, a seared ahi tuna from Jen, and Bonnie's bacon-wrapped leg of rabbit. The blue team's menu will feature sophisticated dishes like Brad's turbo and mushroom consomme, Brad's lamb chop with herbed gnocchi, and Brad's sautéed chicken breast with truffle cassoulet. The red menu looks the best, for sure. Yes, the red menu, please. OK, guys, let's go. Who's going to get the first ticket? <clears throat> An order, four covers, table one. Two tuna, one rabbit. Yes, yes chef. chef. I'll be choosing from the red menu. I am choosing from the red menu. Too. Okay. Yes. Hey, guys, yes, clearly the ladies' menu is far more appealing, because this is a fucking joke. Red team again. Orders are pouring in for the red kitchen. Now all they have to do is cook them. Um, chef, I'm going to need like five minutes on this rabbit. It's nowhere near done. Whose rabbit dish is this, by the way? It was a collaboration, chef. Bonnie, get on top of this, please, yeah? I'm not slowing it down now. Yes, chef. Oh, my god. I think I'm going to fucking flip out. 
He didn't know how to make the goddamn rabbit. This was Bonnie's idea. She thought it was like a chicken drumstick. Why don't you seal the rabbit off? Why don't you get a pan and just seal them off? Does anyone want to use their brain a little bit? Yes, chef. I just can't believe I'm getting screwed like this, dude. This is ridiculous. I can't do it for you. Yes, yeah? chef. Your menu, my standards. Let's yes, go. Chef. Come on. I'll go with blue. All right, I'm going to order off the blue menu. Half an hour into dinner service, orders are finally coming into the blue kitchen. Thank God we're getting some blue in. At long last, one pear salad, two short ribs, one raviolis. Be careful, yes? Yes, sir. Sure. Service. And thanks to Brad. Pick up, please. Go to Ravioli. Appetizers are going out. Ravioli, please. Yes, chef. Let's go, please. You know where you're going, yes? And coming back. Oh, no. Jean-Philippe, not tonight. What is going on? If he, he, he found his ravioli cold, he would like to have a shrimp salad from the blue side instead. Brad, stone cold ravioli. Shrimp salad away. Urgently. Yes, chef. Stone cold, Brad. Unbelievable. I know how to cook pasta. I know how to cook perfect pasta. But uh, my nerves got to me. It is harder than it looks. Trust me, it is. This is your menu here. Now concentrate, Brad. The chef. Unbelievable. While Brad starts over with his ravioli, Julia is finally ready with her rabbit appetizer. Hallelujah. Rabbit, please. Yes, yeah, chef. Let's go. Service. Come on, Julia, keep it going, please, yes? OK, ladies, this is our chance. One more tuna away, please, yes? Yes, chef. With Jen's help, appetizers are moving quickly out of the red kitchen. The bacon wrap, rabbit leg. That was like the right. best thing I've ever tasted in my life. And the red team moves on to entrees. I'll order two couples table 12, yes? Main course, one New York strip. I'll order four couples table 22, the entree. New York strip, medium, please. Main course, two New York strip. One medium, one well done. Let's go. Everyone's going for the red so far, yes? Yes. They fancy the New York strip. They fancy the New York strip. One New York strip again. While the red team tries to keep up with demand for Julia's New York strip steak, the blue team is finally ready for entrees. On order, four covers, table 11. Main course, three lamb. Lamb requested medium. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Pan got to be hotter than that. My pan's hot. Just watch. And our servers kind of snap at each other. Let's just get through this. We'll be all right. I just don't want to, you know, to bleed out or anything like that. Brad said something, well, let's not start bickering. I said, I'm not bickering. I don't want the meat to get sent back. While the blue team argues, Julia is ready with her New York strip steak. Steak, please. Woo, that's hot. Size those portions. They're going to come back to your restaurant, aren't they? Steak's amazing, no? Keep it going, Julia. You're doing a great job. I'm happy that a lot of the customers order the New York steak. Sometimes I do know what's best, although I'm not culinary arts. Julia and her steaks are exceeding expectations. Now Chef Ramsay is waiting for Josh to impress him with his lamb. Where's the lamb? How long, please? How long, please? Lamb coming right now, Chef. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Hey, you. Hey, donkey. Yes, Chef. One's nicely cooked. Yeah, colored. One's boiled. Fuck off, will you? So we're under pressure now, and this is where it separates a fucking chef from a donkey. Come here, let me tell you something. Yes, chef. Let me tell you something, you're here. You can't cook. That's what's just been confirmed to me. Good to go? We're coming, you're up. Yeah, you're coming. So's your fucking elimination. Come round. Just look what we're doing here, you donut. Look, boil, 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 boil. Donkey! The yes, chef. I expect it perfect. Right now, we're serving all the red, and you're way behind. Garnish for five lamb, garnish for three chicken. Going three lamb first, slow down. Three lamb first. first. Let's go check by check. That's what happens when we start the pan. Once that lamb started going away, we freaked out. Just freaked out. Hey, Josh. Yes, chef. I wouldn't trust you with a hot dog stand. Yes, chef. With Josh's lamb stalling the blue kitchen and entrees moving steadily out of the red kitchen, Service, please. Customers sitting at the same table are having completely different dining experiences. I'm still waiting for my entree. <laughs> I'm almost done with mine. The gentleman is served before the lady. I know, I know. I do apologize. Right. Yeah. Chef, why well, the lady's offended because the gentleman was served before the lady. Hey, Josh! Yes? The gentleman got served his steak before the lady. How long for the fucking lamb? Coming down. 
asparagus. Coming up. Fucking hell. Hey, hey, Josh! Chef! That lamb is rare! Yes, chef! You're in the shit, big boy. Yes, I am, chef. Get yourself out of it! Yes, chef! If Josh can't handle tonight, he definitely can't handle Vegas, baby. That's what I've been trying to say. Rock and Brad, can someone give him some help? Yes, sir. Yeah, I, you cannot turn your back on this one. Yes, sir. I couldn't go in there and help him out. Brad was right there. What are these, three people over there? Brad. Yes, chef. All you've been doing is prepping lamb. It seems like we've sort of given up on Josh. Yes, chef. Get him out of the fucking shit and try and win something back, yes? Yes, chef. Damn, fuck me. I will need some major help coming up, all right? Huh? Nobody's coming over to help. What's going on? You know, everything just got held up, and it sucked. You know, trust yourself to get yourself out. With Josh left to fend for himself, Chef Ramsay turns to the Red Kitchen to see what teamwork is all about. One turbot, two ozabuco, one lamb. Where the fuck is Jen? Jen wants to clear down. Yes, Chef. Get on service. Get on service. My yes, advice chef. to you. You're like this. Oh, here we go. Clean, clean, clean. He, like, makes fun of me. He says, you know, you walk around like this all the time. I do not. Jen, don't stand there looking all sad like a little lonely puppy. Just get a grip and wake up. Back in the blue kitchen, Josh is hoping the third time is the charm for his lamb. How long for that three lamb? Just go, just go. I'll go right behind you. Go. Chef, medium, medium rare. That's perfect. Yes, chef. Absolutely beautiful. Service, please. Right, we're back together now. Come on, Josh. You're on your way. Don't stop now. It's coming down. Despite the lack of help from his team, Josh manages to catch up with his entrees. Let's go, guys. Service, please. Yes. How long, please? Two turbot. Just come right now. Brad, your chef. Have we got flavor in the consomme? Yes, chef. A lot of flavor. Service, please. Go, 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 go. Come on, guys. With the blue team caught up, Chef Ramsay is eager to keep the red kitchen on track. Let me just tell you something. They've overtaken you now. Three turbots, one New York strip. Body. Yes, Chef. You're cooking, and your fucking gas is not even on. Oh, is it? Oh. Don't panic, Bonnie. If we go at your pace, we're fucked. No one's going to get fed. Let's go. I don't even know what I'm doing right now, Chef. Hey, Missy, turn the fucking gas on. It would help. I couldn't get caught up, and I wasn't even sure what the orders were anymore. You can't do it on your own. No, Chef. I'm tired of being told that I'm incompetent. It's just rough. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. It's two and a half hours into dinner service, and nearly all of the blue team's entrees have gone out. It's very bland. Very bland. But some are coming back. Two lamb, one turbo, yeah, urgently, yes? Bland bl and salty, Chef. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, come on. Brad, come here. OK, let's do a taste test, then. Looks like baby vomit. Tastes like fucking bovril. Hey, Brad, start again. Yes, Chef. Oh, fuck off. Back in the red kitchen, Chef Ramsay is looking for the final entrees. Where is the New York strip? Where is it? here. Where is the garnish for the New York strip? Yes, Chef, it's coming. I burnt it. I have to start over. She burnt it. Fuck me. Here we go. I, I really need to do meat and fish, because I'm confused now. Too many people are trying to do one thing, and then we're not talking to each other about who's doing what. Then everything just gets messed up. Let me see this. I'm going to put, I just need, I need shrimp for the steak. Hello. Hey, 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 hey. We haven't got the garnish now. The team's not working together, and I'm getting a little bit pissed now. Not one of you talking. See what's happening? Yes, Chef. You're just screwing your fucking self. I see what's happening, Chef. No one's even talking to each other. What a shame. Why is no one concentrating? Why is it so fucking hard? I don't have a good answer. No. Ladies, let's just get it out. Bonnie, we going. We're you going. got potatoes? Now you're finally talking. The women finally managed to pull together long enough to finish their entrees. The blue team quickly serves their desserts. Service, please. Great service, Thank you. And completes dinner service. Thanks for welcome, Good job, fellas. Meanwhile, the communication breakdown on the red team has returned. I don't know what tables we're on because you guys aren't talking to me okay. and I can't do anything. Don't blame it on me. What? 
Don't blame I'm me. I'm not blaming you. I'm just telling you, can you talk to me? Honey, I'm John, doing you're all over the place. I know, but I don't know what else to do. One of us is going home tonight, you know that. Whatever. Both teams have completed dinner service, but this is Hell's Kitchen, and no one is feeling safe. We definitely lost. I'm definitely out of here. Ladies, none of you had stamina. Those last four tables were embarrassing. Men, you weren't a team tonight. Josh, clearly a disaster. But the one issue that I'm not comfortable with is how Brad and you, Rock, didn't come to his aid. No one jumped on that section and pulled it back. No one. And you may think that it was him that suffered. The only people that suffered were the customer. There's no winning team. The one individual that sort of was consistent, that impressed me the most, was Julia. Julia, well done. Not one steak came back. But what scares me is that dish was so nearly not on the menu, yet it's turned out to be the most popular. Thank you, Chef. Think seriously about one member of your team that you want to put up for elimination. Guys, work as a team. Come up with one name that's up for elimination this evening. And fuck off back to the dorms. Chef. Chef Ramsey, you know, recognized what I was doing in that kitchen because I really was working hard. So what are y'all thinking? It's me, right? I haven't decided nothing yet. Jen, she's great. She knows how to cook, and she knows, like, her food really well. I think I make kick-ass dishes. I think that uh, my creativity supersedes what I can do in the kitchen. Bonnie is cool, you know, and Bonnie knows her food, but I think Bonnie could be just a little stronger on execution. At this moment, I do not know who I'm going to put up there. I have a great mind and a great, you know, tongue for stuff like this. But actually cooking it, huge problem. <laughs> if I go up on the chopping block, I hope Josh gets nominated on the boys' side because I think I have the best chance of staying. For you guys, I might be the easy decision, but I'm just fucking tired of being the weapon boy. I don't think I should go, so I think it should be one of you two. I don't want myself to go, so I mean, I'm not, you know what I mean? That's, that's just the way it is. I mean, none of us want to go. I'm seriously tired of being the fucking weapon boy for this team. I mean, I've been put up there so many fucking times. I just don't think I deserve it. Again, pissed at being the fucking weapon boy on this team. If Josh stopped messing up, he wouldn't have to worry about being our scapegoat or being ragged on or anything like that. He'd just be good. I'll be right back. Are you bitter that Rock chose you a bunch of times? I'm not bitter, it's, here's the deal. I feel like... I think if you voted me a bunch of times, I'd be fucking bitter. Every time Josh has been nominated, he's been nominated by Rock. So um, if he is a whipping boy, he's basically Rock's whipping boy. We have to come up with a collective decision on who's going up there. Julia. Yes, Chef. Your nominee and why, please? My nominee is Bonnie, Chef. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. I think that she has great culinary experience, but I believe that when it comes to actually getting the food out, that's where she lacks. Brad, your uh, team's nominee and why, please? Uh, chef, the team's nominee is myself. Brad. Nominated you. They nominated me, yes, Chef. Why? Uh, they, they thought I took a little too much control over the menu. Rock. Yes, sir. Is that right? Not exactly. We voted on it, Chef. He tried to take the leadership reins today. We think that that led us to be unsuccessful. 
Bonnie and Brad, step forward. Brad. Yes, Chef. How do you feel? I think I could have been either the savior or the martyr. I try to go full force, and I, you know, I try to have the balls to do a lot of stuff. When other, you know, when some people, you know, kind of wait in the winds, or everybody else kind of just say wait. my name. You should just say my name. That's all. If you're talking about me waiting in the wings, say Rob. I thought I'd be politically correct about it. Oh, ain't no politically correct. We trying to win a competition. Say my name. Good to see team spirits are high as always. Why should you stay? I think I'm remotely good at what I do. I think if, if there is a restaurant to give out, I think I could run that restaurant correctly. I try to take a, a leadership role, and I try to put myself out there. No matter if I win, lose, I try to do my best. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I know I have a good palate. I'm very creative. I think I have all of the makings to be a great chef. I just need more time in the kitchen to keep executing. I was really expecting more tonight from both teams. Stone cold, Brad. This is your menu here. Now concentrate, Brad. The chef. Buddy. Yes, chef. You're cooking and your fucking gas is not even on. Person leaving Hell's Kitchen is. Bonnie, wake up. Brad, take your jacket off. You're leaving Hell's Kitchen. Tonight, I was looking for a leader, and all you were was a cook. The chef. Rock and uh, Josh know that I'm the better chef. And I think it was their decision to vote me off because I was the biggest competition. You know, I, I, I still think I'm the best. Bonnie, back in line. Remember one thing. To be successful as an individual, you have to be successful as a teammate first. Don't forget that. I really thought I'd be going home tonight. Chef has given me yet another chance. He's shown me that he definitely thinks that there's something there, otherwise he wouldn't keep me around. This is cutthroat. I have to do what I need to do to win. I can do it. Good night. I know my chances are up, and I got to perform for that's that, and I got to be ready. Still here. What's up, y'all? Brad was a hard worker. Unfortunately, he worked with his back rather than his brain. He lacked finesse to become a great chef. <laughs> And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. They think I'm entertaining. Is that why I'm still here? I was very surprised that the chef chose to keep Bonnie here, but obviously, chef sees something in Bonnie that nobody else does. I won't be offended if you guys are shocked. No what? About the fact that I'm still here and Brad went home. I think the boys had a feeling I was going to be going up there, and there's no way that Brad would lose against me. But Brad was a good cook, though, in the kitchen? I think Brad was the biggest competition, so it's good to see him go. I feel like I can beat Josh easily. I know you think you can win. I think everybody thinks they can win. Of course. But to be honest, I don't think your energy can be focused in the way that dictates a winner at all. That's your opinion, and that's fine. I don't give a fuck what you rock thinks. I'm still here, and that's all that matters. I'm all about winning, and you know that. Good morning. Good morning, morning chef. chef. Five. Left. This is where it gets really serious now. There's no red team, there's no blue team. No battle of the sexes. You're now one team. There you go. We're on the same team, you know, and we're all here for a reason, not by luck. And our individual success banks on our success as a team. Scott, here we are. What? Little <laughs> glass of champagne. Congratulations. You are the final five. May the best chef win. 
Right, guys, cheers, yes? Cheers. Good health. Salute. Mm. Kinky. <laughs> <laughs> Open wide, Josh. The chef is throwing champagne at you, and wow, you can catch champagne from five meters away. You have a new talent. I do. You can catch champagne. <laughs> now, little surprise upstairs in your dorms are your new jackets. Yeah! Go upstairs, get changed, enjoy the moment. You deserve it. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hip hooray. Well done. <laughs> Oh, jackets. For real. Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited! Black jacket. Good job, y'all. Yeah. Good job. I win. Love the new jackets. The black and the white, it looks so good. Good job. I feel honored to be wearing it right now. We've come a long way. We're all nuts. Yeah. I'm proud of myself, you know? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of us. Five people left. So this is it. This is cutthroat. This is where it gets really serious. Today's challenge is your very first individual challenge. Each of you will cook an individual dish that will be judged by a very special group of trendsetters. Clients with their fingers on the pulse in terms of culture, fashion, music. We're cooking for trendsetters. If it's Mariah or if it's The Rock, I will pee my pants. But there's a twist. This set of trendy customers will not be coming in here. You're going to them. Scott, Marianne, please. Blindfolds. OK, no peeping. Get ready. Scott and Marianne, lead them out, please. The chef said that we would be cooking for people with their finger on the pulse. Makes me think of doctors, nurses, you know. When I think of trendsetters, people on the pulse, I've got to think Hollywood or I've got to think celebrities. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> what the chefs don't know is that the trendsetters Chef Ramsay spoke of are 100 hungry high school students. OK, guys, take your blindfolds off. Welcome to Alhambra High. I kind of thought I smelled like a cafeteria of chicken patties and tater tots. What better place to find out about trends than a high school? Today, your challenge is to feed and win over these teenagers. Now, the lunch bell is going off in one hour. It's down to their votes on which dish they like the best. The winner of this challenge, they will be coming with me on a trip to Las Vegas. I've never been to Vegas, but I'm sure Gordon has something amazing planned for us. Into the kitchen. Off you go. Quick. In their first individual challenge, our final five chefs have only one hour to prepare lunch for 100 students. For his lunch special, Rock is making a Kobe beef meatloaf on a ciabatta roll. Got to work it, Rock. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. I'm ready to go and hop over to Sin City, rip up Vegas, show them how I do it a little bit. Josh's creation is a baked salmon with pineapple salsa. Let's go, Josh, please, yeah? Chef. Julia is preparing a grilled chicken and cheese sandwich with onion rings. I don't think I'm going to have enough time. The time that we had, one hour to prepare 100 portions. And I was kind of worried. I'm thinking I wasn't going to have enough. Come on, guys. Let's go, Bonnie. Bonnie will be serving goat cheese, breaded and fried over a bed of greens. When I was in high school, I was eating unhealthy things. So um, at least I have something fried on my plate. Two minutes to the bell. Come on. Jen's dish is baked chicken fettuccine with a lemon chive butter sauce. Every kid loves chicken and pasta. So I'm going to make sure that it's well worth their while to eat. And I'm going to Vegas. 30 seconds to go. Come on, guys. Last 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, time! Let's go. Here they come. Sell that dish. Come on over, y'all. The aspiring chefs will serve their lunches on colored plates. After sampling all the dishes, the students will vote for their favorite. Vote green, people. Vote green. Hey, what's up, fellas? What's up? What's up? 
a world cooks, but every opportunity I get, I'm gonna try to politic. It's pushing my burger, selling. I don't see any yellow on your plate. Compared to everybody else's dish, I had full faith and confidence that mine was gonna bring me on top. Everybody's screaming yellow. That's the ghost cheese. I put it in breadcrumbs and you deep fry it. It makes the cheese really soft and so warm. It's really good. I heard Josh and I heard Rock. So, you know, I was like, you know, I love cheese, who loves cheese, you know, trying to be perky. Remember, pink is nice, all right? But don't vote for her. She's not that nice. Didn't take a long time to make it, but it took a long time to make like 100. Come speed up, guys, yes? I like your sweater. It's great, it's great. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're gridlock. No, they came from both sides. That's why it's gridlock, chef. Don't fucking argue with me, Rock, OK? OK. Save me. <laughs> it was a hell of a lot of fun getting out there and talking to the kids and trying to get them to uh, vote for my dish. With all the plates served, it's now time for these trendsetters to decide what's hot. How's the burger? It's good. Yes. And what's not. I could have made that at home. With the ballots tabulated, the aspiring chefs will now learn whose dish proved most popular. OK, here we go. The hero with over 51% wow. of your votes today. Vegas, here I come. The best dish of the Alhambra high school lunch. There's nothing I would like more than to fly to Vegas for Chef Ramsay. Boys and girls, the hero of the Alhambra high school lunch is Julia! I am so excited. I'm more than excited. I'm ecstatic. I can cook. Not only can I cook, but I, I make my food taste good. Oh, thank you, Julia! Julia came out of the woodwork and just surprised everyone. Competition is, is getting fiercer and fiercer by the minute. We're off to Vegas. Yeah. You've got 30 seconds to choose one of your teams coming with you. Julia's standing there, and she's just looking at us. And I'm just like, oh, just say my name. Just say my name. I got to take. I immediately knew she, Julia wasn't going to take Rock or Josh. She was going to take a girl. So I was like, pick me, pick me. Jen, I got to take Jen. Jen, ladies and gentlemen! Yeah. <laughs> OK. The rest of you, we've got some very boring, really horrible tasks back in Hell's Kitchen. Jean-Philippe is waiting for it. Now move your ass. Let's go. I don't know what we're going to get to do when we're there. I mean, it's Las Vegas, but I'm ready to do whatever it is that we're going to do. And if a trip to Vegas isn't enough, Chef Ramsay has another surprise. Ladies, you didn't think we were going to be traveling commercial, did you? Oh my God. Wow. We just sit oh anywhere? Cheers, my dear. Cheers, my dear. While Julia and Jen get a taste of the high life, the losers are being grounded with Jean Philippe. We're going to have to vacuum the restaurant, and then afterwards, Steam cleaning, and then a, a bit of ironing as well. Everything we need for the dining room is in this bag? No, no, no. I have 10 more bags. 10 more? Yeah. Wow. So, action. This tank is for dirty water recovery. Add anti foam here. You want to go look at it real quick? Oh, I didn't work that. Do you? Rock, you ever used one of these before? No, don't. You on your own. Jean Philippe. Yes, my friend. You got a problem with this machine, don't you? Yes, I do. Hey, you know what, Josh? This is not no rock and science. It doesn't work with solar energy. It works with electricity. You just turn it on. <laughs> for chefs, we belong in the back of the house, not in the front of the house, for them reason. Whoa! Does the chicken bone just pick it up? Shorten out or something? Vegas right now. Oh my god, we're in freaking Vegas, baby. Jules, look at it! Oh my look god, it. so beautiful. Look at look at look at it right there.
Green Valley Ranch. It's huge. I just could not believe it. One of us five wins the position of a chef here. Whoa! Oh my god, oh my god, god. Jules! Whoa. Jules, you see the kitchen? I know. Look at the bed. Do we each have a room like this? Look at this. Oh my God, that cleanses your booty. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, rear cleansing. This is actually. Oh, wait. Front cleansing, too. The Green Valley Ranch it was really nice. It was amazing, you know? So, I'm doing everything in my power to make sure that I do get this restaurant. It's a chance to do something that nobody in my family has had the opportunity to do yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While Rock, Bonnie, and Josh work late into the night, Jen and Julia get worked on at the Green Valley Ranch Resort Spa. I know that I could get used to living like this. I got scrubbed and rubbed and massaged, and um, I feel really good. I really think we should try to iron on the table. OK, try it. What do you think? I don't think it's a good idea. Why do you have to get an attitude? I'm, I'm not. not. I'm, I'm just verbalizing my attitude. thoughts. I said, OK, try it. Rock just has this temper. He just blows up at you for no reason. How do we fold this? I have no idea. Apparently, I'm the nanny, so I wonder, can we? I know you should know how. I don't do laundry. You don't do laundry. You don't change diapers. What no, do you do? I cook for the most part. I'm a chef. I cook dinner for them every night, dumbass. A new day begins in Las Vegas, and Julia and Jen head off from the Green Valley Ranch Resort to its luxurious sister resort, Red Rock, to meet a special guest. Morning, ladies. Somebody special I want to introduce you to, yes? Oh, hi. 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 Julia, hi. Jen, hi. Hi. this is Heather. Congratulations. Hi. Take yeah. us through. Welcome to Sarah Rosa. I was praying to God that I had the chance to meet Heather on, because she is such an inspiration. So this is my restaurant, Sarah Rosa. Obviously my prize. I have some dishes for you guys to try. Nice. Ooh. Wow, that's good. That's good. Okay. What's your edge on Virginia? Virginia was a great competitor, but I wanted it so bad. You got to remember, these people are going to be in the end with you. Keep your friends close, bring your enemies closer. Heather gave me good advice. What she told me, I'm going to carry with me throughout this competition. Uh, ladies, I'm going to spoil the fun. We've got a very, very busy service ahead of us this evening. Yeah, a lot yeah. of work to do. Yeah. Uh, you've been amazing. Getting to meet Heather just really let me know it's anybody's game. Nothing is impossible. Bye. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Wow. As Julia and Jen head back to Hell's Kitchen, Josh, Bonnie, and Rock must prep for tonight's dinner service on their own. Feeling lonely, stuck with the boys? <laughs> I'm so nervous about tonight because we have five people. We have to serve the whole restaurant. Can we get monkfish in today? There was like 23 portions, and then there was still another like pan full of them, right? I've been that. It smells. What? What are you doing? You threw away monkfish. It smelled awful. That was all that we have. Oh, God. Show it to me. Where is it? They threw away some monkfish, and immediately Chef Marianne made me dig it out of the trash. It doesn't smell good. Scott, does it smell bad to you? It smells like monkfish. Oh, my God. I'm freaking out. Yeah. It was a huge mistake and it could be my time to go home tonight. <gasps> After a punishing early morning prep, Bonnie, Rock, and Josh finally get a much needed break. I can't believe they've been in Vegas like all day. How sweet it would have been. Damn, that's a cheese sandwich. It's like a grilled cheese, but it has chopped up chicken. Obviously cheese on bread or cheese on meat tastes good. So obviously people are going to like it. If Julia had done her dish for Hell's Kitchen, it would have been like. Plain. <sighs> the chef loves her. It's what she can be taught. It's not what she knows. It's so annoying. What? Hi. Hey. Hi, everybody. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Hi, yeah. We brought pictures. 
Who is that? Is that Heather? Heather. Oh. Yeah. She gave some pointers. Yeah. She gave some advice. You know what to yeah. I'm say, oh, that's good. You know, do a little fake ass smile. Oh, okay. Congratulations. You deserve it. Good for you. The place is just humongous. To go to work there every day, we had like food out the ass, crystal we drank. Nice. In our room, we had like a pool table and it had the had a pool table in the room. The toilet. Did you use the bidet? And the booty eat. cleaner? Is that a bidet? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, no, I was like, I mean, it was like, she goes right to the spot. Like, right? <laughs> that was still to me. <laughs> and but it kept spraying. I was like, cut it off. How do you stop it? And it was just like, Wah. Jen and Julia got back from Vegas. They were all smiles. But you know, I'm in the frame, frame of mind of service tonight. For the first time in Hell's Kitchen, the women and men must work together in one kitchen to feed the entire dining room. I'm gonna have the uh, spaghetti with crab. I'll have scallops for appetizers. Yeah. On order, four covers, table 32. The scallops, mullet, long thing straight after, yes? Yes, chef. I'm working apps tonight. I am 100% confident in myself to get the team started off with a bang. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Why is the risotto on? Why haven't you got one away? How long's that been on there for? That's been on there for four minutes. These were on there earlier. They're going away. Fucking hell. How many are you doing? Can someone stop this guy? If you stop panicking, my man, how many fucking risottos are you doing up front? Look at all those pans. Yes, chef. What's going on? Let me just tell you something. We've opened, we haven't served anything yet, and we've lost money. What a fucking donut. While Josh's plan to get ahead backfired, Rock tries to make sure his scallops are done well. Scallops, please. But they're a little too well done. Rock. Yes, chef. Yeah, you can fuck yourself. Look at that. There, look. there you go. Come on. Oh, fucking hell. Three more scallops in. It takes one minute to study the scallops. Is that what we serve in house kitchen? Not at all, chef. We're going from fucking bad to worse, man. It just seems so comical. Brock and Josh aren't doing well. Scallops, risotto, spaghetti. What's in that basket? This is the one that pulled. Why? Starting just new. talk to me. Why? 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 Starting new. Starting new. Oh, fuck me. In your restaurant before we come here, do you cook spaghetti before the customer orders it? Never, chef. So why are you doing it here? It was wrong. Oh, oh, was it really wrong? Even my yeah. mum cooked spaghetti seven minutes before she wants it. Get it in the bin. 30 minutes into dinner service. I got the scallops. I got the crab. I'm so hungry. <laughs> John Philip, we're going to be serving appetizers and entrees at the same time, yes? Stand by, yes? With Bonnie on the meats and Julia on garnish, they're hoping to show Chef Ramsay they belong in the final five. One well, monkfish, one turbo, one squab, one Wellington. Yes? First entree. Get a grip, you, yes? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. OK, guys, you ready? I'm going up to the window. Are you ready to go? Watch your back, Josh, right behind you. Yeah. Monkfish, please. Wellington. Wellington's nicely cooked. Thank hey, you, you, Chef. Where's the fennel? Go on, Julia. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck me. Uh, don't you start. Sorry. Where did the fennel go that was sitting right here? It's gone. Oh, here Julia. Wakey, wakey, you, I'm yeah? I'm awake, yes, yeah, Chef. Sure. Come on, Julia. I got it coming right now. Send the pan over. That's what, yeah, I'll he said, bring it in the like pan. That, yeah? I'll take it with that like that, yes? Unbelievable. Come on, please, Julia. Oh, whatever. Julia, are you taking the piss out of us now? No, I'm not. No, it's the second table as well. You're not even fucking, it's like you're fast asleep. No, I'm not. I haven't worked the veg station before. It was hard. Um, I ain't gonna lie. While Julia struggles to get her station under control, Josh yeah. continues to test Chef Ramsay's patience. What the fuck is he doing? What? More spaghetti in there. I'm sorry. We cook spaghetti to order. Yes, yeah, Chef. Even the fucking dirtiest, scummiest Italian restaurant in Venice Beach cooks spaghetti to order, you donkey. Yes, yeah, Chef. I was wondering what the fuck you're doing. I'm here, Chef. You're pushing me to the fucking limit, big boy, huh? More than an hour into dinner service, guests are finally getting a taste of Josh's appetizers. What's right. happening? It's undercooked. Oh, my 
God. He's auto undercooked. Yeah. Sorry? Undercooked. Oh, my God almighty. Ah. Ah. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Come here, come here, come here, come here, you. What are you doing? Just what the fuck are you doing? Every table so far, nothing's coming out. You're standing there, you're screwing me, and you're fucking useless. What are you doing? Sorry, chef. Yeah, do me a favour. Yes, yeah, chef. Take that off and fuck it off the hell of it. Get out! Get out! Hey, you! Leave the jacket and get out! Get out! Give me the jacket. Give me, Give me the jacket. fucking jacket. Fucking useless sack of shit. Get out! Get out! I would have given my right arm to stay in the service and keep fighting because I came here with a dream to win. And it appears it's over. It appears that uh, Green Valley Ranch is not in my future. Dream's over, guys. Due to Josh's unscheduled departure, it's up to the four remaining chefs to save dinner service. Oh, Let's go, chef. Julia. Yes, chef. That is like the worst way I ever seen anybody like get fired. That was bad. I was just thinking, I hope he don't tell me to get out next. Jen. Yes. Get on appetizers. Yes, chef. He kicks him out of the kitchen, and he points at me, and he looks me straight in the eye, and he goes, you're on apps. No, and Jen, he's gone now, huh? He's on Sunset Boulevard looking for a fucking bus. Yes, chef. So I'm like, man. This is a true test, but I vow to myself that I'm going to impress Chef Ramsay somehow. There you are. Three nice, stunning, seasoned, beautifully risotto. Thank you, Chef. With Jen rescuing the appetizer station, the kitchen is back on track. Now it's working. Keep it going. Yes, Chef. So we go now. Entree, appetizer, entree. Like a normal kitchen. Yes, Chef. And all the stations are running smoothly, except for... Garnish, please. Julia. I could have sworn I put it up there. Garnish for the fucking monkfish. Have we forgotten the monkfish garnish? I uh, thought I had already put it up uh, there, Chef. I'm sorry. I don't know what went wrong. Like, I was missing. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Where is the garnish? I had Thank to redo you. it. I'm sorry. Come on, then, don't give up, then. I can't believe you just, I have to redo it. OK, but don't give up. Your body language has given up. Parrots. Oh, fuck me. No answer, fuck me. I was just like, OK, get it together, get it together. While Julia tries to pull herself together, Chef Ramsay looks to Bonnie and Rock to keep things moving. How long's the turbo, please? Rock, talk to me, babe. What the fuck happened to the turbo? We're supposed to be going up with that. Bonnie? Yes, Chef. Is it not ready? No, Chef. I was just waiting on the turbo, Chef. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't call me out like that because you're trying to look like the fucking teacher's pet. I want the wedding to the squad. Fuck the yes, turbo. Chef. If he's not ready, he's not ready. Yes, Chef. Bonnie, are we on the same team here? Or are you trying to single yourself out? What was really going on? Rock, set, rock bottom. While some diners are enjoying their food, That's so good. That's nice. others are tired of waiting. I am starving. And Jen takes matters into her own hands. One and a half minutes to the window, Rock. Yes, Queen Jen. Scallops, please. Yes, Chef. Where's the spaghetti? It's coming, Chef. It's coming. Rock. Don't yes. go until I say, OK? Because you're going to fuck me up. Where's the fucking scallops? Oh. Jen, please, let's go. Yes, Chef. Want spaghetti? Come on. Cream in there. Here you go. Put it down. Put we'll right, do we'll it. Do Don't do that to me, Rock, OK? What'd you say? Who the fuck are you talking to? My chef told me to come up there. 45 seconds, Rock. I called oh, it. Shit. Don't say nothing else to me, please. I've been calling it all time. Yeah, OK. I hear you. Why are you acting like this? You're 30 years old. 
Well, you act like, stop acting like an eight year old. You're not talking to us anymore, Rocky. You need to talk to us. Why is he giving us attitude? I enjoy working with women a lot of times. Not like these bitches, you know. I understand it's a competition. I want to win too, but I'm not trying to put anybody down to bring myself up. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Who just threw that food down there like that? Who threw that over there? Misha. Yeah, you may be pissed off, but I'm fucking standing here screwed. I'm not pissed off at all. I'm having a great time, Chef. Hey, yes. if I performed like you, I'd be pissed off. Despite the arguing in the kitchen, entrees are still making it to the pass. Service, please. Let's go. That's good. The four remaining chefs have managed to move on to desserts, but the moment is anything but sweet. What is this? Is this yours? That's the ice cream base. You could just put it over there if you could, on the sink. You a fucking asshole. Hey, 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 do you mind? We're not arguing amongst ourselves, yeah? No, 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 chef. Yeah, the fucking weak link's gone. Now you should fucking start working as a team. So don't jump when you say jump, stop, princess. Stop, stop, stop. Fuck you think you're talking to? Stop. I cannot run this kitchen like this. Big man, big man. Big man shit. Shut the fuck up! Enough's enough. Big man shit. You guys, Stop knock it head. off. Knock it off. OK, we got one brulee, one panna cotta, and then we're done. Despite the ongoing fighting. Simple as bro. You're crazy. The aspiring chefs managed to successfully complete dinner service. Oh, dear. I really thought this, this far down the line that, wow, we've got the best five, now four. We could do so much better. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. Your best night so far. Your best ever service. Spot on. The choice is yours. Go back to the dorm and think of two of your team that you think should be up for elimination. One of those two are going home. Yes, Chef. Let's go. I was really hoping that I wouldn't have to be put in this crappy position of picking two people to nominate tonight. But you know, I'm here. I'm in the final three. I never thought I'd get this far. Rock. Don't, hey, don't say shit to me. Fuck off. How about that? Asshole. Come on. Come and talk to me. He has a mean temper, dude. When he came in, he goes, you don't want to fucking mess with me. He said that, really? Hmm. He does not know how to control his temper, and it's like, it's like instantaneous. Like, I didn't do anything. Everybody saw that he was being an ass, you know? And I'm sorry, I'm not going to take it lying down. You could tell he was bullying you. People just hate me. I just want to go home. I didn't like the way Chen approached me. Probably should have waited until after service and told her. You know, I let some stupid stuff get in there, and it took me off. So I'm disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed in my family. I just fucked up. I'm better than that. I'm just, I'm just not the way I'm supposed to go out. You guys, I have to nominate one of you. Rock is a definite, you know, up for elimination. But I don't want to put Jen or Julia up on the chopping block and risk having one of them go home. I'm not going to put myself up. But, I mean, it is your choice. I, I want it too bad. I'm not going to put myself up there. You know, so you will have just, to choose. I would just like to see the three of us make it to the final three. I'm not really sure who she going to nominate. I'm confident that I don't think that I'm going to get sent home. I did have trouble on veg, but 
I mean, it happens to the best of us. You know, people have bad nights. I had my bad night tonight. We down to four people. So, I mean, it's only gonna get harder from here. I don't know what to do. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. Have you made your decision? Yes, Chef. Mm -hmm. First nominee and why? My first nominee is Rock. He lost communication. His temper flared when it shouldn't have flared. And in my opinion, he could have done better. Second nominee. My second nominee tonight <laughs> is Julia. I think the world of Julia, I think she's come so far, but she struggled on Garnish tonight, and she's just shown that she has a lot to learn with product. Rock, Julia, step forward, please. Tough, really tough. Rock, why should you stay? I know my performance tonight was uncharacteristic of me, and I'm a great communicator. I, uh, I failed tonight. I can do better and I will do better if given the opportunity. Julia, why should you stay? I feel like I don't want to go home. Tonight was really hard for me, but I, I didn't give up. You know, I refuse to give up. Um, that's just the kind of person that I am. I've got one guy that is completely driven to get to the top of his career, and one woman having made the most significant improvement. This is a very tough decision on a personal front for me. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight. God. I'm really sorry. It's Julia. Take off your jacket. Listen, you have done phenomenally well. And I'm going to do something now that I've never done before. I am personally going to send you to culinary school because you have an exceptional amount of talent. Thank you. And when you've done that, I want you to come back here and win it hands down because there's something quite amazing about you. Thank you. I am very proud of you. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Good night. Whose is that? Mine. I'm a short order cook. I've never worked in a kitchen like this before. I mean, if somebody can tell me anything, together. I'm just trying to do my best. I think that people underestimated me. Julia, yes, take control. Come on. Let's rock yes, it out, ladies. Music to my ears. Good stuff. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> we got this one in the bag. I know that Chef Ramsay, he's only hard on us to make us better because it's made me so much better. I know that great things will come out of this, you know, just starting with culinary arts school. I made it really far, but I don't want to go home. Now, we're down to the final three. Bonnie, Jen, and Rock. I said to you, it's going to get harder, but it's going to get more exciting. Congratulations. Now, get some sleep. Good night. Good night, Chef. Thank you, Chef. I really, really didn't think I'd get this far. It just all seems so surreal that I've actually been doing well and that I actually could, might win this thing. I have what it takes, and there's a reason that I am here. It's just that I have to really mold myself now to be a leader. The pressure's really on right now. I'm really excited to be here. I mean, top three, that means Chef Ramsay does see something in me. He does, and it's up to me to bring it out. It's only up to Rock. This is Rock's restaurant to lose. To become a great chef, you must have natural ability. Clearly, Julia does have it. All she needs is a little more experience. After that, she'll be ready to run her own restaurant. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen.
Jen. Yes. Can I talk to you for a second? Just real quick. Take two seconds. Yeah. For whatever happened, I didn't like the way you talked to me, but I apologize for what I said, what I did, for whatever. I don't even remember yeah, some I of it, apologize but as well. can we hug? I am a firm believer in trying to clear the air. I learned that through, uh, you know, messing up with my wife. I just wanted to apologize. Rock said he was sorry. I said I was sorry, and you press on after that, so I'm not going to dwell on it. Oh, God. Poor Jules. I, I feel so bad. I'm hoping this is going to be the best thing for her, that she can go to school and, like, you know. Jeff chose Julia to go home, and I feel so sad. I feel gutted. I'm just going to be sorry to not, you know, wake up and see her smiling face in the morning. <laughs> I'm really sad that Julia's gone, and she was an inspiration to me, and I felt proud of her. This is a sad moment for everybody today. So surreal. Three people. It went from five to three in the span of 24 hours. I really, really didn't think I'd get this far. Sometimes I just feel like I'm not worthy to be here. But that man downstairs really wants it. He's come from such like a poor background and like has had to work so hard for everything. I feel so uh, fortunate to be in this position, to be in the top three. It's only two more people that I have to outlast. After an emotional night, the final three chefs gather before an uncharacteristically cheerful Chef Ramsay. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Chef. Good to see you guys, yes? Throughout my whole career, I've worked with some phenomenal chefs. And right now, I'd like all three of you to meet someone that is, in my mind, the best. I was trying to think of what chef he's worked with or you know, what chefs he's worked under. And quite frankly, without this person, I wouldn't be here today. My number one mentor, meet my mum. Good to see you, mum. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. That is Bonnie, Jen, and Rock. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Morning. Chef Ramsay's mom's so cute. Rock, yeah. no cursing, please. Not at all. Never, ever in front of your mom. Right. <laughs> I love when he says it's his mom. It's so cute. Um, what have you brought me? Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. My favorite. I grew up with this dish. In today's restaurant world, people want to feel at ease when they can identify something from their childhood. Comfort food. But in a fine dining restaurant, you have to take that comfort food and make it into something quite unique. Now this is my macaroni and cheese, served with roasted lobster, finished with shavings of black truffle and aged Parmesan cheese. So for today's challenge, you'll be taking one of America's classics and then evolving it into something fine dining. I was stoked about this challenge because my restaurant is a Southern Creole Cajun. And so I try to take, you know, classic Southern dishes and make them more contemporary. Homemade to gourmet. Scott and Marianne, please. Now in front of you, you've got five dishes to choose from. I want you to pick a dome each, look at what you've got in terms of American classic, and evolve that dish into something exciting. Who's going first? OK, Bonnie, pick a dome and tell me what your American classic is. Franks and beans. <laughs> That's not an American classic. That's a British classic. That's not a British classic. Hot dogs and beans. What's more American than a hot dog? Beans and Franks? It just threw me. I was like, how can I make this gourmet? Get over it, Bonnie. Who's next? I'll go. Think carefully. Fried, Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I can do something with that. OK. Rock, pick a dome. OK. Spaghetti meatballs. You've got one hour. Are you ready? Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Go. For this challenge, the aspiring chefs can use anything from the well-stocked pantry to create their innovative version of a classic American dish. Is it just beans and Frank's cut up in it? You never had a hot dog with, with beans? 
Bonnie started doing her Bonnie thing, like, what is that? Does it go on a bun? How am I supposed to do that? Is it just beans? What is that? Franks and fucking beans. Bonnie? Oh, beans? I eat hot dogs, but I've never eaten hot dogs with beans. Like, unless it was like a chili dog. Is that weird? Just under 40 minutes to go, yeah? Yes, sir. You do not want to lose this challenge. Okay. They had given us the most amazing ingredients. So that definitely got my mind going. In my mind, I start with the main, like, OK, chicken. I want to do, like, a roulade. I wanted it to be stuff. I just didn't want it to be plain. Just under 20 minutes, yes? Yes, yeah, sure. I was trying to do three different dishes. I just I wanted to have depth and range, so I really had my work cut out for me. Bonnie, I don't know if you're having some. You guys got the time? Anybody got time? Last three minutes. Not time, T-H-Y. Be careful. Be careful, be careful. Oh, One minute to go. It's me. 30 seconds. Let's go, Jen. 10 seconds. Chef. Come on, guys. Time up. Come on, Rock. Bring him over, please. Thank you. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. Show me. What did you make? I did an Italian version of beans and franks, mini bruschettas. I served it with a mushroom cream leek sauce. Excellent. Thank you. Rock. Yes. What did you do? I did uh, what I call a uh, study of spaghetti. It's three different spaghettis, a cream sauce, a veal, and this is a spicy chorizo and mm -hmm. pork. Good. Well done. Thank you. Jen, blow me away. I did a fried chicken roulade stuffed with crab meat, spinach, and goat cheese. That's definitely a new version of fried chicken. OK, back in line, please. Well done. Now. It's time. I've got some special judges to help me taste. Your mums are here. Oh, my God! Welcome, Carol, Joyce, and Carol. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. I thought maybe it was some chefs from another restaurant, not my mom, you know? I just couldn't believe that she was here. <laughs> How are you, my darling? But I was really happy, and I was really looking forward to the judging being over and being able to go talk to my mother. May we sit you here, please? Certainly. Thank you. Good to see you. We haven't seen or been able to talk to our parents in weeks. And to see my mom, that was a reward enough for me. These lovely ladies are all helping me today to select a winner. During the tasting, the aspiring chefs must remain silent and give no clue as to which dish is theirs. There we are. The tasting begins with Rock's trio of gourmet spaghetti. Started with my spaghetti. My mother nodded her head. She liked it. That was reassuring. Wow, this is something else. Happy? Happy. Very happy. A second dish. Next, the moms try Jen's fried chicken roulade. I was like, oh my god, what if my mom hates it? I was more worried about her not liking it than anybody else. Carol, what do you think of that? Yes? Very good. Nice. Good. Final dish. Up last, Bonnie's contemporary spin on Franks and Beans. It was really fun to watch the moms eat our food. You know, I know that my mom doesn't really like gourmet food. Delicious. That's mm. my mom. <laughs> I don't want to give it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's now time to pick a winner. Joy. Out of those three dishes, yes. which one is your favorite? I can't hear anything. While Chef Ramsay confers with the mothers, the aspiring chefs strain for any clue as to how they're voting. The mothers' backs were to us, so we couldn't really hear who they voted for. You know, you're on edge. I was on edge. So. We have an outright winner with all three votes from three serious critics. The most favorite dish. Congratulations. Jen, well done. <laughs> I can't believe that they all picked my dish. That means that me being here is not a joke, that I do have some talent. You know, I just need to really feed it and Nurturing. I'm so pleased I can't get blamed for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Jen and Carol, we have a special day for you guys, yes? We're going out for lunch together with my mum and myself. 
and both of you. I was a little jealous of Jen that she got to go out with her mom for the day, but I honestly think Jen needed it more than I did. Rock and Bonnie, as always, when you lose a challenge, there is a punishment. You'll be cleaning the dorms, just like Mum oh. used to do to your rooms. <laughs> Hoovering, dusting, polishing, and making the beds. Listen, spend a few minutes together. You've earned it. And uh, Rock and Bonnie, after that, go back to the dorm. I just hugged my mom and, you know, told her how much I loved her and, yeah, it was good. I, I love you. Like oh, don't, don't mess up my mic. It was just great to even, you know, hug her and, you know, she really, uh, she gave me a boost. She gave me a boost that I really needed. It was your dream boy. Just do it. Pray for me. All the time. It was just great. <laughs> See you. Bye, See you later. Mom. All right. Mommy, I love you. No, I love you. <laughs> Spaghetti. I don't want to go clean the dorm. Hey, Jenna, how do you feel? Good. Three out of so three. confident. Yeah, but three out of three. I'm finding my niche. You're finding your niche. Mm -hmm. Good. Welcome to the lodge. Rock and Bonnie. OK, got a list of everything I want you to do. The bathrooms, the showers, the toilets, the sinks, mop the floors, Windex, the mirrors. Place needs to be scrubbed down, spotless. All right, get to it. We got a lot to do. OK, I'm going to like making beds. Making beds? Yeah. Making beds is like so minimal on this lift. That's all I'm good at. Well, you're gonna get good at some other stuff. I can Windex stuff too. She says she's a nanny. You don't clean this, you don't clean that. What do you do? Let's just do it together. How about that? Apparently, I don't do nanny duties at all because I'm not really a nanny. I'm a personal chef and I do a little bit of babysitting, basically. <sighs> um, can you get, will you throw that ham away and clean out the ref refrigerator? OK, I'll clean out the refrigerator. Will you just bring a trash bag over? Is there anything else I can do for you? Can, can I? Yeah, I would love a foot rub. I wonder what Jen's doing right now. Thank you, Daniel. Wow. Oh, my you, god. Uh, don't be scared, Jen. You're so close for final two. Next service, what are you going to do? You're going to be? <laughs> Loud. Loud and? <laughs> Assertive. Assertive and? In control. In control and? OK, what are you looking for? Accurate. <laughs> Accurate. I'm, I thought I covered all the bases. The one-on-one -on -one time that I had with Chef Ramsay was the single most important time that I've had to spend with him. My little dolly. My little dolly. I remember that on service tomorrow. Well done, my darling. Uh, well, done. well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. My mom thought I did the spaghetti, and she still voted against it. I wish you'd have voted for the spaghetti. It wasn't that bad chilling with Bonnie. She's a diva and a drama queen. Rock. Yes. Rock. What? I'm hungry. Eat. She's moody. I don't want to do any more dishes. And she's bossy. Rock, where the hell are you? It was all right, but it was just a long day. Rock, I'm tired. I have low energy. Stop talking. You might have a little more energy. Just be quiet for a minute. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> One more surprise. You're going shopping. Welcome to Surfers, yes? Um, an amazing kitchen equipment shop. Anything to do with food, it's here equipment-wise. It's an amazing shop, yes? Uh, last surprise, $1,000. Oh, yes. my god! Yes. <laughs> Spend it widely, yes? Uh, OK. <laughs> Enjoy. Yes? Oh my Have god. a good look round. Uh, we're going to leave you. Bye, bye ladies. Bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. I love shopping with my mom. I go hog wild and... You know, all those stores. <gasps> Holy cake pans! <laughs> oh my god! Cast iron skillet. Ooh! Copper pots! I want a blender. I should make a tally here on how much you're spending. Oh my god, they have these! I got a lot of stuff, a lot for a thousand dollars. I love Gordon. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff. $9.98.
I came back to Hell's Kitchen, and I had to say goodbye to my mom, and I was crying, of course, because I'm a basket case. I love you. I am so proud of you. She gave me words of encouragement and said that she knows that I'll do well. The day went so quick with her, but I'm glad that she shared this with me. Yay! How was it? How was your day? It was great. How was yours? Jen and Bonnie are really close. They've been working together. They're friends. I'm pretty sure they want to see each other in the final. It doesn't bother me that I'm isolated. I'm here, I'm alone, and that keeps me focused. Service is tomorrow. Yeah. You said it's the biggest service of our lives. Yep. I have to be strong, be assertive, and I have to be in control. Claudia, do you think we can pull off service tomorrow? We have to. It's our biggest night, you know? If I can get through service tomorrow, I will be so happy. I just don't want to get kicked out. Can I rock? Jen won the competition. Great for Jen, great for Jen. But tomorrow ain't no great for Jen. Great for rock. Tonight, the final three face the biggest dinner service of their lives. To get here, they watched nine of their competitors leave Hell's Kitchen. Take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. Get out! Good morning. Good morning, guys. You guys ready to shine tonight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Winning this dinner service ensures me a place in the final two. I'm honestly not even worried about Rock or Jen. When I have my restaurant in Vegas, I'll miss you. I'm gonna beat the crap out of them. Right behind you, Rock. Rock is strong, he's fierce, you know, but I'm a fighter and this prize is mine. Hot behind you, hot, hot, hot. I think we're in for a hell of a night. The prize is so close, I can smell it. I just need to beat two people, and I'm on my way to Vegas, baby. OK, guys, let's go. Big night tonight. Sure. At the end of tonight's service, that will determine which two go through to the final. And an even bigger night for all three of you, because each and every one of you will be running the pass. I'll start it off. I will get the service going, and then I have to pass it over to each and every one of you. This is where it separates the difference from a cook to a leader. Just when you think that you're just going to be able to cook and try to outshine it, you know, it's always something else. This is a very serious task. You run the kitchen, or the kitchen runs you? Yes, yes. chef. Bonnie, add two minutes with me, please. Let's go. The winner of Hell's Kitchen will be in charge of running a restaurant. But before the aspiring chefs attempt it on their own, Chef Ramsay offers them a little assertiveness training. I'm the cook. You're the chef now. I've just screwed up. The pasta's undercooked. The scallops are raw. I want to know inside that I've got a real little fiery bitch on my hands. Come here. Taste this. Have you tasted anything that you've cooked for me tonight? Have you tasted it? What do you taste out of that? It's raw. Is that acceptable to stand up to the line? I have given you every opportunity to get, let you get back on track, and you keep fucking it up. I just heard Bonnie screaming and cursing. And I actually got a little happy. I was like, ooh, she's cursing Chef out. That's good. She can go home. It's just me and Jen. We can skip right to the championship. One more time, and you are out of this kitchen. Sorry. Get another pot on it. Get it going now. Bloody hell. What came out of there? I got the message big good. time, and I will not screw up again. It was so fun to yell at Chef and have Chef like just sit there and take it, you know, didn't yell back. You know, just had to sit there and be like, sorry. You know, I was like, you're damn right, you're sorry. Two seconds, please, Rock. Yes, sir. You're pretty pissed with me. Uh, I tried to make you look stupid. Give it to me. What's, what's wrong with you? Why is this? Why do we have this here? I told you how important that table was. Can I cook it again? Absolutely. What, what, you should have cooked it right. What, what you going to give me this time? What are you going to cook? Give me this time. You going to give me something better? You've got no idea how stupid you just sounded. That was pussy talk. OK. So I've just really screwed you, and uh, you're fucking fuming because it doesn't get any bigger than this. Chef, it's there. What? What? Just tell me. Just tell me. Why did you do that? I rushed it. Why did you rush it? We got a countdown for a reason. Why did you rush it? You were shouting at me. Because I was shouting at you. Yeah. You want me to whisper? You want me to give you a hug? No. But I trust you one time. I didn't taste one turbo, and you sent the motherfucker raw. Why? Good. Welcome home. 
Now you sound like a chef. <laughs> Jen, two seconds. Yes, chef. The fish cook, that's me, has just screwed it. You are fuming in a way that you cannot believe. Tell me off. You think I've worked fucking 15 years so you can fuck up my career, send out raw fish? You want to fuck off? You can fuck off out of here, okay? That sounded like a drunk country and western singer. Let's work out this way. Okay, you're in love with your uh, golden retriever, yeah? I've just put it in the microwave and blown it up. Now you're pissed. So, tell me how you feel serving your raw turbot now. You're gonna fucking serve me raw turbot? After I've worked so hard for 15 years? Get the fuck back on the station, make the turbot, and make it happen. Good, second time round was great. First time was shit. Okay, Jean-Philippe. Chef, wait. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Hello, ladies. I'm going to go for the scallops, please. I'm going to have the monkfish. Hey, Chef. OK, guys, here we go, yes? The first ticket on order, two couples, table 31. Two longest thing, main course, two monkfish. Yes, yes Chef. chef. We are going to complete a service, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Three minutes to window, two langoustines. Two langoustines. Two langoustines on order. OK, let's go. One risotto, one scallops, one langoustine, one monitor away. Yes, Chef. Two langoustines to the window, chickens in. Thank you. One scallops, one risotto, one langoustine, one mullet. That's right, keep it going, huh? Let's go, service, please. Table 22. So it sounds magical, yes? Scallops in. Nice, go. Oh, look at this, extraordinary. Service, please. That's the best we sent two tables out, yes? Do not stop now, yes? The chef. The final three have proven that they deserve to be here tonight. Chef Ramsay will be using the sous chefs to fill the gaps in the kitchen and to help test the finalists at the pass. Uh, Scott and Marianne, I need 30 seconds, please. Yes, chef. OK, we're talking about one or two mistakes per person, OK? A big one, the spaghetti. Yeah, of crab, yeah. Send it to me, but with no crab in there. Yeah. Good. Uh, each chef will have a turn expediting or running the pass. Up first is Jen. Jen, come here, you. I'm Missy. up on the hot plate. Yeah, you're on the hot plate. I've never expedited, and I'm feeling the pressure right now. I need to really do well here. Table 22. Yes, chef. Yes. Oh, yes. Right. What's, what the chef, fuck what you do? this? He just brought in an order. OK. So what did you do with that? I have to order. You're yes. fucking right, you yes, do. Yes, yes, come yes, on. Chef. Yes, chef. Talk to the brigade. Ordering. Two langoustine, entrees, one wellington, one chicken, one swab, in the poaching liquid, please. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Jen has been assertive calling out the orders. Langoustine spaghetti, come on, Scott. Spaghetti coming right now. But that's the easy part. Now she must pass Chef Ramsay's quality control test. Spaghetti. Table 40, servers, please. Where's my monkfish and my turban? Just what the fuck are you doing? Come here. Taste. Spaghetti of what? Spaghetti of crab. What's in there? Just tomatoes. Where's the crab? It's not in there, chef. You have to cook with your eyes now. Yes, chef. Start yes, again. Chef. Reorder. One langoustines, one spaghetti. Seven minutes to the window. Jen has failed Chef Ramsay's test. Let's go. Now he's looking to see how she recovers. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll serve that. Order. Are you happy with it? Risotto cooked too long. I don't like it. Not seasoned properly, doesn't taste good. Praise Jesus, I'm glad I caught something, you know? I felt like I had a boost of confidence at that point. Six minutes for two new ones. Reorder! Six you can minutes. do it in five, I do it in five. You can do it in five. We're doing five, chef, I need six. Five minutes! Five minutes it is. It was a lot to handle up at the pass. This isn't right. That's this it, yeah, that's it. Oh, it is? That's fine, that's fine. Table 26 controlling the times, making sure that everybody's in check. I knew that I had to be strong, I had to be firm, otherwise I'm out of this competition. One long fish, one turban. To the window now. What'd you say? Where's my veg? Where's my, where's my veg? When Jim was up there, it was a little difficult to listen to her. She was inexperienced, so it was coming across a little jumbled. One scallop, one risotto, two scallop, one risotto, one langoustine. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Table 40, servers, please. Good, excellent. OK, IT section. While Jen's turn at the pass has had its ups and downs, the kitchen still managed to get both appetizers and entrees out to the diners. That smells good, huh? Rock, on the hot plate. Yes, Let's chef. go. Now, it's Rock's turn to lead the kitchen. So we got a scallop risotto, langoustine spaghetti. How long, Jen? Three minutes. Three minutes? Yes, chef. 
Let's get people. Come on, then, work with me, then. Scallops on to the outside of the plate. Service, please. Go, go, go. As Rock gets comfortable at the pass, Chef Scott is preparing a test for him. A monkfish missing a key ingredient. Two scallop, one mullet, one langoustine. One fish up. Thank you, monkfish. Come on, push. Use your fingers, Rock. Come on. What happened to Scott? What happened to the uh, the, the ham? Uh, I didn't know there was supposed to be ham on it. It's, it. It comes with ham. You're not supposed uh, to take it off. Uh, sorry, Chef. Nobody Good. told me. Good. Nobody told you? No. Nope. Chef Scott sent me a monkfish that was supposed to be wrapped in Parma ham and prosciutto, and I sent that back. And I did think, like, you know, if you do that again, ugh. I need three and a half minutes, Scott. Yep. Yeah, Rock. Well spotted. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Rock has passed Chef Ramsay's quality control test but he's failing at another test. Too slow, let's go. Getting his team to complete orders in a timely manner. You're very quiet. You're on the hot plate, I want to hear you, yes? Just pick, sir, up. pick up, please. One order, listen. Four cups table, 32. Two spaghetti, one scallop, one langoustine. Brock was a little slow. He has been an executive chef, so I think he should be better. Go on, you go speed, speed, speed. Your fingers are slow as fuck. Come on, let's go. Come on, it's two scallops. Come on, get another plan out. Come on. Chef Ramsay is giving me a hard time. He said my fingers were slow. Got to move. Got to, got to move. But I just want to be efficient. I didn't want to mess anything up. You know, I got it. Wellington, Monkfish, Turbo, and a squad medium. Yes, yeah, Chef. Yes, yeah, Chef. Service, please. Let's go. Are you risotto? Oh, how are you? Very exciting. Right. Let's go. Go, please. It's pretty, and it's really good. Well done. Back to section. Thank, Thank you. you. With over half the restaurant left to be fed. All right, Bonnie, let's go. It's up to Bonnie to pick up the pace. Okay, guys, stand by. Stand by. One melt, one Wellington medium, one turbot, two monkfish. Stand by. You know what? Fuck that. Sorry. Stand by. One monkfish, one turbot. Forget what I just said. Bonnie was kind of all over the place. Wait. No, no, no. I need that mullet. It was a little difficult at certain moments to listen to her. Rock, that turbot better be coming up here. Jen, where is that risotto? Where's my pigeon? As her team works to keep up with all of the orders, Pigeon now. it's time for Bonnie to have her quality control tested. Well, I'm coming right now. I'll dress the turbot, you dress the pigeon. Let's go. So it's refired. Refired chicken ready. Suck a dash, please. The skin isn't crispy. Well spotted. Scott, I need another pigeon. It's hard enough to do this for the first time, and then when people make mistakes, there's no crisp on the skin. I can see why Chef gets so mad at us. Where's that risotto? Risotto. Thank you. Jen, I think it, need, it still needs some more salt, babe. Jen doesn't seem to taste her food. I'm not sure if she has as good of a palate as I thought she did. Still not seasoned enough. While at the pass, Bonnie has done well maintaining Chef Ramsay's high standards. Get a pan on, get that risotto in now. But some things. There is no more, Chef. Are out of her control. What? And in the hands of her cooks. The risotto's what? overcooked. What? I can't serve this. I just overcook it. Scott, check the rice. Is that rice overcooked, yes or no? Yeah, it is, Chef. It is. Oh, fuck me. Is the rice on? Is yes, the rice chef. on? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Hold on right now, Chef. Yes, you'll be ready, you'll be ready, you'll be ready, yeah? And we'll come back to the risotto. Go. Complete. Table 20. The presentation is fabulous. Table 1. Thank ready? you. Thank you. Really nice. OK, well done. Rock clear down, please. Back to your section. With dinner service nearly complete. Last six tables, come on. Chef Ramsay takes back control of the kitchen. Table two, 43, yes. 23, go. Go, please. Last table, wakey, wakey, let's go. One chicken, two Wellington. Service. Table's gone, guys. OK, well done, yes. Tonight has been our best ever service in Hell's Kitchen. Every appetizer, every entree, every dessert, yeah? I'm really proud of you. And you've just confirmed why you are the last three. Thank you, Thank you, Chef. Hey, it was good, but it wasn't perfect. You all handled the hot plate, and you all had highs and lows on there. I'll be judging all three of you on how you performed on the hot plate, work in the pass, and how you operated your stations. I want all three of you to go back to the door and decide why you really think you should be a finalist in Hell's Kitchen as a tall order.
because it's going to be very tough for me to end one of your dreams and get back to the door. I belong here. I belong in the final two. I honestly feel like I deserve it. You still want this? I work hard, and so does Rock, like we live at our job. Sometimes I wonder if Bonnie's heart's in the right place with this, you know? Why do you really want it? I think that maybe I don't want it, or what, the reason I felt that I don't want it is just because I'm terrified to, like, take that step, you know? Just getting around our own fear is sometimes the hardest thing to do. This competition changes you. I've been pushed to my limits, and I'm still here, and I'm still standing, and I've gotten better. With all that, if you know, if I have to leave, it's gonna be so hard to, you know, know that it, the competition has ended for me. This would just mean everything to my family. It's always been a dream of mine to run a restaurant. It'll mean a great deal, even beyond, you know, the restaurant itself. I need to win. Bonnie. Yes, Chef. Why should you be a finalist in Hell's Kitchen? With every service, I have gotten better. I'm a team player, but I can take it to the next step, and I can be the person that people look to. I think I have what it takes. Jen, why do you think you should be a finalist in Hell's Kitchen? I live for food. Being in the kitchen is my home. I don't have all the experience, but I love learning. I know I've been a mouse, but I'm gaining confidence. I have the confidence inside of me. And it's coming out every service. Rock, to me, I've grown a lot. Um, and not just as a cook or a chef. I've grown a lot as a, as a person. I've learned a lot. I'm a leader. I didn't come here to finish second or third. I, I came to get this restaurant. Thank you. Three of you had tremendous highs this evening. Risotto cooked too long. Reorder. Good. Excellent. Jen, I think it, need, it still needs some more salt, babe. It's still not seasoned enough. Get a pan on, get that risotto in now. It, it comes with ham. You're not supposed oh. to take it off. Well spotted. Yeah, thank you. Let's thank go. You. This is a tough decision. And my decision is... to go into the final. Just get me like that. Congratulations. Thank you. Bonnie and Jen, this is extremely difficult. Person leaving house kitchen. Jen, you have done so well. And your enthusiasm and your drive for food is extraordinary. Bloody well done. Miss you. We you cook on my team. You have nothing to feel ashamed about, eh? Nothing whatsoever. Don't you dare stop. Don't you dare stop. Yes? Hey. You keep that head high. Yes? Well done, my darling. Yes, sure. Bye, everybody. I'm from a small town, and things like this don't happen to people like us every day. Come on, guys, come on! Jen, very nice, that spaghetti. Thank you, chef. Did you come out here to fucking be the nice girl? Did no, you come out here? Vinny, I didn't come out here to be the nice girl. Wow, bloody hell. <laughs> most favorite dish, Jen. Well oh. done. <laughs> so beautiful. Look at, look at, look at it right there. Oh, yes. my 
Bend it widely, yes. Okay. I'm going to be successful. I know I am. I tried so hard and I've sacrificed so much so far and it just wasn't enough. Congratulations. You are the finalist in Hell's Kitchen. You're one step away from becoming the head chef at the Green Valley Ranch Resort in Vegas. I have a little surprise for you both. Rob, turn around. Your wife's standing behind you. Bonnie, mum and dad are behind you. Hey, baby. <laughs> Congratulations. I love you. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be a teacher anymore, Dad. Can't they give me a conjugal? I hope so. <laughs> Bonnie and Rob, two seconds, please. You both have come a very, very long way, and you so deserve to be there. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chef. But now, your biggest challenge is still ahead of you. Chef Ramsay came to America with a mission to create master chefs and launch careers. Season one winner Michael Ray now runs his own restaurant, Tattoo, in Los Angeles. In season two, Heather West rose to the top of the pack and is now running the Terra Rosa restaurant at the Red Rock Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. This year, 12 aspiring chefs from all walks of life Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Entered Hell's Kitchen with their own dreams of running a restaurant. Open! But failed miserably in Chef Ramsay's first test. You serve me frozen gnocchi. Then he set the women against the men in the battle of the sexes. We are going to take the boys to school. Even before the doors opened, the pressure got to Aaron. I'm cracking up right now. Stop fucking crying. And set the scene for a disastrous first dinner service. What is going on? The women spent more time arguing. I hear you. Than cooking. I'll tell you why. Why are you pushing me? Stop! Earning them a memorable nickname. Hell's bitches. Tiffany, you've got to go. The kitchen manager from Arizona was the first to leave Hell's Kitchen. In week two. You guys ready to catch some fish? Yes, yes chef. At the first challenge, in. the women cleaned up. No more Hell's bitches. And were rewarded with an outing with Chef Ramsay. They're all capable. We got Chef Ramsay to ourselves. That's priceless. Then, at dinner service, Eddie was in the hot seat all night. It's way too peppery, and you wouldn't even serve it to a fucking pig. Which made Chef Ramsay's decision an easy one. Eddie. Yes, sir. Take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. In week three, it was back to basic training. I love mini uniform. And Hell's Kitchen served a military breakfast and the Waffle House chef. Julia, take control. Come on. Let's rock it out, ladies. Was in her element, leading the red team to another victory. We won again. The blue team's punishment. You don't act like a bunch of girls. Caused Aaron to hit rock bottom. Aaron. Oh, shit. And leave Hell's Kitchen. Let's get them out there now. For good. You have a serious illness. At dinner service, Rock emerged as a leader. Very nice, that risotto. Thank you. Rock knows he's the leader. While in the red kitchen, Jen's judgment was bad. Where did you get it from? The garbage. Oh, no, no, no. No way. And Joanna's was rotten. It's rancid. You kill someone. And it was Joanna who left Hell's Kitchen. Take your jacket off. For good. In week four, Bonnie's excellent palate. It tastes like the end of the bok choy, chef. One professional chef and one fucking nanny. Led the red team to win their third consecutive challenge. She could hear her. There's way too many conspiracy theories in this kitchen right now. The blue team's punishment left a bad taste in their mouth. Here's your barf bag. Then, at dinner service. You're saying yes all the fucking time, yet nothing's done. Bonnie's impressive palate didn't help her on the line. They're just not cut out to be here. I want to go home. And Vinny's incompetence on the meat station. Wait 15 minutes. What? Got him sent home. Vinny, you've peaked. Week five brought a Hell's Kitchen first. We are catering for a wedding reception. Melissa appointed herself dictator of the red team. You're supposed to listen to me, not Bonnie. 
Excuse me? Turning them against her. I may have to strangle her with some chiffon. Then, at the wedding reception dinner, Melissa crashed and burned. Now stop being a stubborn little bitch and fucking move your ass. And at the elimination... Melissa, give me your jacket. Thank God. You, madam, are going in the men's team. She might beat out Josh, but she ain't beating out me. Melissa, this is your very last chance. In week six, Chef Ramsay challenged the new team to get creative with lobsters. Chef, I hate killing lobsters. I cry every time. So do the lobsters. <laughs> and the red team's narrow victory. Red team. Yeah! Sent Rock into a rage. Bullshit. I'm pissed off. That was the dumbest fucking decision I've seen. That was bullshit. The women were rewarded with a photo shoot for In Touch magazine. Just watch where you're rolling that pizza cutter. <laughs> At dinner service, Melissa once again came under fire from Chef Ramsay. The fucking gremlin, everything she touches, she screws. Sorry, guys. Fuck off. And he didn't hesitate at the elimination. Cut the crap. Melissa, take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. In week seven, with Melissa gone, the men regained their footing and won the leftover challenge. Men, well done. Thank yes, you, sir. Yeah. And a chance to get some revenge on Chef Ramsay. At dinner service, it was red menu versus blue menu. Buddy. Yes, Chef. You're cooking and your fucking gas is not even on. Both teams struggled to deliver. Brad, come here. It looks like baby vomit. Leading to Bonnie and Brad's nomination. Some people, you know, kind of wait in the wings or everybody else kind of just... Say my name. If you're talking about me waiting in the wings, say rock. Chef Ramsay had heard enough. Bonnie, wake up. Brad, take your jacket off. And to Bonnie's surprise, the experienced sous chef was sent home. I still think I'm the best. In week eight, the aspiring chefs tried to win over high school students. Sell that dish! Vote green. Remember, pink is nice. Don't vote for her. And the winner of the first individual challenge was... Julia! Ah! And she chose Jen to share her Las Vegas reward. Cheers, my dear. Oh, my God, we're in freaking Vegas, baby. Then, at dinner, Josh struggled. How many fucking risottos are you doing up front? And struggled. We cook spaghetti to order! Until Chef Ramsay oh. couldn't take any more. Oh, yes, chef. Take that off and fuck it up out of here! You fucking used to suck your shit! Get out! With Josh gone, Bonnie had her best service ever. Wellington's nicely cooked. Thank you, Chef! While Julia had her worst. Where is the garnish? I had take to off. redo it. Okay, but don't give up. And had to say goodbye. Julia, take off your jacket. There's something quite amazing about you. I am personally going to send you to culinary school. I am very proud of you. Thank you. I don't want to go home. Last week, Chef Ramsay challenged them to turn comfort foods into gourmet dishes. Beans and franks? And called in some special guest judges. Ladies, please. <gasps> Your mums are here. The moms were unanimous. Jen, well done. <laughs> and Jen got to spend the day shopping with her biggest fan. Holy cake pan! <laughs> Ooh. Then, before dinner... Each and every one of you will be running the pass. Chef Ramsay gave them a trial run. It's raw. I have given you every opportunity to get back on track, and you keep fucking it up! Bloody hell. And then they had to do it for real. Scott, what happened to the ham? Oh, sorry, Chef. Nobody Good. told me. This skin isn't crispy. Bonnie and Rock passed with flying colors. Table 40, servers, please. Stop. But Jen's quality control was under par. Because what the fuck are you doing? Jen, take your jacket off. You cook on my teeth. You have nothing to feel ashamed about. And the final three. Well done, my darling. Became two. Congratulations. You are the finalist in Hell's Kitchen. And were surprised with a visit from their families. <laughs> Tonight. Your biggest challenge is about to start. Who will prove they have what it takes to run a restaurant in the Green Valley Ranch Resort in Las Vegas? Will it be Rock, the professional chef from Virginia? I need to win. This is the biggest moment in my career. Everything that I do right now is for my family. Or Bonnie, the personal chef and nanny from Los Angeles. I'm on the eve of the biggest day of my entire life. I've prepared as much as I can prepare for this. The finale begins tonight.
And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Bonnie and Rob, two seconds, please. You both have come a very, very long way. You so deserve to be here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, chef. But now, your biggest challenge lies ahead of you. Rock, this now becomes your restaurant. You'll be cooking out of the blue kitchen. I'm just like, wow, this is real. This is it. This is the final. Bonnie, this area here has now become your restaurant, and you're cooking out of the red kitchen. Okay. Yes? <laughs> Not a hard attack, yeah. <laughs> I have a half of a restaurant. This competition has the power to change my whole life. You're one step away from becoming the head chef at the Green Valley Ranch Resort in Vegas. God. But now, I think you deserve to spend time with your families. And Rock, this wouldn't be such an event without your children. <laughs> there you go. Ah, uh, baby Rock. <laughs> Come here. There you go. Come here. <laughs> now enjoy the rest of the time. That was beautiful, you know. Ah, it hit me right here. See, I had it here for my good luck. Who's that? Me. And who is that? <laughs> I had my good luck charm, and they appeared. I'm a little soldier. I'm a little princess. Everything that I do right now is for my family. You miss your daddy? You giving my mommy a hard time? Yes. I can't believe this is happening. Everybody is so proud of you. Oh, to see them and to hug them. I'm so happy to see you guys. It was just so great for them to share in this with me. Because my dad's always been my biggest fan. You must have done a fantastic job. Say goodnight, guys. Can we, can, is she allowed to come or to the dorm? <laughs> is she allowed to come? <laughs> Unfortunately not. Okay. Mm. I'll see you later. Love you. Bye, Mom. Bye, Bye Dad. Bye, sweetie. Love you. Love you, too. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bonnie and Rock, tonight, both of you, when you go back to the dorms, start imagining your restaurant, the fabrics, the atmosphere, the chairs, the glasses, the menu. Start creating what you think is going to make you win House Kitchen. You've got some serious, serious planning to do. Good night. <laughs> You're going to sleep well. Thanks, Chef. Oh, my god. Back in the dorms, the finalists put the competition aside to celebrate together. Congratulations. That is <laughs> off the hook. Oh, my god. I can't. Oh, my god. I have come a long way, and I, I do have a gift, and I think Rock's not going to know what hit him. I'm here. You here. <laughs> Chef Ramsey told us it's about work right now, but tonight, I was just like, we need to take time to celebrate and, you know, just like, wow, just marvel at yourself. When we first came in, I said, it's going to be me and Melissa in the finals. People don't take me seriously. And it's enabled me to kind of slide beneath the radar. And then when they realize that I'm a force to be reckoned with, it's too late. It's too late? You yeah. think it's too late for me? Uh-huh. Homegirl is smart. I didn't think she'd make it this far. I think she's dangerous, and I could lose to her. You're going to beat me, too. I'm going to win this thing. I'm determined. And I want to beat Rock. The whole thing is setting up, so I lose to a fucking nanny. With the dining room split down the middle, Rock and Bonnie each get a side to transform into the restaurant of their dreams. I'm just excited that half of the restaurant is mine. It's like being given a life-size dollhouse and a charge card and just saying, go. It's amazing. I feel great. I feel like I'm on, almost on top of the world. This is the next step in life for me, and there's nothing, nothing that's going to stop me from winning. 
With only 36 hours to create their restaurants, Rock and Bonnie meet with Hell's Kitchen architect and designer, John Janovs. So, Bonnie, tell me what your vision of your restaurant really is. I, I want it to be very European stuff. I want to have a you know slightly romantic feel. I love simple, classic, but with a twist. I want wood floors, hardwood floors. I hate booths. I don't know if we can get rid of the booths. I definitely want to keep the booths. I think that's something that I, I'd like in the contemporary, make you feel at home, warm, American, Southern. I like conformity. I don't want everything to be uniform and, and matching. I want it to be more fun, you know, more eclectic. I was even thinking of going as far as like mismatched china. Classical silverware, nice and simple and to the point. Accents of color. Black and white, because everything can go off of that. I think we have enough to get started with right now. We've got an awful lot of work ahead of us, and I have got to get going on it. Okay. With a plan started for the dining rooms, Jean-Philippe will now help the finalists create a look for the wait staff. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Voila. What type of restaurants you want to run? Uh, tell me. Um, I love seeing servers all in black. All in black? Yes. Fantastic. Uh, trousers, black? Uh, <clears throat> it has choco. Uh, I was thinking at first it was jeans. You know, when I was talking to Jean Philippe, he has this sort of regal, like, you know, like a French poodle. To be honest with you, I don't really see jeans working in, 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 in any restaurant. Yeah. Uh, besides the saloon. So, we're passing on the jeans? Yes. Good. Um, pants, you like them tight? You like them slightly wide? I'd say more fitting for the girls. That's cool. All girls want to look feminine and, you know, kind of sexy. I want them to look good, and, and I want them to be happy to be there. Good, so it works for you? Yes. Good. As construction begins, Bonnie works with sous chef Marianne to create her menu, and sous chef Scott helps rock. Hey, Bonnie, come here. I want to hug. Oh, God. Hug it out. All right. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. I'm excited to make a menu. OK. I'll just go down my list. And I don't know if I can use this as an appetizer, but I thought it'd be cute to do little mini grilled cheeses with like a tiny little um, tomato soup. I think that's comes in. awesome. Everything on my menu is going to be something that is a favorite of mine. I love prosciutto. I love cheese. I love homemade pastas. Because they're all reflections of who I am. I feel like yeah. a kid in a candy store. I want to do it all. While Bonnie has a clear oh. vision for her menu, Rock is still trying to work things out. Um, I'll just start with my signature fried chicken and crab cake. Tell me more about it, because this is really important. Uh, I feel unprepared for creating the whole thing. It's a little nerve wracking. You know, how am I going to do this? So yeah, my mind starts racing. I haven't narrowed anything down. So what are you thinking? Uh, um, what do you consider to be like your favorite dish on here? This linguine pasta that I do, every time I have people over for dinner, I have everyone make the pasta with me, and then I make the sauce that's become like Bonnie's sauce. I think that's awesome. I really like that. Wow, I, I have a shop. menu. Rock and Bonnie monitor the progress on their restaurants, but Chef Ramsay has other plans for them. What have you done to my beautiful restaurant? Change it up a little bit. Oh my god, what have you done? It's not your restaurant anymore, Chef. I know, I know, I know, I know. It'll look better as a matter of Yeah? OK, there is some other very important business we need to take care of. We're going to Vegas. Woo! Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, really serious. Oh, my God! I'll see you guys in five minutes. <laughs> Vegas represents my future home, so I'm really excited. I'm going to Vegas, baby! <laughs> I'm psyched to go to Vegas. The prize is so, is so close, I can smell it. Look okay? When I look good, you look good. Get over yourself, punk. Chef Ramsay and the finalists head to the Green Valley Ranch Resort, where either Rock or Bonnie will soon be the head chef. Oh my god! <laughs> you didn't think it was flying commercial, did you? No, nah, not at all. Good. And Rock, I've never seen you so happy. <laughs> Why did you get so upset when you lost the challenge when you started having a hissy fit? I never had a hissy fit. You never had a hissy fit. You can go everywhere and get a fucking. Lobster soup, originality, be creative. That was bullshit. 
I was pissed. Uh, you both have come a, such a long way. Bonnie, you, my dear, have surprised me the most. My first time in a kitchen with you, you couldn't even fry an egg. I was shaking. I broke the fucking yolks. Come on, please. I've had some tough nights in my life, but not over a fucking fried egg. Bro, if I asked you to do a single dish again, you wouldn't ask me to taste bought in gnocchi, would you? Not at all. I'm excited you had time to make gnocchi. I, it was frozen. You served me frozen gnocchi. Bonnie, you've done phenomenally well to get where you have. What have you got left that I haven't seen so far? I have a lot of fire. You saw a glimpse of my fire when I got to yell at you. One more time, and you are out of this kitchen! Sorry. Get another pot on and get it going now! Bloody hell. Raw, you, you played the game from day one. Well, a little bit. A little bit. It's me now, huh? <laughs> Why'd you put Brad up in front of Josh? He was my biggest competition, so why not get rid of him? Some people, you know, kind of wait in the winds, or everybody else kind of just Say my name. If you're talking about me waiting in the wings, say Rob. I thought I'd be politically correct about it. Oh, there ain't no politically correct. We're trying to win a competition. Say my name. For you, this journey's been an amazing game of chess. Yes, very much. Everything I do is strategy. I came here to win. Anything else is a failure. Who's going to win? All I'll I say am. is, <laughs> may the best man win. Raw. The you? best woman. Look. It's going to be a highly competitive service. Oh, yeah. yeah. Without a shadow of doubt. Welcome Yay. to Vegas. We're here. Cool, huh? Oh, my God! Look at the sign. Look at the sign. Woo! <laughs> it's me and you. We're driving to Green Valley Ranch. You happen to look over and see this huge marquee. Seeing that makes it so much more real. This prize seems so far away, and now it's right in my face. Oh, my God! <laughs> That's how I'm supposed to live, baby. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. We'll become the head chef at our new restaurant. Will it be Rock from Spotsylvania, Virginia? <laughs> or Bonnie? from Santa Monica, California. <laughs> Superstar chef Gordon Ramsay will decide who will get the opportunity of a lifetime here at the Green Valley Ranch Resort. Oh my god! Me and Bonnie on the plasmas playing around the hotel. That was probably the best part I've seen so far. Before tomorrow's final dinner service, Rock and Bonnie are looking forward to a quiet evening with Chef Ramsay. Let's go have a little drink and relax. Come through. There's a little bar through here, very quiet, and it's a sort of bit of a VIP lounge. In you go. Oh, my God! As soon as I walked out on that stage, I was just in shock. Wow. I felt like I was just given a surprise party. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the finalist of Hell's Kitchen. This is Bonnie. This is Rock, ladies and gentlemen. Bonnie and Rock. You are not here for a party. You know there's one more challenge, and this is it. Amongst all these individuals here are Vegas's best chefs. And they're here for one big reason, and that is to taste your signature dish. Oh so my God. you've both got 30 minutes. Scott and Marianne, please turn away. Off you go. After a quick change of clothes, Bonnie and Rock begin their most important challenge. They will have 30 minutes to create a dish that represents their signature style. Rock is making his surf and turf fried chicken and crab cakes. It's very important to win this challenge. I took a chance with a combination that most people aren't accustomed to. I definitely think it's important to create your own identity when it comes to food. Bonnie is preparing her shrimp and lobster pasta. Bonnie, 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 Bonnie. I think that pasta just represents me to the fullest. It's not the most sophisticated dish, but it is full of flavor. Bonnie, how you doing with all this pressure, man? It's a lot of pressure. Bring it on. OK, Rock Bonnie, just under five minutes to go, yes? Yes, sir. It's always harder when you're judged by people who've been in this industry longer than you. You want them to take you seriously. Let's go, Rock. Let's go, Bonnie. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. 
Rock and Bonnie's signature dishes will now be evaluated by seven VIP judges. Whoever receives the most votes will win this challenge. Okay, let's begin with our first judge, please. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Griffin, executive chef at Caesar's Palace. <laughs> It's a rendition on fettuccine alfredo, and then I've got the Key West uh, shrimp on top there. Very tasty. Thank, Thank you. you. Chicken huh? and a crab cake, correct? Yes, sir. I'm going to say the uh, Key West shrimp with the fettuccine. One nil bunny! Yes! The shrimp was perfect, perfectly cooked. OK, our, our next judge, Gerald Chen, executive chef at the Mansion House MGM. Right. Let's um, get down to business. Please, 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 please. I find fettuccine alfredo a little bland, a little boring, so I thought just adding a little burn in there. I love spice. Stop trying to charm him. Yes. <laughs> He's a chef. He doesn't do charm. <laughs> Bonnie was definitely trying to uh, charm the chefs. Everything she does is a strategy to, to help her win. Everything. This is very unique. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with rocks. With rocks, lovely. Our next guest, ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Anthony Carrot, the executive chef of the Michael Mina Group. Thank you, Anthony. One by one, the most amazing chefs in Vegas are coming up to taste my food. I can't believe it. I'll start with rocks. Good, good, good. Everyone in the audience was like shouting Rock's name. And I was just like, oh my god, really? They don't like me? I want everyone to like me. <laughs> I would have to give it to the pasta. Lovely. Excellent. Thank you. Good job. Good man. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, our next judge. Well, a fine gourmet. You all know him. The host of Lifestyles Rich and Famous. Please say hello to Robin Leach. How are you, Chef Chef's Gordon? Bully and Rob. Hi, how are you? Robin Leach. Oh, my god. I used to watch Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. He's a legend. Which one would you like to go first? I think I should tackle the tower. The first. tower. <laughs> tackle the tower. Okay, a, a man who loves his food. Well, you can see, uh, you know. That's a healthy appetite. 1,700 different restaurants around wow. the world. Wow. wow, 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 wow. Now, this man certainly knows his stuff. I'm intrigued by the challenge of the combination. Thank you. So, this is pasta and shrimp? Yes. It's a tough choice. Yeah, thank you. But you told me if I didn't make a choice, you put a cleaver in my back. <laughs> I have to give it to the lady. To the lady. <laughs> OK, that's three to Bonnie and one to Rock. With a score of three to one, Bonnie needs just one more vote to win the challenge. Our next guest um, is a very special one, the very first winner of Hell's Kitchen, Michael Ray. <laughs> I'm very happy to say Michael's opening his restaurant in Los Angeles called Tattoo. That's right. Excellent. You guys nervous? A little bit, yeah. Little bit. <laughs> You've been here before. Yeah, I know, I know. Emphasize with me. I'm down three to one. Stop trying to manipulate the judges, Rock. Rock's a good schmoozer, and, you know, he was trying to sell his dish. Rock! <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go with the chicken. With the chicken? Bonnie is leading three to two. Rock must get the next vote, or he will lose this crucial challenge. Another very, very special Guest, last year's winner of Hell's Kitchen, Heather! Congratulations. They're both fabulous. They Thank both you. are. Um, I gotta go with Rock. With Rock. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a draw, 3-3. Three, three. With the score tied at three, it all comes down to the final vote. Welcome, our final guest judges, Bob Finch and Chris Ferno, the general manager and the executive chef at the Green Valley Ranch Resort. Ah! It was crazy to see my possible future employers. I got really excited. Oh my God. You do realize that one of you is going to be working very closely with both these guys, yes? Bob and Chris, as you know, can only have one vote. Correct. That one vote will decide the winner of the last challenge. Which one you think for both of you? You're a southern guy, but I tell you what, I love my pasta. The general manager, I mean, it was hands down. As soon as he tasted mine, he was like, oh my god. The pasta's very good. I don't know if it's going real good on this. 
The chef was going for my fried chicken and crab. I saw him. He pointed to it like twice. Bob and Chris, please, which okay. of these two dishes okay. do you prefer? That one vote will decide the winner of the last challenge. Here's where the decision goes. Going with Barney. The winner, Bonnie. Excellent. Going into this, I felt like I was the underdog, but you know, I won the challenge tonight. It definitely gave me a confidence boost, and I think it may have hurt Rock's confidence just a little bit. And congratulations for Rock. It's over, but it's not over. All along, I've always said I'd rather win a service than I would a challenge. I'll uh, explain what your reward is later. Uh, now, both of you, I really do need to spend some serious, serious quiet time together. Let's go. We still love you, Rock. Thanks. 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 I love you all too. Thank you. Overlooking the city that will soon be home to one of these two finalists, Chef Ramsay has some encouraging words. Well done. Thank you. Seriously, well done. Ah, thank you, Chef. Look where we are. Look at it. Extraordinary. Next time one of you visit Vegas, it will be to run your very own restaurant. Bloody well done. And good luck. Ah. It was so symbolic, having the beautiful view of the Strip, because, you know, it's just that close. You know, it's just within reach for one of us to be there. I've got one little surprise left for you both. I personally just want to um, invite both of you to New York City to come um, as my guests and experience my chef's table and eat uh, in my kitchen at the restaurant Gordon Ramsay at the New London NYC oh and to come and spend a few days in the Big Apple. Wow, you know, I've only been to a couple of chef's tables in my life, but to go to Gordon Ramsay's at the London, really, really cool. May the best chef win. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, With 20 hours before the newly remodeled restaurants open their doors, the two finalists return to Hell's Kitchen and share their final meal together. So I guess tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow is the big day. I'm on the eve of, you know, possibly the biggest day of my entire life. I don't want to walk away tomorrow the loser. I really don't. This was not easy at no. all. This was hard. This has really been a changing experience yeah. for me. This is the biggest moment in my career. I have to win. I feel like I've already won. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I always have known what I'm capable of, but sometimes you doubt yourself. You got that killer in you, but you don't know how to finish. It's all right, Brock. I think Rock's just trying to shake me up. He's trying to use psychological warfare, but I've prepared as much as I can prepare for this. I don't waste my time with stuff like that because it's anyone's game. We're neck and neck at this point. Who's the last supper? Who's Jesus and who's Judas? It's the final day in Hell's Kitchen, and Rock and Bonnie are awaiting the biggest test of their lives. The last six eliminated chefs have returned. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know, I was happy to see those people come to the door. I thought that some people might have animosity or, you know, have an attitude, but it was it was good to see them. The bad news is I'm here with Bonnie, but <laughs> I know. We've been like seriously just driving each other crazy. <laughs> I can only I'm imagine. Sure. <laughs> I'm surprised that uh, Rock and Bonnie are the final two. I'm upset that I didn't make it, but I want Rock to win this thing. I missed you so much. Oh, Jen has been my buddy throughout this whole competition. Oh, We've been through so much together. She's such a sweetheart. I love Bonnie. I do. She's such a good person, and we were just like two peas in a pod, you know? <laughs> Did you guys check out your little gift baskets we got you? Yeah. Olive oil? 
but it's not a happy reunion for everyone. You all right, Jules? Yeah, you okay? Julia just left a few days ago, so I think it's hurting her to be back here and see how close she was. I don't think she's sulking or like being a sore loser. She's just disappointed in herself. Somebody say something to Julia. Huh. <laughs> I just regret that I didn't win. I came here to win. Um, I don't know what everybody else's motive was, but mine was to win. Julia really thought she was going to be in the final two. And seeing me there, I think it's just a little hard for her. Huh. Trying to get her gathering. Hello? Morning. I'm glad to see you and all your friends in the kitchen straight away, please. OK. Hey, guys, we got to go. Okay. No, no, we got to go. We got to go. All right. Good morning. Morning, 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 chef. Welcome back. Thank hey, you. Chef. Bonnie. Yes, chef. How are you feeling this morning? Feel good, chef. Big day today. Huge day, chef. Really <laughs> big day today. Yeah. Yep. Julia. Talk to me, darling. I'm okay. You sure? Mm-hmm. Good to see you again. You too. High points, low points. Mainly, the whole thing was a high point for me. Low point is. Right now. It's good to see you back. I really mean that. We have had some memories. Huh? Some good, some bad. Josh. Yes, Chef. How are you feeling? Feel fine, Chef. Hey, you! Leave the jacket and get out! Fucking useless sack of shit! Get out! Vinny. What is that? Dry. Fuck off, will you? Is that you giving up now? Jen. Hi, Chef. We have an outright winner, Jen. Oh. Um, <laughs> Brad. Yes, yeah, Chef. How are you feeling? I feel great. Today is about consistency. Brad. Yes, yeah, Chef. Are you consistently shit? No, Chef. Melissa. I know what your game is. No, I was. Oh, fuck me. No, oh, fuck I me. swear to Fuck God. off. It's not true. Julia. The hero of the Alhambra high school lunch is Julia! Ah! Bonnie, you won the challenge in Vegas. I did, Chef. You get to pick the first member of your team. Make your first pick. My first choice is Jen. Jen, lovely. I have Bonnie's back. I know that she's stressing out right now, but I will not let her fall. OK, Rock, your first selection for your team. My first selection, Brad. I automatically was going to choose Brad. He's the strongest over there. OK, Bonnie, second choice is who? Um, Melissa. Melissa. I picked Melissa over Julia. I was just a little nervous with the fact that she was so upset that her emotions were going to get in the way today. Rock, second choice is who, please? Mm. Second choice is Vinny. <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> interesting. Very, very interesting. Directed in the right way, Vinny's a good soldier. A high stress situation with Ramsey yelling. He doesn't perform that well. But I'm a good director. I work with it. Very, very interesting indeed. OK, Bonnie, final selection. Who is it? Uh, my final selection is Julia. Julia. I want my girls back. Good. On a personal level, I would have to say that I'm rooting for Rock. Julia, I think, is better than Josh. Might as well. But. Who knows how her emotions are going to play out? I don't want to be dealing with that tonight. Josh is not going to cry. Rock and Bonnie, um, this time now is critical. Take your teams back to the dorms. Go through your menu, get your team up to speed with, quite frankly, the most important service of your entire lives. Battle of the Sexes continues, and you know what? The girls kicked ass every time. The boys don't work together as well as the girls do, so I think I have an extra added advantage now, and I don't know if Rock's realized that yet.
I'll do anything to win. Micromanaging, being an asshole, being nice, you know, whatever. I'll do it. I need to win. OK, off you go. Thank you. This year on Hell's Kitchen, tens of thousands of aspiring chefs applied for the opportunity to learn from the best. Your menu, my standard. The 12 who made the cut. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Yeah! Experienced ecstasy. Yeah! Yeah! Agony. I'm cracking up right now. Stop fucking crying. I just want to go home. And shame. You wouldn't even serve it to a fucking pig. Friendships emerged. You. You. And so did rivalries. I hear you. Why are you pushing me? You need to shut up and listen to me. The aspiring chefs pushed themselves physically. God. Oh, God. Don't act like a bunch of girls. And emotionally. Some even reached their breaking point. Fire me. Air. Oh, shit. Let it behind. Until only two remained. Then, last week. Your biggest challenge is still ahead of you. Rock and Bonnie began their final task. It's like being given a life-size dollhouse and charge card and just saying go. I feel like I'm on top of the world. Nothing is going to stop me from winning. Then the finalists traveled to Las Vegas. Oh, my god! Where they faced off in the signature dish challenge. I have to give it to the lady. The winner, Bonnie! Excellent. Then, back in Los Angeles, the final two had a reunion with six of their fellow chefs. Oh, my God! But not everyone was happy to be back. I just regret that I didn't win. I came here to win. When it came time to pick teams, the battle of the sexes was reborn, as Rock chose the men and Bonnie chose the women. I want my girls back. But will their teammates work with them or against them? I would have to say that I'm rooting for Rock. Tonight, the moment you've been waiting for, Rock, the executive chef from Virginia. This is the biggest moment in my career. I have to win. Takes on Bonnie, the personal chef and nanny from Los Angeles. I'm on the eve of the biggest day of my entire life. I've prepared as much as I can prepare for this. Who will become head chef of a restaurant at the Green Valley Ranch Resort in Las Vegas? Please turn your handles. Find out tonight on the season finale of Hell's Kitchen. The conclusion of Hell's Kitchen. The battle of the sexes continues, yes? OK, off you go. It's the most important day in Hell's Kitchen. A day that will change one of the finalists' lives forever. Oh, you guys, I'm so glad to have you all back. With just 10 hours before tonight's dinner service, Rock and Bonnie meet with their teams. Basically, I picked you guys because I think that we're better than the boys. We've always beat the boys, so I'm thrilled to have you guys on my team again. I'm excited. Yeah. We'll do the best we can for you. Thank you. My girls are my girls. I was hoping that we were going to work together, and I got my wish, so I'm, I'm really happy. I'm proud, you know? Thank you. You know I am. I'm happy for you, too. I would much rather it be me, but I am happy I for you. Since this is Bonnie's Kitchen, um, I'm going to treat her just like I would treat a regular boss. Whatever she asked me to do, I'm going to do it. But I think Rock deserves to win. OK, so what I did was I broke down stations and what goes where, but I'll go over the menu first. I am happy with my team. I know what their strengths are, their weaknesses are. So I'm confident that I can uh, that I can win. You see already with my menu, really good, flavorful food. Do you know what stations you want us on yet? Yes. Rock knows how to push us and and how to how to build us up and break us down. And the only concern about Rock's menu is that you know haven't made it before. Priorities as far as prep. I think we should make a big ass prep list. Yes. 
immediately. This is Rock's day, and all we're doing is just cramming, trying to get how Rock wants it, his methods and his techniques. We gotta do the best we can for Rock. While Rock puts together a detailed plan of attack, Bonnie takes a more relaxed approach. So my menu, I'm, I'm being honest that I haven't tried everything out here, so you know. You have recipes? Not yet. I was a little bit surprised that Bonnie's menu, she wasn't absolutely sure on the recipes. That would make me, you know, a little bit nervous. Today's gonna be the hardest day, but you yeah. know, it's just nerve wracking. To, I wanna do well for myself tonight. I'm very concerned that I haven't made all these dishes. I know that things are gonna go wrong tonight. It's food that they've never worked with before, menu items that they've never worked with before. You know, you're just trying to pray that things are gonna work out the way you were expecting them to. I'm nervous. Oh, God. As construction of the restaurants continues, Bonnie and Rock are focused on getting their teams up to speed. All right, let's move, let's move. Time's a ticking, time's a ticking. We gotta set up stations. Get pans, start running through what we're gonna need. Make sure everybody knows what the hell everybody else is doing? Yes. There's a tremendous amount of work to do in the next few hours. It's going well so far. Uh, it's just gonna be, you know, keeping guys motivated. Let's pick it up. I'm relying on uh, three guys. My fate is in their hands, but their hands are controlled by me. So that's my challenge tonight. We gotta batten down the hatches and go, go, go. I don't want to throw this away. Save them, but don't put them in the same portion pan. Save oh, put them in a scraps pan. Oh, treat me like an idiot. Excuse I'm just me. telling you. I know that. Julia really thought she was going to be in the final two, and I think it's a little humbling for her to, you know, have to cook on my brigade now. Hopefully, she'll be able to put a smile on for service and, and you know, wish me well. Oh, but Julia, don't worry about um, cutting the ends off when you're starting them, because when they when cook, we, like can, we can cut them at the end. Yeah. Ah. For Rock and Bonnie, leading their kitchens is essential. Bonnie. Hang on one second, okay? But with only three hours until the doors open, there are still some matters in the dining room that need their attention. I wanted to give you a, an update on where we are. Our biggest problem right now is uh, we're out of wallpaper. We have to go with a different wallpaper. I have, I have no choice. John came up to me to show me they've run out of wallpaper. I'm a little upset. I mean, people are going to probably notice it. Why are those, why is it bubbled up there, um, the wallpaper? Do you think people are going to notice that? We can try and get up there and fix it. So it's just, you know, it's little frustrations that are about to give me a heart attack, but I'm just trying to get through this without crying and, you know, get service done and bust it out as best I can. All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen, Rock is paying close attention to details. Rock, yo. Soft, man? That's a little too soft. A little too soft? I mean, did you do it like that? All of them? No, half. Yeah, yank them, yank them. I'll do anything to win tonight. Even if I got to tell Josh specifically which way to walk and, you know, what to do, I'll do it. Josh, yeah. walk with me for a second, please. You know how to cook, just cook. Josh doesn't trust himself. He's always on the edge. But I'm a good director. I work with it. If I didn't trust you, I wouldn't put you on a difficult one, I think. I trust you. Trust yourself. I do, baby. All right? Rock and roll. You got it. Bonnie. Bonnie. Is this the prawn? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think you're overcooking the prawns just a little bit. Try not to brown them as much. Okay. Okay. I hope I'm not gonna have to supervise Melissa every minute, but you know, it's Chef Ramsey used to do it with, with us, so I'm just gonna have to keep drilling it into her until she gets it. Melissa, how long for that? Right here. Okay, great. See, these prawns are so small when they cook. I mean, okay. this is overdone. Yeah, you're cooking them way too long still. Okay. I told her not to overcook them. It's one hour before the final dinner service in Hell's Kitchen, and the restaurants are still behind schedule. But right now, Rock and Bonnie have something else on their minds, impressing Chef Ramsay with their menus. Come on, guys, pick up the pace. Let's go, we can do this. The finalists have each prepared three appetizers, three entrees, and three desserts. Bonnie's starters include a chevre salad served with herbed breaded goat cheese, and her entrees feature her signature egg fettuccine with sauteed Thai prawns. Bonnie's desserts include an assortment of chocolate truffles. Okay. Okay, so, fried goji salad, roasted red peppers have been marinated with mm -hmm. garlic. Nice flavor. Thank you. Peppers, I love them when they're roasted like that. Next. Uh, this is my signature dish. It's egg fettuccine with the Thai sweet prawns. Yep. 
Okay, pasta, delicious. Sauce, phenomenal. And the prawns were slightly overcooked. I know. Melissa keeps overcooking my fucking prawns. But Chef really was impressed with my food. He thought everything tasted really good. That's a dessert? Yeah. With a assortment of chocolate truffles? First of all, it's too small. OK. It looks like something we're going to serve for coffee. Do something with it. Chef is really upset with my dessert. I've taken what he said to heart, and I'm going to make a change. After a mostly positive review for Bonnie, Chef Ramsay turns his attention to Rock's menu, which features a starter of crispy chicken breast and crab cake over jasmine rice, a pan-roasted prime ribeye, and for dessert, a vanilla bean milkshake with double chocolate chunk cookies. Explain to the ribeye. Uh, pan seared sauce is a morel uh, mushroom sauce. Steak, very tender, very tasty, uh, beautifully cooked. Surf and turf. This is the dish from Vegas, right? Yes. Really important you taste that instantly. Yeah, the garlic in there is far too much. Is that supposed to be like that, or is that just a, an oversight? A little bit, but not, not overpowered. Explain this one. This is called uh, milk and cookies, just traditional mm -hmm. home style milkshake. Mm -hmm. uh, Tastes nice, but it's very clumsy as a dessert. Soften up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at a martini glass. You don't need to serve a substantial milkshake that size, do you? Mm -hmm. OK, good. Any questions? No, no, no. I'm ready. Good. Thank you. Overall, Chef Ramsay was uh, pretty critical, but I didn't take that as, like, disappointment. All of the things that he suggested were fixable. Bonnie's menu is quite sort of uh, elegant and vibrant and something that is not too weighted. You come over to Rock's Kitchen and it, it's substantial and it's very robust. Two completely different opposite menus. A lady's menu, light, balanced, fragrant and quite dainty. Just something quite sort of rich and sumptuous, heavy. But what they've both got to do is drive that kitchen from the first table coming in. With Hell's Kitchen opening in just 30 minutes. Ah, my booze are here. The workers scramble to get Rock's restaurant completed before the doors open. Meanwhile, Bonnie's restaurant is ready for Chef Ramsay's inspection. OK, Bonnie, uh, two seconds, please, with me. Yes, Chef. Uh, take me through your dining room. The idea, concept. Very simplistic, uh -huh. uh, but classic and elegant. Yeah. What I like about this room when I walk in, there's no intimidation. Mm -hmm. I can relax right mm -hmm. away. Why the wooden floor? I love hardwood floors. I just think they, they open up a room. I'm glad you've got the carpets, because when you've got a wooden floor, you know, there's nothing to absorb. Right. Let's uh, take a seat. Um, nice, clean, elegant. It's almost like a, your neighborhood restaurant, mm -hmm. but done with a little bit of mm -hmm. uh, panache. That's what I wanted. Oh my god, my finished restaurant. I think it's beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. I just think that everyone's going to get really comfortable in being there. You ready? I'm ready, Chef. Yeah. With the construction finally complete, Rock is ready to present his restaurant to Chef Ramsay. First impressions, um, walking into the dining room, it's, uh, it's elegant. Wanted to have a bit of elegance, but comfort and home. No salt pepper on the tables? Uh, no, not at all. You'd like to think this seasoned properly when it comes out of the kitchen? Uh, sure, so I hope so. Good. I mean, I think it's elegant. It's very rich, uh, very sumptuous, and uh, it's very smart. Are you happy with the way the dining room turned out? I am. I'm very happy. It was nice walking through uh, my restaurant with Chef Ramsay. It was a confidence booster for me going into service. Thank you. Right now, I'm just solely focused on the food, and it's just time to grind. Just minutes away from the most important dinner service of Rock and Bonnie's lives, Chef Ramsay calls them over for some final words of advice. OK, uh, Bonnie, with me two seconds, please. Uh, Rock, two seconds, please. OK, this is it. One of you are going to walk away with an opportunity of a lifetime. I'm watching everything, huh? There's only one way in running a kitchen, and one way only. You run it, or it runs you. Now I want you both to look the part, yes? A little Aww. present. <laughs> yes, Bonnie and Rock. Now, Thank you, sir. get changed, come back, and run your restaurants. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes, let's go. Wow, I, I, feel, I feel all grown up. I feel like I graduated with my, my Master Chef jacket on. I've made it, I've earned this. It's definitely a proud moment to put this on. This is, this is it, you know. I've always waited for this moment. This means a lot, and I just, you know, it's right here. I really feel it, and uh, appreciation is all I can express.
Just as the doors of Hell's Kitchen are about to open, Rock and Bonnie rally their teams. Okay, fellas, so big night, huh? Let's just listen to my calls, be honest about the times. That's the only thing. I want to keep the energy up. If you have any questions, speak up. If you need help, speak up. If you fuck something up, tell me about it, be honest, okay? Because I will find it. We have to flow together. I want it to be the best service that I could possibly do. Let's go. Yes, chef. There we go, fellas. It's rock and roll. Rock and roll. Hey, uh, Jean-Philippe. Oui, chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, let's go. Tonight, Chef Ramsay's two newest protégés compete for the opportunity of a lifetime. Bonnie's Neighborhood Hideaway and Rock's Homestyle Bistro go head to head. Okay, you guys, but we need to start focusing on, on service. Jen, Melissa, and Julia are not my friends tonight. They are my brigade. They have to listen to what I say. I'm a force to be reckoned with. Don't fuck with Bonnie. You guys, you've got it down. You know what you're doing, okay? Tonight's dinner service determines who will become head chef and share in the profits of a multi-million dollar restaurant in the Green Valley Ranch Resort in Las Vegas. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm gonna need you. I'm here for you all night. Good. Good. Appreciate it. Let's go. We need to be a team, we need to focus, and we need to just bust ass and win. I mean, because when Rock wins, we all win. Feedback from the diners is more important than ever, as Chef Ramsay will consider their input when choosing tonight's winner. I will have a sea scallop. The chef salad. All the ranch, chef. OK, here we go, fellas. Four couples, table 22. Two burger, one shrimp, one chicken salad for entree. Three ribeyes, one surf and turf, one ribeye. Well done, one medium well. Let's go. Yes, chef. There we go, fellas. It felt kind of weird calling my first order in Hell's Kitchen. I'm called probably millions of orders over the years as a chef, but it felt proud, you know, it was a good moment. All right, come on, fellas, come on. Bunny, first order. Okay, everyone, listen up. Table 43, four covers, two chef salad, one cauliflower, one scallop, entrees, one veal, one salmon, two fettuccine. Yes, yes chef. chef. Thank you. With orders coming in, the race is on to get the first appetizers out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Ready? It's 35 one, seconds one to the window. Beautiful, 30 seconds. How long? How are we doing, guys? One and a half minutes to the window. Thank you. Thank you. So both Red and Blue Kitchens are just about to get their first appetizers out, which is good. The energy's there, so it looks neck and neck. Movement, excitement, and energy. That's a good start. Burger's about to be ready. Burger's are ready. Coming right up. Coming down, coming down. How are we doing, guys? Up to the window on the first ticket. Service, please. Service, please. Both teams get their appetizers out at the same time. I like the different textures. It's nice. The business. Oh, this is so creamy. And Bonnie is determined to keep the momentum going. One chef salad, one scallop. Guys, I want to hear it from you the whole night. Yes, yes chef. chef. I think my team sometimes disregards what I say because I don't think they really still take me seriously. And, it, you know, it's a real slap in the face. Julia, how long are two cauliflower soup, two scallops? Julia? 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 Julia. Baby, I'm talking to you. 20 seconds to the window. Come on, you guys. Energy up. Energy up. Jules, I'm going to the window with the pasta. Going right behind you. But it wasn't nothing personal. I was just ready to get the dinner service over with, so I really wasn't even paying attention to who was doing what. Thank you. Service, please. While Bonnie is pushing her team to work together, in the blue kitchen, Rock is relying on Josh to keep the appetizers moving. Josh, chicken and crab. Got it. Where'd you like? Next to that round plate. You got it. Uh, Josh. Yes. What is this? What is that? Look, Josh, Josh. Look, 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 look. Look at that one and look at that one. Give me another one, quickly. If you, if you got a problem, you got to let me know. We talked about that. Oh, come on, Josh. Oh, yeah. You're still burning things. Come on, Josh. One minute to heat, one minute to heat. Give it to me in 30 seconds, please. One minute, Rock. One minute. I need in 30 seconds. Coming in one minute. Rock's trying to direct. I'm trying to give him my best. You get to the point where it's just like, shut the fuck up and let me do my work. Give me the crab cake. Give me 30, the crab cake. 30 seconds. Give it to me. I don't want to give it to you cold. 30 seconds. As Rock struggles to get Josh on track, Bonnie's kitchen seems to be in sync. Two minutes to the window. Flour soups, one chef salad, one scallop. Jan, I want to hear you guys counting Please, down. Please. I, just, I just said it, chef. I just said it. Push it if you can, please. She was like, why aren't you yelling to the team? Jen, I want to hear you. You're driving this for me. I thought I was very vocal, you know? Make it happen for me, guys. Babe, I can't cook it any faster. I'm like, yo, dude, I'm doing the best I can here. Bonnie, 
The only thing I need for that is the okra for the fettuccine. All right? Service, please. Did you hear me? You listening, Bonnie? Nope. If I need help, I'm not too ashamed to say, hey, I need some help. But she wasn't replying. She just kind of went into her little zone. Talk to me, please. Hey, Bonnie. Bonnie, how do we know what's happening if we're not talking to each other, guys? I tried. I didn't get a response. What is going in here? It looks like the heat of the service is gone. No one's talking, and it's just like everyone's staring at each other. Come on, guys. Pick up the pace. Let's go. We can do this. Oh, my god. Despite the lapse in communication, this is going to table 31. Bonnie is still managing to get appetizers out. Very good. However, the same can't be said of Rock's team. Josh, I need the chicken and crab. No other way right now, Chef. How many fucking crab cakes you got in there? There's six here, Chef. Six. Why are you cooking so many in advance? Bro, just two seconds. Just, just, just be very careful. It's such a fucking important night. I, yeah. I, I, I'm not impressed with this shit. Yes. Dry on the outside and piss okay. in the middle. Your menu, my standards. Let's go. Come on. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Stop freaking out. Hang in there. Josh is losing it, and it started bringing everybody down because the longer it takes, the more my stuff overcooks, and I'm not doing anything wrong. This can't pull you down now. You know that, yeah? Yeah. No, no, no fucking way, yeah. Fellas, we follow, we follow behind. An hour and a half into dinner service, Bonnie has succeeded in getting out her appetizers and has moved on to entrees. This is going to table 32. Bonnie, yes, we have about four orders of that fettuccine pasta. So you have four left. Why didn't you guys tell me this before? I'm sorry. That's all we have. OK. JB, we're running out of fettuccine, and it's going to have to be normal spaghetti. It was really devastating because that was my signature dish. It doesn't deserve to be on boxed spaghetti. We've run out. We're only halfway through service. Yes, chef. How many portions did we start off with? I don't know, chef. You should know, Bonnie. You're the chef. How can we be so underprepped? That know. was my fault. While Bonnie makes adjustments for her inadequate prep, Rock must make adjustments for his inadequate teammate. Josh, Josh, chicken and crab. Oh, shit. Josh, give me another one quickly. I saw that. It's burnt. Give me another one. I only put out one check in the past 30 minutes. Let's go, fellas. Unbelievable. And two seconds with me, now. Fuck. Two burger. Two burger, one croissant, one check. Count it down. Hey, listen, you're halfway through fucking service, and you're sinking this early on. I'm telling you now, that guy is screwing your yeah. restaurant. Make a decision, because you're not getting anywhere. Yeah. It's backing up there, and you've got to get a fucking grip. OK, OK, all right, thank you. Come on, come on, get it together. Get it together. There's no way anyone will stand between me and my dream. Josh, Brad, Vinny, Ramsey even. I will work every station by myself and make sure that food is perfect. Josh, get those, get those. Oh, no. More crab cakes burned. Oh, shit. Josh, I saw him going down. He screwed up a lot. Josh, Josh, what? Josh, Josh, stop, 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 stop. What is he doing in there? I did it again. Fine, yes, chef. I can't cook a crab cake to order. I'm a goddamn idiot. What is this guy doing? What do you do? Kick him out? What do you do? Come over here. Come over here. Stop. 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 Come over here. Come over here. It's very simple. We're just heating stuff up over here. So I switched. I said, Vinny, get over on fish. Josh, get over here. I need one snapper, one surf and turf. All we're doing is heating stuff up over here. Finally, Rock has made a decision and kicked Josh off that section because nothing's come out of Rock's kitchen for the last 30 minutes. It's halfway through dinner service, and Rock has no choice but to rely on Vinny to save the fish station. Uh, I just need that fish. I need that fish. How long in that refire the snapper? A minute. A minute. All right. A minute. God damn it. No. Two minutes. When I got on the fish station, the first thing I said was, what the hell am I going to do here? Well, I wasn't prepared to make those dishes, but I had to pull it out. Come on, fellas. Let's go. We bullshit right now. Let's go. Pick it up. Service, please. Let's go, fellas. Rock's decisive leadership has paid off. Rock, right behind you. With Vinny helping to get entrees out to their hungry customers. The good news in Bonnie's kitchen is that her team is finally communicating. 45 seconds on that pasta, Bonnie. 45 seconds on that pasta. The bad news is that Bonnie doesn't like what they have to say. Again, Bonnie, after this next order of pasta, I have one more order for the prawns. I don't know why I was so short on prawns. 
It really pissed me off. But running out of prawns is not the only problem Bonnie has to right. face. Mine's definitely not. It's not cooked. Mm -hmm. It came out completely cold. Well, let me let me turn it back into the kitchen. Thank you. Oh no! What's wrong? A cold and oh. undercooked chef. Undercooked? Undercooked. They are undercooked. First they ordered fettuccine. Now they have the spaghetti. Hey. Okay. And now they want us to have the same dish. JB, we're out of prawns for our prawn spaghetti. What? No, nothing else? No lobster? No. We have nothing. Uh, let me let me talk to them quickly. Okay. It was just a nightmare, you know? It's just like one thing after another. They're, they're really fancy a pasta, so it doesn't really matter. They fancy the pasta. Yes. OK, do everything except for the, the prawns, OK? Come on, you guys, talk to me. You Have I lost my team? Well, I'm over here cooking every single thing that we got on order. So I mean, just be happy I'm giving you your food. Three hours into dinner service, Rock's team has finally found their rhythm. Come on, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. Don't give up on me, fellas. Do not give up, gentlemen. Don't give up on We're me. We're gonna pull through. Service, please. And have nearly caught up on their entrees. Well, this is very good. Mm -hmm. One surf and surf. Right after that, another ribeye and a surf and surf. We're gonna fire those two checks at the same time. Yes, yeah, chef. Are they ready? They're hot. I couldn't just sit and watch. Give me rock. Bit, rock. Rock. There is no going back. There is no challenge tomorrow. There is no redemption. There's do or die. Let's get it. Let's get it and get it right. Let's do it fast. I'm, I hear you. This is it. We have to start with dessert. As Bonnie pushes her team to get desserts out, her team begins to push back. So if you want to wrap that up and just quickly put it in the, in the other refrigerator. Will you wrap that up? Please just wrap that up and put it in the icebox. Uh, why can't you just wrap it up? I just asked you to wrap it up, Julia. Because I'm doing something and you, you got two people. I'm not right going to argue with you because I'm doing something. You got two people that I'm Julia, doing this is my kitchen. Can you please? I understand. Please wrap it up. Please wrap it up. Bonnie was asking me to wrap up goat cheese, and I just wasn't about to do that right then. Don't try to use me up. Why do you have to define me on something so I'm stupid? I'm not defined because you have two other people. Okay, that but in the time you say could have been ripped. I'm not going to argue with you. Why fight me over something so small? It was just a blatant snub that she didn't want to listen to me because I don't think she thinks I should be up there. I'm not going to argue with you. Julia, fuck me. It just pissed me off. And that's when I was like, you're so bitter, Julia. I didn't say it to her, but that's what I was thinking. Bonnie, what's going on there? I asked Julia to do one on. thing, and she wouldn't do it for me. Whose kitchen is it? It's my kitchen. Run your kitchen, yes? Yes, chef. Near the end of dinner service, Rock and Bonnie want to impress Chef Ramsay with a strong finish. Come on, guys, push it. We're almost done. Finish strong, fellas. Finish strong. 30 is cleared for desserts now. Come on, come on. Five tickets. Let's go, let's go, let's push. Come on, you guys. Pick it up for me. Come on. Yes, yes chef. chef. Service, please. Table 10. Service, please. 40. It's big time. Let's go. Make it happen for me, guys. Don't freak out. It's just food. It's what we do. Service, please. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is very good. Let's go. Last two checks. Come on. Service, please. 44. Finish strong. Finish strong. Come on, guys. We have one more table. It's just as important as the first. Yes, yes chef. <laughs> that was a good job. Good job, cooking. Come on, guys. Keep it going. That's the last check. Tough, that one. Yeah. Huh? Very tough. You know what it's like now, standing on the fucking hot plate. Yep. What are you getting fucked from behind? Huh? Yep. Josh really, really screwed up. I mean, he screwed up a lot tonight. So it could definitely hurt my chances of winning. You guys, thank you for a great service. You did a great job, Bonnie. Thanks, Julia. I was happy so that you. I could help you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And even though we got into a little okay. minor altercation, you know, I don't hate you. <laughs> With dinner service finally complete, Rock receives a much needed boost from some very special customers. Here comes your wife and your kid. Go over there and get a big smile on. Look at you in the sun. It was real refreshing to see my, my family. Let me kiss it. You know, they're like my biggest fans, you know, their biggest supporters. How was dinner? Wait. Yeah? It just reminded me, and what are you doing this for? Why did you come out here? For yourself? No, you came out here for you, for them. Love you. Love you too. All right, pray for me. We will. I need it. Daddy. All right, I'll see y'all later. OK, tough one, huh? Very tough. Uh, Rock, if you could turn the clock back and change anything, what would you change? 
I turned back to 27 hours or so and uh, win the taste challenge so I could have the first pick. Had you won, who would, who would have been your first pick? My first pick probably would have been Jen. Jen, on a cook's level, has impressed me the most. I was so shocked when Rock said that. I'm so glad that he said that, and I'm, I feel so good, you know? So honored. Josh, I appreciate what you tried to do tonight, but uh, I wouldn't have been left with the last pick, and uh, I probably wouldn't have Josh on my team. Kind of pissed off because you come back, it's the final night. You know, you want to do your best. And if I'm getting shot down, whatever. I know, I know how to cook. I'm very good at it. Bonnie, if there's one thing that you could change. I think I would have just taken a little more time to double check the stations, double check the portion sizes for things. Um, being short on the, the pasta was a huge oversight. The biggest lesson any chef can learn is never taking anything for granted. Good. Well done to you both. That's the strongest I've seen you both perform. You both completed a fully booked service. Every appetizer, every entree, every dessert. Well done. I think I did a, a good job. I'm proud of myself that I came this far. Well done. I'm just proud of myself, but I have not won. So say probably 45 more prayers, and uh, hopefully I bring in the win. Tough one for me, this one. Because for me, the most important thing about both of your performances, you didn't give up. You both came out with great leadership qualities. Are you ready for my decision? Yes, sure. Yes, chef. I'm not. Because I'm now going to study the customer comment cards. Say goodbye to your teammates. Go back to the dorms and relax. You deserve it. Appreciate it, babe. I feel like being a leader of a kitchen was definitely something I was born to do, but more importantly, I'm proud of everybody to help me because I'm a strong believer in that. You can't do anything alone. I'll call you guys, okay? Relax, good luck. Good luck. Thank you. You're a winner either way. Good luck, girly. I know I had the best team, and I think we've grown a lot in this competition, so now we just have to wait and see what happens. Bonnie, this has been great. Uh, come here. Oh, my God, that was painful. Oh, my God. That, that was, was most... painful. That was the hardest night of my life. I've never wanted to rip my hair out as much as I did. I honestly felt disappointed. I thought it would go more smooth than it did. You always want time back to do a couple of things better, but this is it. I'm happy with the opportunity that we got. I mean, we got rock. We got an amazing you opportunity. you feel like you could have done better? Of course, you could have done better, but do you? Did you? You didn't give up. I think that I've proven to Chef Ramsay and to myself that I do have a talent in this, and I should believe in myself because I'm good. Chef Ramsay's decision tonight will be based upon customer comment cards and his own observations from the kitchen. Bro, it's such a fucking important night. I, yeah. I, I'm not impressed with this shit. Your menu, my standards. Let's go. Come on, fellas. Let's go. We bullshit right now. Let's go. Pick it up. Oh, no. What's wrong? I called an undercook chef. They are undercook. Guys, I want to hear it from you the whole night. Yes, yes chef. chef. Thank you. Service, please. My heart is beating so fast. Mm -hmm. Me versus Bonnie, you know, I'm ready. I say best of luck to her, but of course, I want to win. I'm nervous. Bonnie's done a great job. I think you won. What? I think you won. Whatever. From a rational standpoint, I know that Rock is very good. He was a strong competitor. And one of us is walking away empty-handed. I hope the person walking away empty-handed isn't me. This is it. Tonight, you both ran your kitchens. Well done. Thank you. Bonnie, you have surprised me the most. There's a level of assertiveness within you that is just extraordinary. Rock, there's a real safety about having you in a kitchen. I can see why you're called Rock, because you're rock solid. I've read and studied 
every customer comment card. I've missed nothing. I've watched you both since that first ticket came on. And I've made some real tough decisions. But nothing quite as tough as I've made this evening. Please stand in front of your doors. It's been a long, hard, serious journey. One of these doors will open to your future. You'll be the winner of Hell's Kitchen. And then becoming head chef at the Green Valley Ranch Resort in Vegas with an amazing salary of $250,000. Put your hands on the door handles. Standing at that door, I started to get a little emotional. I was just asking for strength because I didn't come here to lose. I came here to win. The stress is definitely palpable. I want to throw up right now. I'm so nervous. It's just, oh my god. Good luck. Bonnie and Rock, on the count of three, please turn your handles. Ready? One. Two. Three. Rough. Take your time, hold your head up high. Congratulations, baby. I love you. I'm so proud of you. This is just so big for me and my family. I just won. Thank God, I just won. I love you so much. I owe everything I do for my family. The fact that I finished and I completed shows my son, shows my daughter, that if you really stick your mind to something, you can do it. Well done, well done, well done, well done. I am so happy for Rock. I think Chef Ramsay did make the right decision. I'm not worried about myself. I think that the right opportunity will find me. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Appreciate it. Hey, don't be silly. Hey. How you feeling? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. Rock deserved to win Hell's Kitchen because he's a very confident cook and he has become a really good leader. He can motivate staff, he can create. Thank you, Blue. Thank you. Blue. Thank you. All those qualities is not easy to find in one chef. Rock holds all of them. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Hell's Kitchen winner, Rock! <laughs> It's good to come home with a quarter million dollars. Holla. You know I was going to win, baby. Oh, you did. Yes, I did.